Hey guys and welcome to Lacuna, a sci-fi adventure game. And oddly enough, the last adventure game that I played some time ago was also sci-fi adventure, so I definitely have a type, I suppose. And uh, yeah, just jump right in. Obviously it has a unique graphic. Graphics. It's fine by me. Your progress is saved automatically at certain points throughout the game. Uh, progress, since the previous save point will be lost when you quit. You cannot manually save the game or load a previous save. There is no going back. <sighs> that is... I mean, I, I get it. But also, not ha not being able to save at any time and uh, just pause the game, that kind of sucks. I tend to play with the mentality that, you know, I don't go back. Or by some games, really... ...have, like, choices that are more interesting, and you might wanna... ...might be tempted to reload. Or of course, if you die, then you also wanna reload. <laughs> but that games that have, like, interesting options, no matter what... Then yeah, I, I, I'm into it. <clears throat> okay. So, that's me. <clears throat> and uh, I did fire up the game already a little bit, just to see where should I put my camera. I, I, I debated about the camera, but it seems like everyone is using it these days. I, I, could, I could just go either way. But, especially in these kind of games, uh, these kind of games, it can really add to the experience, I suppose. Okay. Mira, over here! Oh, he has my voice now. <clears throat> Maybe he shouldn't. Hey, what's up? I can in uh... the... Okay. We can move on with the dialogue by pressing E or a uh, left click. Sure. Um. <laughs> uh, not much. Apparently, like, I I'm, I'm short. So. Hey, Noah. Long time no see. Ooh. Yeah, it's been a while. I heard that a ship with new people arrived last night. I haven't heard about that. I had a feeling you might be in there. How was your journey through space? I was I was trying to keep a low profile about it. Well, the slavers captured me, so yeah. It went down here from there. It sucked. It felt like I was buried alive with my parents. Oof. Okay, so obviously it's it's a cry for help. This is like asking someone how are you and like they just like unleash on you. You're headed downstairs, right? I'll come with you. Wow, you just ignored it? Holy fuck. <laughs> imagine just saying that like imagine someone asks like how are you and like you're just gonna answer by Well well both my parents died, everyone died, and my house burned down. It's like Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a uh, fucking coke. You wanna come? Sounds life on Drovi Drovia. Guess we are in Drovia. I didn't really like it at first. There's not much going on here yet. Hard to imagine it's going to be like new Joran one day. But then you think about it. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, oh, so. I just have to use my imagination. Right. I mean, it does look pretty nice, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe these are spoiled kids who are like, oh yeah, this this is not cool. Like, come on, this, this looks pretty cool to me. What is? Making history and stuff, conquering foreign planets, building first ever Savian colony. Isn't that exciting? That sounds pretty cool to me. I don't know. I feel like I've seen most of it this place already. What? Didn't you just come here? I guess this might be like a, a small colony. Wow, they're still building it. By the way, where do you live? How, how well I know you. Well, did I just say that I was captured by slavers and my parents died? So, uh, take a guess. Our apartment is on floor minus eight. Near the stairs up the common area. No way! You got one of those fancy apartments? It means ours is... 
I mean, ours is alright too. Oh. You are sensitive. V. Dot, dot, dot. I think it's because of my parents' job. All scientists are in that area. Anyway, I gotta go back home. Recess is almost over. Maybe you can show me around later. Oh, wink, wink. <clears throat> Actually, before you go, there's something I want to show you. Um, teenage boy wants to show me something. Let me guess. Is it your penis? <laughs> can it wait till this afternoon? I don't want to be late. He seems pretty eager. <laughs> Who cares? Come on, it's really cool. Wow. It's nice to have some self-love, uh, Noah. Today's my first day at school here. I, I don't want to make a bad impression on my first day. Okay. Oh, and now you're just... Recess doesn't really take that long, right? What do you want to show me? You'll see. What the... Okay. Oh, we gotta dismiss the tutorial. Okay. So, do, I, do we wanna uh, go back to school, which sucks? Or do we wanna see this guy's junk? Tough choices. Let's go with Noah. Alright, I'm curious, but let's make it quick. <laughs> you won't regret it this way. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, wait for me, Noah. What? Oh. Um, can I go up? How do I go up? <laughs> oh, it must be. Oh, yeah. Are we allowed in there? The sign says it's a restricted area. We aren't, but I got the entrance code. Wow. Big rebel here. How do you get that? My older brother works in there. He gave it to me. <clears throat> but it's not dangerous or anything. No, don't worry. Come on. Alright. It kind of looks like where you would keep uh, the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, right? You're just rude. Come on. We were we were having a conversation and you just sprinted away and you waited for me to sprint after you. Can you just act like a normal person? <clears throat> See the elevator? It takes us halfway up the dome. Okay. So we are learning here. Up? No. Going to get caught. So this is like a smaller dome, I suppose. Probably doesn't have like probably has less than ten thousand people in it. There's nobody up there. It's going to be awesome. You'll see. Come on. Okay. Fine, but if someone sees us, it's going to. I'm going to tell them it was your idea. How's that gonna make a difference, Mira? Sure. Doc 17. So what do you think? I'm actually a little surprised. Uh, I thought he's gonna be like... <coughs> well, we went up, uh, checked out the place. I, I thought he's gonna be like... Uh, go up, it's gonna be like... Behold my mighty trouser snake! <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay. What's up, Noah? That was... wow. Right? Did you see the entrance to the mines? Crazy how huge it is. Right? Did I see that? I don't know if I saw that. Yeah, pretty impressive. And your brother works down there? It's kind of scary, though. Really? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> he has a really deep voice. Hey, wait a minute. Do you see that? The flag on these boxes? Oh, he looks sad. Angry. That's Garas. Okay. So? Why are they bringing stuff to our colony? Why wouldn't they? And they're spying on our cool mining tech or something. Uh, Neat that you... Okay. Our cool mining tech? I mean, how, how deeply you're involved in the mining operation here, uh, Noah? 
Mr. Let's break in here. No, Gary isn't our enemy. We trade with them and stuff. And besides, if you were unloading espionage equipment, would you print your face on the box? Oh, that's, that's a solid point, Mira. I... No, I wouldn't. I guess you're right. I really gotta run now. Thanks for showing me this place. It's really cool. Glad you liked it. Don't tell anyone we went up there, okay? I'll get in trouble. I won't, I promise. Uh, hey Mira, I'm glad you're here. I kinda miss you. How do I know this guy? I miss you too. I love you, Noah. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. My parents gave me a new cell when we got here. We have to reconnect. Let's do it. Whoa, that's very visual. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay. Can I call him right now? Oof, okay. Okay, we have... I don't like tutorials that much. I kind of I prefer everything to be intuitive. What? What? See my pulse? Uh, how do I call people? Said, see? I guess I can't call right now. Uh. Oh, that's the conversation history. All right, go oh, I'm off. <clears throat> Let's go. Uh, let's leave Jurassic Park. Uh, go down here. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going though. Um, I suppose we're going down. We gotta go back to school, right? Oof. Is this where school is? Uh, interact? Uh, keep in mind. Oh, yeah. Keep in mind. We, the game only saves. Is this where school is? I guess our apartment is minus eight, right? Generally, like, people. Well, the. We, people build up, but. Would it make more sense on a, on an alien planet to build down? You would need to get rid of, uh, of course, uh, ground, <laughs> rocks, dirt, whatever. But it might be easier instead of like having a huge dome. <clears throat> you can just have like a tiny dome, and like, I technically you might not even need a dome, right? You can just have like a bunker on Mars. Right? Uh, where am I going? I guess we're going this way. It's not entirely obvious to me. <clears throat> Wait. Where do we have plants on the on the wall? Oxybar. Wait. Can I do something here? I I don't want any of those. We gotta hurry or. A shipment of Karshi green caramel bars just arrived. Okay, cool. Can we just make those? Shouldn't be that hard to make. <clears throat> no way! You have deep fried topo fish. Damn right we do. Only place in Drovia to serve it. You just arrived, huh? Yeah, it's my first day here. I'm so happy you serve topa. What was my favorite dish back home? So you want some? Sorry, I'm in a hurry. School about to start. But I'll be back this afternoon. Really? Okay, cool. Uh... It's it's not really about to start, right? Because apparently... Teresa's? Uh, oh, okay, we're going down. That... It does... Does seem more like a ladder than, a, a, than stairs, but... Where are we going? I mean, this is just pretty much, uh, pretty linear. Oh, that must be school. Should I be learning on my own? That's probably more efficient. I mean, that's definitely my preference, but... Who knows? She might be young. <sighs> I mean, she's definitely young, but, like... Is she that young? Doesn't seem like it. <clears throat> All right. Now that everyone's here, Mira, you can get started. 
Oh, right, of course, it's some kind of video lecture. Please make sure to arrive on time in the future. Now this makes sense. Although, I would be still bored by it because I tend to watch things on like triple speed. This morning, I walked you through our learning platform and you sh and showed you the curriculum for this year. You'll be taught about the same topics you would uh, back home. Today, we are going to go over some basic facts about our solar system. Can I just Google that like anytime? <clears throat> this won't be news to most of you, but I want to make sure we are all on the same page. I already know all this stuff. Can I skip this lesson and come back later? No, I, I haven't even told you what exactly we are going to talk about. <gasps> Let me ask my dad. I'm sure he will write me a note. <laughs> Classes are mandatory for everyone, even for the son of our chief of security. I'm sure he'll agree with me. That doesn't sound great. But what if this guy is just like, he just genuinely doesn't want to waste his time, right? What's so wrong about that? You were all given a map of the solar system as part of your school package. I can see that some of you have already put it up on the wall. Very nice. Ami, <clears throat> please take a moment to double check if it's there. You may need it for your next assignment. Okay, I already don't like this guy. Can I just uh, skip school? Whatever. What, 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 what? What am I supposed to do here? Did the game crash or something? Oh. <clears throat> Examine the poster. Press space to toggle your AR modules investigation mode. Oh, okay. Once activated, it will highlight nearby objects. Uh, you can examine. Okay. Um, what is that? Is that tab? Toggle to the right using tab and to the left using uh, shift. Okay. Okay. Sure. That's... That sounds needlessly complicated. What the hell? What is this? Okay, so that is the map of the area, I think. Although... Is it? Sector 2? I mean, I guess I'm not here, right? Okay, let's dismiss this. Jovia Gara. A new Joran. So, you know, of three planets in the same solar system. Hey, sweetie, we just missed you. Have fun in class, and we'll be back this afternoon. God damn it. Ah, okay. Let's go back in class. Okay, so now we, yeah, disabled that. <clears throat> Looks like you will have the poster. It'll help you solve the task I'm about to give you. Okay. I also have another resource for you. An, an, ex an excerpt from a recent uh, news article. I'm sending you both uh, the sheet and the article now. What the hell? What? What? Stop. Why am I in class? Open your cell and check your news and sheets tab. Okay, I don't need this tutorial. Submit the sheet once you think you've got it. From time to time, it can be useful to stop and think for a while. I don't need a tip about that. Some, be some benches, sofas and chairs offer a place to sit down. Take out your cell and go over everything you know so far. That's not much. So I can sit down on this chair. And... Uh, I can open up this. Uh, whenever you receive a news article, it is stored in this tab. Select it to view the latest news. A little bouncing icon indicates a new cell contact you haven't seen yet. Okay. Sheets are added to this tab of your cell. Select uh, the correct answers to fill the gaps when the sheet is due. And uh, a submit button appears at the bottom. I only have one shot of getting it right. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh no. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I don't want to be quizzed about this. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think it was like two. Submit. Yeah, that 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 was the one. Did I make you proud? Let's go over it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. The first answer is correct. Humanity originated on Gara and settled on the other planets from there. Yeah, that's that's right. <clears throat> Let's look at the second question. I didn't even do a second question. I'm surprised that you got that wrong. You should really know this. Um, it's I did my best, teacher. It's Savians from New Joran that created their own colony on Bor Drovia. Well, well, it's so bad that I got the second question wrong. Uh, considering they only had one question. Now, for the last question. Did you read the news article I sent you? Yep, I did that. Totally did that. I, I may have skimmed it a little. We are mining Tilium, Androvia. It's a very valuable resource nowadays. Only one out of three. You have a bit of catching up to do. Let's move on to the next. Hold, hold on, what was that? He's down! Let's go! Call interrupted due to emergency. Structural breach detected. Holy fuck! That's not good. Please relocate to the closest safe uh, room as quickly as possible. Uh, they will be locked in 60 seconds. Oh my god. Emergency exit plans have been uh, distributed to all living units. Oh, maybe I should have used some robot voice for this. Wait, what? Oh fuck! Now you may be swear, Mira. Okay, okay, they're all running. Wait a second. Shouldn't I be running the way they are running? Oh, I. Run, 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 run. Is this is this a hidey place? Oh, not that way. Help! Anyone, please! Oh, no. Hey, girl, please help me. I thought I was stuck. Fine. Noah? Mir, come on! We gotta hurry! Uh... But... but she... Please, just grab the door and pull! Do it! Doesn't work! It... is it? Alright, I'm going the right way. At least this one might know the way to go. What the fuck? Okay, they're running the wrong way. 20 seconds up. You guys better know the way to go. 10 seconds until lockdown. If I need to restart, I will be mad. Holy shit, they don't know the way to go? I made it? Then why did those guys turn back? The only reason I, I, I decided to run this way is because, like, I was fucked. <laughs> There's zero chance that I can climb down and find another place. So I just throw the dice. I guess those guys are dead. Noah, what's going on? Have you seen my parents? No, I... They're dead again! Said they. Did I just say before that, well, I didn't exactly say that they were dead. Or that the trip was not the best. Yeah, it wasn't as impactful. I think it would have been, would have worked a lot better without the teacher scene. After 10 years, <laughs> meeting your ex still feels kind of strange. My ex? Or maybe it doesn't if you don't still have feelings for her. Maybe a dozen if the whole world isn't on the brink of war. I don't even know why I agreed to see Cat that day. My thoughts were still lingering on my work. My unit was responsible for the safety of one of the most important visitors Gara had seen in a long time. Joseph Banny, foreign minister of Drovia. Whatever came of his negotiations with our president could make or break the relationship between our planets for generations to come. Yet here I was, 
fighting with my ex about how often I should call my daughter, pretending that it mattered. It matters. Kaiser Gazer Bistro. Neil, did you hear what I said? These are different characters. <clears throat> Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Were you listening to the radio? I'm sorry, Kat. They were talking about Benny. This whole thing has really put me on edge. You haven't changed a bit. You know how important it is, to, it is this time. Yeah, that's what you said every time. Let's get back to Lara. That's why we're here, right? I don't know what else to say. You never visit her. You don't even call her back. You're being unfair. I watched that awful movie with her that you didn't want to see. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on, that was over a month ago. But this guy does not give a fuck. <clears throat> and you're barely responded to her messages ever since. I don't understand how you can treat her like that. She deserves better. Don't act all sad about it. I cannot give a fuck, but at least embrace it. Honestly, I don't like spending time at our old place. That, that is a valid reason, <clears throat> I suppose. But that's not a good enough reason, though, because I'm not like you, you can't... I mean, if you just wanted to see your daughter that much, then you could have just uh, arranged for like uh, some outside... Activities, so come on, deal. That's that's just an excuse again. What? Why? I don't know. It reminds me of our life together. I mean, to an extent, I suppose. My daughter. I mean, should, should I just embrace myself as the guy? Seems like uh, I, I'm making choices as him. It reminds me of our life together. You never seem to care much at the time. You keep telling yourself that, Kat. Sure, I'm telling myself that. You were never home. <clears throat> I was starting out at the CDI. None of us were ever home. Whatever. We've been having this, dis this discussion for a decade. Laura's a teenager now, and it would be good for her if she had a second parent to talk to. And good for me, frankly. Okay. I mean, making it about you right away uh, was not a right move, though, I would argue. Because now you seem like just like, oh shit, I, I just want more time for myself, which is understandable, but still. <clears throat> Look, I'll try to do better. That's not much of a promise. Great. Why don't you go up to her right now, then? Like, come on. <laughs> You're talking about right now, but spending time with her. You could have just spent this time with her. She's home, and I won't be bothering you. I have an appointment. This is a really bad time. This is some bullshit right there. <laughs> she, this guy must have a fucking expert mental gymnastics here. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Really? Laura will be delighted. I mean, you made a good point. I, I have to go now. It was good to see you. You too. Oh, okay. As I started walking home, I felt angry at myself. Not for failing to show my daughter how much I cared for her. Do you? But for actually not caring as much as she would have deserved. At least, that's what I thought I felt like at the time. I was under a lot of pressure due to Banny's visit, and I found it hard to think about anything other than work. Up the volume a little bit. Okay. Uh, the conversation, at least, should be louder. Uh, not sure about the, the background uh, noises. Okay, that's fair enough. 
I think what he said was a little bullshit. Uh, what he meant, or what he's thinking, is that he is not. He doesn't care as much as he thinks he should care. Basically. Okay, we're gonna hold to sprint. Yeah, I know about that. If and if in fact, I kind of want to sprint all the time because I'm not gonna go with this speed. Okay. I'm not sure about this running around part. I just thought that we're gonna go up to my daughter right, right now. Oh, visit Laura. Let's go. Why not? I mean, sure. Not like I, I need to uh, watch her because she's a teenager, I suppose. <clears throat> hey, Laura. Oh, Dad. Hi. You're working on your novel. Yeah, no, no, please, stop looking at the screen. It's still very rough. What are you doing here? Came to see you. Thought I'd stop by to say hello. Haven't had much time for that lately. Oh my god. Again, going on, on about how busy you are. <clears throat> Did mom send you? No, it was my idea. It was my idea. No, it was my idea. I'm not a baby anymore. I know you guys just met. <laughs> no, I, I, we met, but like it was my idea. Sure, but it's not like your mother can tell me what to do. So, how about the novel coming along? Will I ever get to read it? I'm working on a different text right now. I haven't had uh, much time for the novel lately. Oh, okay. What different text? It's for a contest. Long story. I need to finish it soon, so I'm in kind of a hurry. That's smart. I see. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll leave you to it, then. Let me know if you want to watch another movie. Come on, Neil! Why it's gotta be so passive? Just watching a movie? Might as well not be there. You did like the last movie. Last one after all, didn't you? I mean, does that really matter? And there's gotta be uh, some more meaningful way to spend time. I understand that it, that's not necessary. It doesn't seem like they have too much in common, I suppose. How, how do you spend time with your children? Because it doesn't seem like they have uh, much common interest. I guess once your movie is okay, but like maybe not not if you like see your kid like once a month. <clears throat> I hated it. I mean, at least he's honest. <laughs> sure, you did. See you soon, Dad. What? Did she not believe me? I mean, to be fair, I I think this guy would not. Oh, look at the screen, Dad. Wow. Okay. That was it? I suppose that was, like, uh, uh, better than nothing. I download the news. Do I want that? Uh, do I care about that? But don't, don't quiz me about the news. I don't care. No, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm some kind of detective, I'm gonna be the worst one. <laughs> Did I read the news? Fuck. I don't want to read the news. Isn't this about... This morning, after a six-week journey through uh, space, the most important guest of this year's Interplanetary Trade Summit has finally arrived on Gara. Jovius Foreign Minister Joseph Bani, as uh, one of the most radical critics of uh, the Garian state and its colonial activities, Bani has been fighting for more economic and political autonomy on Jovius' part for a while. His central demand at the summit is expected to be Jovius' full emancipation from a Garian rule. However, political observers don't expect President Robertson to give into their demands. The Drovia experts 
in the Robertson ministry declared themselves against granting the colony more rights and liberties, especially in the light of the Savient Front's growing influence in Drovia. The Savient Front is an extremist branch of the Savient religion and is infamous for defending backwards anti-scientific positions. Drovian independence would inevitably lead to a stronger influence of this group in our solar system. However, if Robertson doesn't want to escalate relations between our planets, he might be forced to find some compromises with Bane. I'm not gonna read the other one. I'm just gonna read them if they become relevant, maybe. <clears throat> oh, should I climb down? No. I'm just gonna run around. It does do we have like a purpose here? But Lara, so we talk to Lara. I guess I'm just gonna run around here. I mean, I had objective of Oh, walking to home. Buy cigarettes? I don't wanna do that. In post cancer time, smoking is less lethal, but it's still a addictive lifestyle for many. Cigarettes can be bought across the city. Your cell home tab list. How many cigarettes you have left? Okay. Choice is yours. Help Neil quit smoking or enjoy some nice uh, views of the city over a cigarette. Nope. Uh, he's gonna quit smoking. I think I'm having enough views uh, of the city already. I mean, that's the easiest way to quit smoking. Just I looked at my reflection in the glass. Having no cigarettes, I suppose. <clears throat> I did, because something still hurt when I saw her. Although it might just have been the memory of not getting something we wanted, of having failed. As good as we may be at making sense of things, there are some we can't work into the narrative. Wow. This guy's full of joy. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, we're back home! Are you excited? <clears throat> I don't have a robot voice. Welcome, visitor. Mr. Conrad is currently not at home. Oh, I guess this is not my home. That's probably because I'm standing in the hallway. Yeah, I'm Mr. Conrad. Would you like to leave a message? You dumb robot! Oh, it's me, Neil Conrad. Performing of the scan. Scanning is currently not possible. Please contact the system administrator for more information. Great, the scanner's probably busted again. I should check my cell. Maybe I got notified about it. Don't you have like a, a plan B to get into your house? Okay, people will message you from time to time. Select this tab to view your messages. Why is... Why do we have so many stats? I mean, why do we need more so much information for an adventure game? Okay. Okay, so code is 9264. I can read a lot faster than I can speak. <laughs> okay, we can get in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, shut it. I want to enter a pin, please. What? Do I, do I need to... Okay. Let's go! Welcome, visitor. You entered the correct pin. Unlocking door. Alright, let's go! Who's calling me? <clears throat> hey, Gary. So, how's the date with your ex go? What? So I, I told Gary about the meat as well. Whatever. Seems like I could be spending a lot of this time of talking to other people uh, with actually talking with my kid. I mean, seems like I don't really care that much. I, I just talked with her like one, one minute. I'm not sure why I care. Like, he obviously doesn't. Perfectly. What do you think? Neil, I, I think you're the one fucking up things here. <laughs> you just expected a tragedy. And it kind of was went okay. Well, I hope it was worth ditching me. Oh, I ditched Gary? 
What's the situation? Our job's done for today. Benny and his staff are with President Robertson now. Tonight, they are invited to dinner with some fat cats. Things went over smoothly, nothing uh, out of the ordinary so far. But goddamn, Benny's guys annoyed the fuck out of me. They didn't miss an opportunity to call us honest colonialists. One more time, and I might have punched them in the throat. I'm just happy they're Johnson's responsibility for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Let's hope that we're all getting along better after the summit. I'm not sure about that. Did you read the article about the trade summit in the news today? Yes? No. Yes, I, I read that. The one about Robertson not really planning on giving Penny anything? They've been saying that for weeks. Let's wait and see. <laughs> what else do you think will happen? Drove you in independence? I'm not sure I care about the politics. <clears throat> If you ask me, Benny's, uh, Benny shouldn't get anything at all. We built the whole colony after all. <clears throat> anyway, the chief has uh, scheduled the briefing tomorrow morning at 9. Don't be late. Can't be that. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Horace. How's it going? Do nothing. <laughs> I think he's, he's good at doing nothing. Should I, I mean, it doesn't look that petable. Let's, let's feed him. He's gonna like that. Okay. Or... Um... I, I, I don't wanna smoke. I, I didn't buy cigarettes. I suppose I still have some. Well, now. <clears throat> okay. What was that? Do I have somewhere to go? Okay. Do I need a reminder? Not sure I do. Do we have, a, like, a, a place we should go? Go to sleep. <clears throat> Wait. Where do I sleep? Okay. I'm just gonna sleep in my clothes. That's fine. Sure. It's very efficient. Gara Luville. Oh. Hello. Conrad, it's me. <clears throat> Everything alright? No, it's not. Barry's been shot. Um, what? Ow. What's, what's his condition? He's dead! Where are you now? He's dead? I ask you where you... You are, Conrad. I'm... I'm at my place. Me... Conrad! You fucking idiot! He could be just, uh... Uh, like... Some... Some... Some other agent trying to kill you and now you're just giving up your location. I have someone pick you up. You know, I, I, I don't. It's a 50 minute train ride. I'll be right there. No, it's it's about security. Make it quick. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How could that happen? I didn't even dare think about the impending political aftermath. This was indeed murder. It couldn't be. I hope there was a mistake. Maybe Gary had gone crazy. Maybe I was dreaming. Foreign Minister Banny's death could be the tipping point in the conflict between Gyara and Drovia. This whole visit was meant to ease tensions between our planets. Now, now it could lead to war. The first interplanetary war. Fuck me, he'll snap out of it. He'll figure this out. Focus on the task ahead. Okay. I do like this uh, little uh, voice acting. Uh, and we are, oh, while we are running to the train. As we are somewhat caught up. Whoa. Um. 
Um, oh, okay. We're supposed to go down. Sure. So, I mean, it seems like the game has a slow start, but it might not be indicative of the entire game. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh yeah, let's go. And what am I? Some, probably some kind of security guard. Special security, I suppose. <clears throat> there you are, comrade. You took long enough. Evening, Gary. Fill me in. It seems like Banny was shot by a sniper when he was out on the balcony. What the fuck? What are you doing? Is this amateur hour here? I might as well fucking kill himself at that point. Oh my god. Why was he allowed to be on the balcony? His secretary was with him when it happened. Like, his uh, security was our responsibility. I mean, even if you just lock him in a fucking closet, I mean, we gotta make sure that that guy doesn't die, right? Not like, and I got killed by a sniper. Even if he just dies, like, Five minutes after we, we, it's not our job. Like that's fine, but like he shouldn't be, he shouldn't die in our watch. Clean headshot. He was dead on the spot. The staff's pretty shaken up, but nobody else is hurt. I mean, he was just some random guy. I mean, technically, it's gonna have implications, but like not not like your your parents died or something. <clears throat> and the development since he was shot and things suspicious. But the shot? No, it seems the sniper hit their target and ran. Professional. I also asked the staff if they noticed anything unusual prior to the attack. The secretary and the priest said no, and the bodyguards refused to talk to me altogether. Okay, the priest? Did we... Did, do we have, like, a priest on... On... on I mean... How did the priest come to be here? We were like a... Okay, because like, we are like, imagine like... I don't know, like a president getting killed, and the other bodyguard telling you that the priest saw nothing, like... But like, how, how, how is the priest coming in? Because like, was this priest uh, called after after the death? Or we just we just have a priest like twenty four seven is like is like a special role in politics. Um, bunch of radical Drovian nationalists, conspiracy nuts. What did you expect? No, no, you're still in shock. Uh, no, we are not guessing. I guess they're still in shock. Let's say that better than guessing. Give the moment. They're they're all traumatized right now. Are they? They're supposed to be professionals. They got to snap out of it. Okay. I give them some time. I mean, the death just happened. What really happens is that, you know, we're just gonna... I mean, force them to have a good night's sleep. I'm not suggesting that we knock them out, but, like, we can just give them sleeping pills. They sleep for, like, a little bit, then in the morning, we're just gonna talk to them, I, I suppose. I mean, if it's not like a priority right now, but it seems like uh, just sniper killed a guy. So it's not. They keep uh, refusing to cooperate. I'm taking them in for obstructing our investigation. Okay, here it comes. You'll be good cop. I'll be the. I'll be bad cop. <laughs> this is Gara, not some lawless rock. Hold on. Did you say priest earlier? Yeah, that that's right. Like, what the fuck is the priest coming in? Yeah, a guy from Banny's staff. He's a spiritual advisor and a somewhat prominent, savient, uh, front member. The guy's fucking annoying. Poor Roy. 
says he can uh, barely keep uh, him away from Benny's body. Okay. What's the piece? <coughs> What's the priest trying to do? Fuck it, I know. <laughs> I was trying to read it like as uh, as it was uh, showing up, and <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck if I know. Some some weird ritual. <clears throat> Is he gonna fuck it? Anyway, we are trying to find out where the shot came from. <clears throat> it has to be one of the opposite high-rises, but we don't know which one. I already started looking into it, and I think we can pretty much rule out the casino. They ramped up security tonight because of the big fancy event. It would be near impossible to get a gun in there. Unlikely. Yeah, maybe. And very stupid. We need to track down... I mean, it's not that hard, like, you know, you don't really, you don't really have to get it into the casino, right? Because, like, let's just say that, like, you have, like, a tall building, you don't have to get into the building to get to the roof. You can just shoot, shoot a, ro uh, a rope up, you can climb up on the side of the building, go for the sniping shot, and, like, Rep all down, easy, and get the fuck out of there. Probably the fastest way. But it can be a little uh, <clears throat> uh, visible. So you might want to do it uh, from a side that people wouldn't see you. Copy that. You realize how big of a shit show this is, right? I can't believe he got shot. What did we miss? <laughs> I was not here! So, like, oh, we got a team. What did you miss, Gary? He was shot on the fucking balcony. You did a, a crappy job. I mean, we checked everything. Kept tabs ev on everyone. No, Gary, you're fucking stupid. You suck at your job, Gary. If, if, I, when I was here, where the guy was, he was locked in a fucking truck, a uh, trunk. Or like, in, 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 in his, and, and whatever, the bathroom, whatever. I made sure that the guy did not leave. His, uh, his room. Not, not like the fucking balcony. Benny seemed to be in nobody's crosshairs. He obviously wrong about that. Okay, like, seemed to be. That's not exactly true, though. Because anyone who's, like, high enough position has some influence. And taking them out. Uh, even if, like, you don't care too much. Like, either way, you can cause some chaos. How in God, God's name could that happen? What the fuck, Gary? You suck as an agent. Not only the guy got killed, and you're like completely clueless about how, how he died, but you're just guessing. Let's find out. Yeah, that's right. Seriously, Conrad, we better have quick results on our hands. What the fuck? I mean, it's gotta be me, right? If you don't, we'll be the first in line to be out of the job. Oh my god, Gary, shut up! Yeah, and you know, there might be a war. That's not what you say to Gary. I mean, yes, you are right, Neil, but also, that Gary doesn't seem like the guy who's gonna be cool about it. Just get up there and find out what, uh, where the shot came from. Report back to me when you're done. I have a few phone calls to make. Seems like the only focus you're making is calling other people who's gonna solve your problem. Roger that. Okay. I mean, these stairs are like... look like letters. Okay. I can investigate. And what about that... previous... Part of the game with Mira, Noah. Is that not relevant anymore? Okay, I can highlight them. Always investigate with space. Unbelievable. Just leave us alone. 
Okay. I can sit down and think about this. Hey! I can't believe it. Okay. I think it would be better if... Like... I, it's always better to have less characters if they, they have nothing to say. It's better to have, like, one character that says a lot than have, like, ten characters that say nothing. <clears throat> Neil, over here. It's always nice to see you, except, you know... It's the middle of the night, and there's a dead guy on the balcony. I hear you. Yeah, well, call that Tuesday. Oh my god, Neil! <laughs> Neil needs a fucking vacation. It's Friday. For real, I'm glad you're here. And Gary's been acting like, you know, himself. I mean, our, our, our... Gary's completely incompetent, and Neil is like, pretty much. Well, he, he needs some cheering up. I mean, at least he needs, uh... Probably medicine for depression at this point. At least a psychiatrist. I'm just setting up my mobile lab and I could use your help. Our number one priority is to find out where the shot came from. Chief already prepared the case sheet. Let me send it to you right now. He wants you to submit it as soon as you think you got it. Take a look around and talk to Ben's staff. Maybe that will get closer to our answer. Got it. Oh, and one more thing. You're still missing an important piece of the puzzle. You didn't find the bullet yet. Let me know if you do. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff. Are you gonna quiz me about this? Okay, I can read this. Hey, Neil. Uh, thanks for saying hello to Lara, even if she didn't show it. She's happy to you swung by. Talk to you soon, Kat. Yeah. Sheets, the bullet. Um, what? Okay. Oh. Oh, right. That, that's how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, that was not intuitive at all. Um, I, I, I got it. Okay. Okay. So I don't think that's not great. We wanna touch it and just check it out. And uh, as uh, the game progresses, the story progresses. Uh, gray interactables, like could be people, uh, objects, whatever, might might have something new. Oh, uh, what? Can I interact with this? The bullet disappeared into the wall, right behind the, this closet. It's locked. Do I need to have a key? I guess I can go to the balcony. Eh? Two hundred meters away? That's not even that far. Three hundred meters. I guess that's. Okay, so we got a bunch of metric information about our distance. So we need to have a key for this cupboard. And the outline is almost barely visible. Okay. Two wooden spears dubbed Bawas. Savians use them when praying together. Okay. This guy has something new. Excuse me, sir. Are you with CDI? I am. Your comrade. Pleased to meet you. I'm Priest Aryan. I was Mr. Banning's spiritual advisor. I can only ask you that you let me take off Mr. Banning's jewelry. It's a very important part of the Savian farewell ritual. This is an investigation, Aryan. You can fuck right off. This is not the time to loot corpses. I mean, if someone's gonna loot uh, Benny, it's gonna be me. 
Okay. We must free the dead from their worldly possessions so that they can safely cross over the dead to the afterlife. I'm pretty sure that uh, ideology is shared by just some thieves too. Or like, you, you can just have this uh, same mentality as a grave digger. Uh, grave robber, I mean. <clears throat> it must be done before the soul has completely left the body and we are running out of time. I'll hand the jewelry over to the CDI right now. It has no value to me. Oh, right away. It has no value to me. That's it, though! I understand, but I can't have you moving the body. It's crucial evidence that you can that can be tampered with. Do you believe in something, Mr. Conrad? I'm not religious. That doesn't mean you can believe in something. That doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm somewhat of a nihilist. I mean, what that's... I mean, I suppose that's a belief, but that's not much of a belief, is it? You just believe that li life has no meaning, which is which is fine. You can, that's that's what I believe in too. I suppose I'm a nihilist too, but you know, I kind of look at life as life as like a as a sandbox game, right? Like if he had a quest, you would fucking hate it. If if you just uh if you started life or you just had some kind of quest already, like there was some meaning to your life, you would fucking hate it. If you just had to follow some dumb quest to get some high score, there's no high score, right? So I, I may be just uh, going, uh, going on a tangent about this. But is nihilism a belief? I don't know. Of course, like as, as in a sandbox game, you can just say like, fuck it, like I'm just going to have some fun, right? You know? So, I'm not sure if that's, like, but by itself, I wouldn't really call nihilism a belief, right? But I'm kind of curious what he's going to say about it. I'm somewhat of nihilist, if that's what you're asking. A nihilist? But you're working for the CDI and defending the interests of the Garian state. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Aryan, I'm not here to discuss philosophical questions with you. Am I not, though? That's exactly why I said it. <clears throat> Please, I'll be very careful when taking off the jewelry. I'll make sure not to alter any of the any of the evidence. Aryan, you you can fuck right off. I already said no. The Guardian State likes to pride itself in its tolerance and liberty. No one who who prides themselves on their tolerance and liberty uh, stand for that. Stand for either. This is your chance to prove that to me that you <laughs> that those are not just empty words. You prove it to me by by doing nothing. Shutting up and sitting down in the corner. Oh yeah, that that's my state. Oh fuck. Uh now those are empty words. Didn't, didn't I just say that I was a nihilist and I believe in nothing? You totally uh, didn't luck out with me. I'm sorry. We can't make any ch uh, <clears throat> these. We can't take any chances here. If you want us to find the culprits, please stay away from the body. This guy needs to be locked up. Don't I get any help? So they are empty words after all. I pray for the corrupted Garian soul. Well, you do that. And while you're doing that, can you just sit down in the corner, shut up, and maybe like get, go somewhere else? I don't need more dead bodies on my watch. Because this guy was killed on the balcony, and I'm not sure if these uh, windows are bulletproof. But even if they are not bulletproof, this idiot might go out on the balcony. I mean, even if they are bulletproof, I mean, they, this idiot might go on the balcony. So this, and also like already threatened me about. It, well, he kind of promised to temper with evidence. No, 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 Aryan, you need to go away. All right, then. I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, I need to get a key, right? Is there something to interact with here? That's not. Oh, this guy. He's red. Hello, Neil Conrad, CDI. Are you with Mr. Banning? <clears throat> we already talked to your colleagues. I, I know, but I need your help with something. Do you know where I can find the key 
to the cupboard upstairs. Why would you need to look in there? <clears throat> I think it contains an important piece of evidence. I prefer if you didn't mess with anything before Adrovian authorities arrive. Adro <clears throat> Adrovian authorities? <clears throat> I was losing my voice. I had to drink. <clears throat> we prefer this to be handled by our own people. What the hell? Well... You're in the wrong country for that. The sniper will surely be off planet by the time that happens. We'll share our findings with them anyway, I promise. Oh, like you promised to protect Mr. Banny? Fair, fair. I mean, I suppose it's kind of nice that we are not 100% blamed, though. I guess saying sorry is not no good. <clears throat> I understand you're upset. We'll take full responsibility for this when the time comes. You will, huh? What will the punishment be? A promotion? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, man. My partner is obviously incompetent. And uh, I think I'm incompetent too. <laughs> oh, man. It's okay, Eddie. We don't want to fight. <clears throat> it's only convenient for Gara that one of the champions for uh, Dvorian, Drovian independence is out of the picture. Operational consequences. Please calm down, sir. Let's say that. <clears throat> sir, please calm down. We are all on the same side here. I understand how you feel, but the perp is still out there. <sighs> when you say I understand how you feel, do you do you really though? <clears throat> Aren't you like somewhat cheapening? Like, do, do you know? That's just an assumption on your part. Like. You, you never really feel the same thing as the other person. Although, like, yeah, to some extent, like, of course, like, you may not enjoy the death of other people, and you can uh, mirror the feelings of other people, but, like, do you really understand how they feel? I don't know. It just seems like... It seems a little empty. Well, like, please stop the drama, mate. We need to <clears throat> get them quickly. If they have another target, we need to find out how now. Shouldn't be too hard. Who else is pissing off your government? Please be reasonable. No, these are not good answers. Please be reasonable. I'm not your enemy. Yes, you are. Listen, the assassin might be on their way to their next Trovian target right now. I, that's that's quite a leap, Neil, Neil. And you can't do anything about that, but the CDI can. And you decide if your personal grudges are more important to you than your people's safety. Oh no, we just <laughs> implied that he doesn't care about his people. Just give him the key. It's not like there's anything in there. Fine. Here's my <clears throat> keychain. This better lead to something. Oh my god! Much obliged. Ah, uh, what? Well, I guess we won the. What? Young, look at this! Did, did we find anything? I mean, I don't mind the graphics, but like. Can be hard to see what what's up. The bullet, <clears throat> the bullet was inside the cupboard, as we expected. Here it is. Good work. Hold on. Let me have a look. This kind of projectile usually doesn't go very far. Okay. They probably used a comparatively small rifle to to better disguise the gunshot. It was fired from a distance of no more than two hundred meters. I would say two fifty tops. Good to know. Thank you. By the way, I forgot something earlier. There. You should now be able to submit the sheet I sent you. Man, I feel like I'm doing homework here. I don't know if you have uh, all the evidence yet. I mean, I just found the bullet. So... I would say no. <clears throat> but... 
you're now able to send me your conclusions once you do. Wow. Even implying that I, I might have all evidence just just after finding the bullet is kind of crazy. So, 250 tops. Okay. So, Sakura Hotel, uh, Casino, and Ghetto Hotel, they all play. A headshot. Damn. Okay, what's next? It, it cannot be the rocket tower, right? It can be. Gato Hotel, Rocket Tower, Pixie Casino, Sakura Hotel. We don't know. We don't know where it was fired from. We know one place it wasn't fired from. So... <clears throat> We need more information. I suppose we gotta look around. Maybe some people can be talked to. Maybe she knows something? Good evening. Ma'am, are you okay? Huh? Yes? You're just talking about our plans for breakfast and then he... Pretty close. Uh, do you need help? Yeah, let's go do you need help. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no like, I, I, I'm okay. Are we safe here? What if the sniper comes back? You seem to be the only one uh, concerned about that. The priest is like, I want to die too. The sniper is long gone. They had a clear target. You are not in danger. God! <laughs> For a second, I thought he just tripped. Then I saw. Do you remember the way he fell? I was standing to his right, and he fell away from me. So you think the shot came from uh, one of the the buildings on the right? I, I guess so. I just stood there and stared at him. Then Smith came and pulled me inside. Uh, thank you. That's all. People are on their way to keep you company. They should be there here soon. Okay. Do I need to sit down to think about this? Does it does this help? Um I'm pretty sure we uh it, it's gotta be the casino, right? No, Sakura Hotel, Rocket Tower. So the one on the right. Yeah. It's gotta be Sakura Hotel. Uh, should I send in my homework? Yep, that's, that's the one. Yep. Neil, I saw you submitted the sheet. Yeah, I just did that. Report back to Gary and ask him what to do next. I think you should get to the location. Got it. See you later. Okay, let's find Gary. We got a proper investigation on our hands now. <clears throat> what? Gary! Where the fuck are you? I need you, Gary. Oh, Gary's here. <laughs> <laughs> Gary did not move one step. <clears throat> Any new findings? Uh, of course, I will actually just forget the, the voice of all these characters. I mean, I'm not giving them very unique voices, I suppose. But I also want to make sure that their voices are not annoying. The bullet probably came from the Sakura Hotel. Good job, Conrad. I'm sending Saito to lock the place down. Okay. Get over there. I'll catch up as soon as I can. <clears throat> Listen, about those bodyguards... them some slack no i mean they suck they, they let the guy 
They should be punished. They shouldn't get away with obstructing our investigation like this. That's not what I meant. I need the key to get the bullet that killed Banny. He almost didn't give it to me. This cost us valuable time, and who knows what they're not telling us. Mill, you're wasting time right now! Oh my god! I agree. I'll talk to the chief about it. Oh my god, you guys are really good at talking. This is why nothing ever gets done. <laughs> anyway, you should get going. I'm on my way. Are you though? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like talking. It wasn't until I was on my way back But there's time for talking and doing. The park's obscene size. The if I knew that what cool he was going to say, was I would have said, the cut them some slack. The whole it was one of the last spots in the area where buildings hadn't been stacked on top of each other like toy blocks. My head was unusually clear, and to my surprise, I noticed that I was in a good mood. In retrospect, I believe that it stemmed from a sense of purpose driving me forward that night. Go, go, go! Oh, someone's calling me. Hey, is it the pizza place again? <clears throat> Young, what's up? <clears throat> Listen, Neil, the police just got an anonymous tip from Sakura Hotel. Whoever sent it to them didn't provide a lot of details. Just that they had been in contact with a suspicious person. Why so vague? I don't know, but it looks like they you definitely got the right building. <clears throat> Thanks, Young. I'll talk to you later. I think I gave him a good voice. Oh what? Did I come to the right place? Did my Oh. suppose. I hope this is not gonna take me back home. We wanna go to the hotel. Like a new place? Sakura Hotel. Is Gary here again? Eating Elite. Yeah, but the dating sites or dating apps or whatever Dating software's uh, purpose is to keep you dating, right? Think about that. Also, the ads everywhere, who's paying for that? Uh, the customers. Not because they're finding their partners. <coughs> A good evening now. I have that many voices. <laughs> Hey Saito, looks like you beat me here. Well, the rest of us uh, use cars, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. I don't waste time uh, uses public transportation. I mean, I'm fine with the public transportation, really. <laughs> but, I mean, do, do you really want to use public transportation as a, as a secret agent? Uh, number one or number two? I know. Let me bring you up to speed. We locked down the hotel and uh, told the staff that nobody can go in or out. Holloway is keeping an eye on everybody in the lobby. I flew a drone up to the highest room. Long said that's uh, where the sniper might be. I mean, he might have been, right? Is he still up there? It's empty. Lights out and no signs of life. <clears throat> Figured as much. Snipers don't use just the ground. But I did see lights in the room below. Maybe the guest is in there, so or heard something. I paid them a visit. The receptionist said that the sniper's room was rented out to a gentleman named De Diaz. I got his ID chip number already, currently running a citywide search for it, but without success so far. <clears throat> Do we know that what Diaz looks like? They don't have any surveillance cameras in the hotel. You know how it is. Rich people and their privacy. So no, we don't know what he looks like, but maybe you can find out. Open the sheet. Let me send that to you. Ah, uh, more homeworks. What do you tell the staff? Uh, we have a reason to believe that dangerous criminal escaped from the hotel. Good work. Let me know if you get a hit 
Oh no, perps I DM. I'll be inside if you need me. Good luck! Okay. I mean, he was pretty, uh... Productive here. Good evening. Really? Okay. Yes. It's business as usual over here. I can't move now. <laughs> Good evening. Neil Conrad, CDI. Could you answer a few questions? Naturally. Do you have any relevant information on Mr. Diaz for me? Anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary. I sent all the information we have to your colleague. Payment info, ID number, those kind of things. I see. I'd like to have a look around Diaz's room. Do you have a universal key card or something? If um, if it's absolutely necessary, yes. Uh, yes. Here you go, sir. But please be careful not to disturb any of our guests at this late hour. Thanks, I will. <clears throat> Good evening, Agent. Along CDI. Hey, Gary. I got the key card. Let's have a look at Diaz's room. <clears throat> Alright, let's get up there. Please keep it down in the corridors, if possible, and mind the carpets. My light was not on. Who the hell are you? Oh, this guy is just blocking me. Alright. Gary, are you coming? He's not coming. <laughs> Fucking classic Gary. Oh, got my gun out. Fancy bathtub. Maybe the perp used it. We should have uh, the whole bathroom checked for DNA. That's smart. So, nothing here. <clears throat> Some symbol. An almost empty whiskey bottle, and a pretty expensive one at that, judging by the receipt. That's odd, because you wouldn't really have, uh, like, a professional uh, hitman uh, drinking alcohol. There you show that. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Thanks, Gary. I got it. Gonna do that, you. <clears throat> What the? I draw a gun. Freeze. Deactivate the drone. Freeze. Go, Neil Conrad. CDI. Get that drone out of my face now. This Neil has no chill. If a muscle tenses in your trigger finger, you're a dead man. Oh, that drone kills me? The drone reacts many times faster than any human being. And the same goes for the gorilla behind you. Uh, okay. Oh, I was not gunned down. We're just here to talk. Didn't the CDI teach you to knock first? <laughs> We're in the middle of a high-profile investigation. Manners still matter. On that note, would you mind calling off your armed drone? Fine. Please make yourselves comfortable. You rather stand. <laughs> you need to answer a couple of questions. Gary, can you just stand at the elevator? You're just sabotaging me here. <clears throat> Everybody wants a piece of me these days. Uh, good for you? Make it quick. I'm a busy woman. Do you know your upstairs neighbor? I mean, probably not. Do you hear gunfire earlier? That's all. <laughs> uh, did, did, you hear, did you hear gunfire earlier? Did you hear a gun earlier? A gun? What kind of war zone is this? Answer the question, please. I'm, I'm guessing the answer is gonna be no. No, but now that you mention it, I heard some noise earlier. Sometime between 1 and 2. That is so fucking bad. Really? So, like, you haven't heard a gunshot, but you just... 
recall the time, the exact time you heard some random noise. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, maybe she has a really good memory. Maybe it was very, memor very memorable. I, I thought someone had uh, popped the cork. And you just made note of that. Anything else? Make it quick. I'm busy moving. Uh, do you know your upstairs neighbor? You're in the hotel? Uh, hotel? I never saw him. But I heard him take a phone call in the corridor earlier around 11 o'clock. Uh, really? Wow. She must be the biggest snoop. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know the neighbor, but like, I, well, at like 10, 10 52, uh, he was doing exactly that. Like, oh, cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> at 11 in the evening in the corridor. I believe he was uh, pacing up and down the hall until the person he called picked up. Then he went to his room. Was it a live conversation or did he get recorded message from some one off planet? How would she know this? <clears throat> he spoke too, so it must have been a live conversation. What did he say? I don't know. I didn't pay much attention. <laughs> yeah, really? He might not have spoken uh, Gary at all. Anything else? That's all, thanks. So you're going to leave me alone now? Um, you sound disappointed. We might still have a... Uh, bring back... <clears throat> bring you for... We might still have to bring you in for questioning. But for now, please stay put and wait for further instructions. Okay? Of course, I'll stay. My tea isn't even cool enough to drink yet. I was going to have a whiskey, but uh, that stuff tastes like a cheap knockoff around here. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> okay! Gary! We gotta talk! I did investigate the rooms! Do I have some new information here? Around here, actually. Okay, so the whiskey has more relevance now because apparently it's cheap knockoff around here, but yet expensive whiskey. That doesn't mean too much, but it might imply that it was imported. Are we okay? I suppose I need to do my homework now. Banny's murdered the bullet. Okay, case closed. <clears throat> Burp's hair is... Ooh, what? 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 They probably have a... Whiskey bottle? Their beard is... Have I missed all this information? I don't... I don't have this information, I think. Okay, I can go up, right? Hey, Gary. Could you come over here uh, for a second? Did you find something? I'm pretty sure a piece of uh, the window pane was cut out and uh, put back in. Why would you put it back in? Judging from the blue res residue, they used a pocket laser cutting device. I mean, I understand that it makes it unlikely that... Uh, it's gonna be discovered, so that way you're not gonna be discovered. But let let's just assume that, that, that that's gonna be like tomorrow, and they just see a hole in the window, and they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I'm like we're gonna notify the police, and then they're gonna find out." But that that is a bit optimistic as well, because that's assuming that uh, the the cops are not gonna find uh, the the sniper nest. Uh, anyway, right? I mean. Might as well do it, right? I suppose. But, uh... <clears throat> sure. I, I, I suppose. It just takes some extra time and... Doesn't really matter. You think the sniper could have fired from here? Yeah, pretty, pretty, uh... Good theory. It's possible. 
he would have had uh, to be a really good shot, though. I also saw a tiny blood stain on the carpet below. Maybe the perp cut himself uh, when he handled a piece of glass. Good work! I'll go back to my post and call uh, DNA guys. Let me know when you're done here. <laughs> Fucking Gary's useless. Am I done here? I mean, you're pretty much done here, right? Okay. I think we're done here. Can I leave? I think we're done up here. Let's go downstairs. A couple of potential witnesses are waiting in the lobby. We really need to attract that Diaz guy down. Maybe one of them has uh, seen him leave or even spoken to him. Go ahead and question them. You should also have a look around. It's no crime scene, but you never know. Uh, where you find the clue. I'll be waiting at the reception. Come talk to me once you think you've done uh, with this place. I don't know. Gary, why not just like... Uh, go back to the station or whatever. Just go home. Because you're obviously doing nothing here. Saito, anything new? Well, <laughs> I, I tried to find out how Diaz escaped from the hotel. But Benny was shot at... 1.49, I suppose that Diaz left shortly after, that probably between 1.45 and 2.15. Uh, so we have an idea when he left. The big question right now is how. There's a functioning idea scanner at the door that only picked him up once when he arrived. That means that he can't have left through the front door. Could he st still be here? That's a good question. No, I had my drone scan the whole building for his ID twice already. But he could have just changed it, right? He must have gone out through the back door, but you don't get far that way by foot. My theory is that he was picked up by a getaway driver in the backyard. There is a vehicle tracker on the launch pad that scans each car at the exact time it lands there. Cars aren't allowed to stick around for long at, at, on the launch pad. Just meant for quick deliveries and pickups. Here's the thing. I went to <clears throat> ask the guard to pull the data for uh, me a couple minutes ago. He said someone had uh, turned it off earlier tonight. Swore it wasn't him and that he hadn't noticed. We have to find out who it was. If we confront whoever helped Diaz get away, we might find out where he went. I'm sending a sheet to your cell. Submit it as soon as you think you know who disabled the tracker. Maybe the traffic data will still help, even though parts are missing. The guard said your AR module can read it directly from the scanner on the launch pad. <clears throat> Roger that. Okay, I can talk to this guy. You did it! Excuse me, sir. Can I have ask you a question? Happy to help. Did you see anyone leave between 1.30 and 2.15? 2 no, I was fast asleep until I got called down to the lobby. I have my own room upstairs. Your own room? Do you live here? Mostly yes. Thank you. Happy to help. About that vehicle tracker? I know you did it! My colleague said that the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker in the background, backyard. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Smith. Is the tracker even turned off? <clears throat> Is the tracker ever turned off? Turned off? No, it operates around the clock. And it doesn't usually break or have hiccups of any sort? I don't think so. It was installed by uh, the day before yesterday. I can't imagine that it's already acting up. But Mr. Smith can certainly answer your questions about the tracker in more detail. He usually not in contact with our clients. I apologize if he appears untrained. Thank you. Happy to help. What does Diaz what does Diaz look like? Do you know what uh, Mr. Diaz looks like? Unfortunately I've never met him. The reception was unoccupied when he checked in last night. He used our electronic check in serv service. Thank you. That's all for now. Okay. 
So, when does the game save? Um, okay. I don't have enough information, I think. We don't know who turned it off. We know this. Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Did you see anyone leave between 1.30 and 2.15? I was right here all night, but I really don't... didn't pay attention to that, sorry. We gave a concert earlier, and I kept playing for the people that stuck around. Thank you. How can I help you? Have you met Mr. Diaz? Oh, the guest from the 8th floor? How do you know that? I think I talked to him yesterday. He was having a late night drink at the bar after he arrived. I was packing up my things when he went to his room. If he's chatting around with random... Uh people in the hotel, then he, he's probably not a professional. Because you just want to get in, get, uh, kill the guy, get out, right? Ask him about the viola he was carrying. Ooh. So that was uh, how he brought in the gun. Quite an expensive model, I have to say. Did he show it to you? A viola, huh? Did he show it to you? No, he... Kept it in his case. He generally wasn't uh, the talkative type. What does he look like? He's a redhead with a beard. Thank you. That's all for now. Okay, so now we have enough information to fill out this sheet. Although I'm somewhat uh, hesitant to do it. Red. Beard is red also with a viola case. What? This, this is done. Can I send it in? I guess we have more information here. <clears throat> Excuse me, madam. Uh, could I ask you a few questions? Okay. Did you see any leave between 1.30 and 2.15? Um, no, I was back in the kitchen uh, cleaning some glasses. I had a lot of dishes to do after the concert tonight. If you ask me the same questions like, uh, what did I do between 1.30 uh, and 2.15? I don't know. Uh, can I go now? I have a young boy at home and the sitter can't stay much longer. I'm sorry, but the hotel is on lockdown until further notice. Yeah, but, I mean, we should... We should still care about this, right? Because... Okay. You, you might want to <clears throat> give them a call. It could be a while until you can leave. Thank you. I have another question. Have you ever met Mr. Diaz? Because we are basically like locking in people in the hotel. Diaz, does that ring a bell? Do you think... Uh, don't think he ever came to my bar. Thank you. That's all for now. Evening. Could you answer a few questions? I heard that uh, the vehicle tracker was turned off tonight. How uh, do you happen to know why that is? No idea, really. That was supposed to be... It's supposed to be running around the clock. Are you sure it... <clears throat> It was turned off and didn't just malfunction. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it said it was offline. Uh, I just turned it back on and it seems to be running fine now. Plus, it's only been there for two days. That's a good brand, too. Yeah, but uh, things tend to malfunction early. Then tend to work like... How does it work? 
It's like a... It's called the bathtub model, I think. Like, things either malfunction early, then they tend to work for a, a pretty long time. Then uh, as, as time goes on, the chance of malfunction goes up. So, I mean... I mean, it seems it seems suspicious. Like, if it didn't work, if it worked for two days, then it it probably works, right? Uh, can it be turned on or off from anywhere other than uh, this uh, boot right here? No. And it just been you here all night, nobody else. Well, sometimes I take a break. That's not great. Well. I, I guess it's better than nothing, suppose. But if you want around the clock uh, protection, I guess you need two guards. I mean, I can't fault him for taking a break, so I mean, I guess that's hundred percent of the casino. I mean, uh, the hotel. I usually ask uh, Felicia or Brand to take over and keep an eye on everything. Felicia or Brand? Uh, Felicia's uh, the bartender, the one who won't shut up about her stupid kid. Oh my god! Okay. Not much of a people person, are you, guard? Doesn't even have a name. Uh, Burns the pianist. Pianist. Uh, did they take over for you tonight? Yeah. Uh, let me think. Felicia at uh, 10. And Burns at uh, 0.45. Uh, both for about 15 minutes. Doesn't really work though, right? Because the shot was at 145, something like that. Thanks. Have you. Have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz? Who's that? I guess from the 8th floor. He arrived last night. No, I haven't talked to any guest in a while. Thanks. Um. Did you see anyone leave between 1.30 and 2.15? Um, or a car parking someone up? Car picking someone up? I mean, <laughs> could be. A bunch of people got picked up after the concert. But I'm more interested in people going in than out. I see. What was that concert? When was the concert over? It started at 2.30 and took about three hours. Some people stuck around at the bar a little longer. Okay, so he may have left with the uh, people leaving the concert. Thanks. That's all for now. I know you did it. Fess up. Excuse me, madame. Uh, could I ask you a few questions? Okay. The vehicle tracker was turned off earlier, and I'm trying to find out why. Do you know anything about it? I heard that you briefly took over for the guard a while ago. It's just such a unrewarding uh, favor for her because now she can be blamed for the whole thing. <laughs> I would just say no. That's not my job. I, I did, but why would I turn off the tracker? I wouldn't even know how. Thank you. That's all for now. What about the pianist? Excuse me, sir. What are you gonna say? Like, yeah, I turned off. About the tracker? Did you stand in for the guard tonight? I did, but just <clears throat> just a few minutes. I touched nothing. Was the tracker still turned on uh, while you were there? Maybe he didn't pay attention. I really don't know. I just sat there until he came back. Thank you. It's off for now. Okay. We have some good information here. I'd sit down and think about this. So, we, so that means... I mean, th this doesn't mean too much, though. But the most likely suspect, when it comes to who turned off the... Uh, alarm is the guard, right? Mm. 
<clears throat> Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, going for a smoke? Yep, might as well. It sounds like you are going to keep uh, us here for a while. It's a little suspicious. You're checking up on me? Probably. Hey, I have a question. Do you always store your whiskey in the backyard? That's an expensive brand. You just leave out of here. Oh! Uh, looks like they forgot to bring in the part of uh, tonight's shipment. I'll let the bartender know. Was the whiskey... <clears throat> was the whiskey dropped off? Here by car? Yeah, uh, the alcohol often comes in pretty late. Uh, do you remember when they landed tonight? No. Uh, wait, I do actually. I, I saw them arrive when uh, I went back in after a break. It was uh, precisely at... 182.10. No one remembers... Uh, Times like this. Fucking the exact, exact time. Like, oh, what did you do, do yesterday? Oh, yeah, I was uh, like at 8, 8, 8, 8.45. I was doing exactly that. Like, oh, sure. Of course. Are you sure about the time? Yeah, I was looking at my cell right at the moment because I got a message. Thank you. Oh, I can't check this out. Hi. Do I have some information here? So two, two are relevant. Either either this. So these could have uh, taken out the assassins and assassin and uh, none of them I really came in earlier. So I mean, not taken out. I mean. Help the assassin escape. I don't have any specific questions. Yeah, it seems like I'm given enough information. But I'm not. Am I missing something here? The receptionist? The receptionist is an option? Hmm, I can't use the lift. It was most likely the guard. If I don't have... ...solid evidence... It's either the guard or the pianist, right? That's a good question. Did I miss something? Let's see. Uh, we talked to the pianist. Not that conversation. Twenty-two ten. I'm not sure that matters. Twenty two ten. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. He was lying, right? Do 
We know that the pianist is lying. There was no ship in that 22 town. Maybe outgoing. I think that's both. So, do I need to uh, justify my investigation? The pianist is suspicious. Also, what did the guard say to me about uh, people taking over? Burnt at 0.45. So, if the guard somehow didn't notice, uh, let's just try to uh, go with burnt. Be honest. Submit. Did it work? Yes? Can't even go up, right? Am I missing some information here? You know that the pianist lied, but other than that, we don't, we don't have a lot like, solid information. Yeah, let's talk to Gary. Conrad, I saw you submitted your sheet. So, what do you think? <clears throat> the vehicle tracker in the backyard was turned off by the pianist. The pianist? You think the guy would be capable of manipulating the tracker? Gentlemen, wait a second, I got a hit. A hit? Yeah, on Diaz's idea. He was uh, scanned near a tra train station in the lower layers. Good work, Saito. No, you should get there immediately. Take the next train. I'll join you as soon as I can. Roger that. Uh, did I do the investigation wrong? Wh when does it save? That saved 21 minutes ago. That's not that great. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't want to go for a smoke. Oh, yeah. I need to climb down. Uh, there's no map. Oh, that's more si what <clears throat> that's more my scene. Okay. Where's this guy? Investigate. An ad for a bar named Red Herring. It's at the harbor, just past the train station. Okay. What? Okay, there's nothing here. We can we can smoke, but we may not want to do that. Smoke again. Get your hands off me! <laughs> Please stop resisting, ma'am. What am I being arrested for? You have no right. I want to talk to my lawyer. Do you have a lawyer? May maybe? You don't know. Let's call <clears throat> down to the station, then. Because that's where we are going. It's not that nice. No! Why are you wasting your time on me? Uh, there's a guy with a rifle around here. Mr. Miss Grindle. There isn't. Let's go. Hold on, just a second. No Conrad, CDI. CDI? Central Department of Investigation? Case leads me here. May I ask uh, what's going on? I'm so glad you're here, sir. The two, These two officers are making a grave mistake. 
The whole quarter uh, should be locked down right now. There's a man with a rifle around here. Okay. Miss Grindle calls us every week. Last time it was uh, for a car that was too large for its parking spot. Before that, she called us on a street vendor uh, because he was lurking outside the apartment block. He's been uh, doing that for a long time. And we're finally bringing her in for wasting our time. <laughs> Sir, please! You're with the CDI! Your oath demands that you take me seriously. Uh, no. You're not entitled to that. No, I don't recall a note about uh, Miss, Miss Grindle. Don't you see? I'm one of yours? Your CDI? No, I'm an upper. I don't belong down here. When my husband was still alive, we had a nice place on the upper layers. It had sunlight and proper walls and no drug addicts lingering around the entrance. I've just fallen on hard times for a while. You're deluding yourself. Uh, this is your life now. <laughs> Enough! You've been living here for 12 years. Let's go. Sir, I swear, I overheard some dangerous people. They have a gun and some important data or something. They killed somebody already. Uh, she said, is it done? And he said, he's dead. Uh, could you tell me uh, the story from the start, please? I was watching something online when I heard uh, voices coming uh, from the apartment next door. I was surprised. It's always so quiet when I wasn't even sure if someone uh, lived there. I was. Uh, it was a man and a woman, and they seemed to be fighting about something. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the domestic abuse, so I turned off my program and listened. You don't know down here. Uh, what did you find out? I can show you. Uh, when I got suspicious, I started recording them with my cell. You did what? That's a violation. Uh, just listen to it. <laughs> the things they talked about. Uh, could you send me the, uh, the logs? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to ask all of you to stay put until I had a look at the conversation. You're wasting your time, but whatever. We'll wait. Okay, read the email. Oh my god. I guess we need to read this. <clears throat> they really did a number on your face, but I have to say, I kind of like the new look. I don't. Are you drunk? I don't have to be drunk to have an opinion on your new face. But you smell like whiskey. And what the hell happened to your arm? I got myself. It doesn't matter. Well, this hideout's really a shithole. <laughs> I've only been staying here for a few days. Where's your violin? Now, funny. I gave uh, the rifle to Zora. At least, listen to me. We don't have much time. I passed by a scanner on my way here. Yeah, probably on my tail already. Fuck! What were you thinking? You're still wearing the idea chip? Why didn't you go straight back to HQ and you have it taken out? HQ? And were you able to procure the data? Yeah, the old man didn't suspect a thing. Uh, listen. <clears throat> listen, you need to give it to me. The boss called and said there was a change of plan. I'll take care of the handover. I called the guy we were meeting and told him uh, that I was coming instead of you. He seemed a bit pissed though. Uh, I think I woke him. I didn't expect him to be sleeping at 11. Okay. Are you sure? Are you out of your mind? They know your idea. Uh, they catch you for sure up here. Up there. I know the route uh, you were going to take. I, I know how to get on and off uh, Joris Plaza without being scanned. Mr. <laughs> got scanned every time, guy. <clears throat> got, scan got scanned in the fucking hotel. Got scanned over here. Why didn't the boss tell me about all this? And why the fuck did we change plans? I talked to the boss after the hint. He told me to come get you. No idea why they... Come on, Vuzora. Uh... Give me the stick. 
We need to move on. The CDI could be here any minute. Wait, you are unintelligible. Unintelligible. Let me get my stuff. Give me the stick. Fine. Here it is. Uh, where are we going? We should split up right now. Keep uh, your head down and wait for me to get in touch. Get to the. They won't be able to track me if I. Eight thirty, Boyd. You're not making all this up, are you? Are you crazy? Of course not. Now, let's get this mission over. Uh, come on. Be careful out there, okay? You're so close to getting out of it all. You too. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if the kids earlier have any uh, part in this story. So, what do you think about the conversation? I need to see that room. Can you show me? Uh, see, I knew there was something fishy. Follow me. Thank you. What's this about? What's going on? This might be important for a case I'm working on. What case? Are you, aren't you nosy? It's classified. Of course it is. I don't like the saving system, for sure. Oh, I bought Siggy's. Am I following the right person? I think I do. And this is where I live. And the voices came from right next door. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hello? Anyone home? What the fuck? Am I gonna get shot? CD, I open up. You're surrounded. Come up with your hands up. On your head. I don't think there, there's anybody. Shut up! Shh. If you're not coming out, I'm opening the door on the count of three. One. Two. Oh, psych. Everybody on your knees. Hands down on... Hands on your head. I'm coming in. Clear. Please stay in the corridor, everybody. I'll have a look around. Okay. What's that? Um, did, did that do anything? Found the key under the bed. Then it stack says apartment nine. Really? Excuse me, Miss Grundle. Found this key here. Any idea where it might belong? Oh, really? Uh, let me take a look at the bag. Apartment 9, huh? It's for an apartment in this building, but they changed the way the rooms are numbered. The tank belongs to the old system. My apartment number used to be 4. The one you searched was uh, number 5. Uh, there's a floor pan over there. Maybe you can make sense of it. Thank you. Gary, you're useless. Hey, Gary. Uh, we just got really lucky. I, I think that Miss Grindle over here uh, called the cops on our guy. Looks like uh, his real name is Boyd. He met a woman uh, called Zora in his uh, apartment here. I have the uh, parts of a recorded conversation between the two. I'm sending it to you now. Where'd you get that? I just say Miss Grindle is very interested in her neighborhood. From what I understand, the woman stole some data from an old man and gave it to the sniper. He, in turn, is going to hand it over to an unknown third party at George's Plaza at 8.30. Good job, comrade. I immediately informed the chief. We'll have to intercept that handover. Gary, you do nothing but, <laughs> but just tell other people uh, what I'm doing. <clears throat> why, would, <clears throat> why would the sniper physically bring the data to someone, though? Good question. <laughs> Maybe I should be questioning more. Doesn't make too much sense, though. The only explanation I have for that is that it's tagged. 
that the network will pick it up as the, as a leak. Oh, okay. But that would mean that it's highly c confidential data from the government. It's the best reason I can think of, but maybe they're just being extra careful. Hey, I found the key in the apartment the woman was hiding in. It belongs to another unit in this building. Maybe we'll find out more answers there. Do you know which one is it? Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay. I just uh, skipped through that. What? This is indeed more complicated than I thought. Am I at 22? I mean, this seems pretty obvious. Can I climb up? You go down. How did I go up? Seems like I can't go up. Hmm. Let's see what information I got. Use. I don't want to read it. We can check out the logs when we talk to Grindel. Old system. Five. I mean, that's what I expect. So, that is, uh, the door above me is 9. Seems pretty obvious, but how do we go up? Uh, the lock, the key. Do I need to do something here? Find the apartment. I found the apartment, but I don't know how to get to the apartment. I can go up. Found it. Do I have anyone to talk to? Am I missing something here? I mean, it's even highlighted. That door is highlighted. Okay. Maybe I should be running around on the streets and try to find that. Wait. Okay. I felt sorry for the old lady. Descending through the layers was easy these days if you didn't have one of the few jobs that still existed. Basic income wasn't enough for most people, even around here where living was relatively cheap. Although somehow our economy had never been more productive. Hmm. Can climb. Basic income is just so people don't re rebel. Won't fail. Oh, can she climb? I didn't know this. Was 
Oh no! Actually, I, I was too high up. But we can uh, definitely climb down. I, I was right. But I was not right about... Yeah. Three, and this is gonna be the one. Oh! Did I find my new wife? Hold on. I'll get you out of this. Is it anyone else here? What are you going to do with me? Are you with her? My name is Neil Conrad. I'm with CDI. Oh, thank fuck. Please, I need water. Of course. Here we go. I had water with me. And what's your name? I'm Lila. Are you hurt? I don't think so. I'm just very sore, and my wrists burn like fire. Alright, Lila. You're safe now. Uh, let me call you a doctor. <clears throat> oh, what are the other uh, cops? Alright. A medical team is on its way. Uh, could you tell me what happened uh, from the start? Yeah, okay. Fuck. She was in here, and she looked almost exactly like me. Boon was in here. Uh, is this your apartment? Yes, I, I tried to fight. She was so incredibly strong. It was like looking in the mirror, like I had a twin. She must have had some surgery to look like me. A little weird. Uh, when did this happen? I came home from the client who, maybe three days ago, she was already in here. That's more realistic, like, oh, like maybe it happened like a few days ago. I turned on the light and I saw myself sitting right over there. I barely had time to re react. She jumped me so quickly. She must have must have some arguments. Uh, arguments or something. I'm not a huge fan of the font. Really? For some reason? I was like reading it from like a meter away. Not like a full meter, but like. <laughs> Any idea why this happened to you? Uh, why would uh, she try to impersonate you? I've been racking my brain about that. <clears throat> Is there anyone uh, she might be trying to get close to? I, I don't think I know anyone important, except for my clients, maybe. Your clients? I'm making money on the side as a. At an escort agency. So you... I'm not a whore, if that's what you're asking. I mostly just dress well and go to dinner parties. Okay. Yeah. Worth wor clarifying, I suppose. But you and me have heard something there. We only have high-profile customers. I'm a student, and it's a good way to pay the bills. Maybe she was uh, trying to get close to one of your clients then? Yeah. And that's a good theory. You think? I mean, it could be. I missed an appointment while I was tied up. I thought my boss would come looking for me, but nobody showed. Do you think she went with to him? Oh no. What if she did something bad to him? You can testify that I, I've been here all this time, right? Well, I didn't know that. I don't know that, technically. You just claim that a woman like you tied you up. I don't know that. I, all, all I know is that I found you tied up, but I don't know what you did uh, the last few few days. Don't worry. You're not a suspect. Who was the client? A public official or something. I don't recall his name. He wanted me to spend the night at his place. My boss said he was a regular customer, but I've never met him. <clears throat> Do you have uh, any more data on him? Name, address? It was... All on my cell, but the woman took it. I see. Is there another way to find the client's data? We might be onto something here. My boss at the Lotus Escort Agency has, it, has all of it. Just around the corner. But don't leave me alone right now. What if she comes back? I'm staying here until reinforcements arrive. You won't be left alone. Oh, it's Gary. You're safe now. 
Knock, knock. Did I change Gary's voice? Hey, Gary. <laughs> hey, Gary. Uh, Lila, this is my partner, Agent Long. He's Gary Long? Gary, could you keep an eye on Lila? Here for a minute. I need you. I need, need to follow a lead uh, to her employer. I'll explain everything later, okay? <laughs> Babysitting duty, huh? Alright, I guess. That's nice to meet you, ma'am. Lila, how do I find the escort agency? Uh, just go all the way up to the roof of this building. You'll end up on the ne next highest layer. Take a right and you can miss it. I mean, that's a odd way to describe it. Thank you. Okay, so apparently we should just climb here. We cannot miss it. Somehow. Oh. Hello, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> closed. We're closed. Do you have a different voice? <laughs> nah. I, I, I wanna... In the past, I was a, a little bit more liberal with voices. Obviously, I'm not a, a great voice actor. But... Uh, some voices can be just annoying. <laughs> I'm not a customer. No comrade, CDI. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, that's a surprise. What leads you here? One of your employees, <clears throat> Lila. Lila, such a sweet gir girl. Nice and reliable. Uh, when did you last see her? I found her tied up. I found her tied up in her apartment. Good lord, is she alright? A little shaken up, but she's fine. Who did this? It wasn't one of our clients, I hope. <clears throat> we don't know yet. However, I do have uh, to look into one of your clients. The guy who booked her earlier this week. Could you give me his name and contact details? Oh, Mr. Conrad. I would love to help, really, but it's very important that we protect our clients' privacy. I'm sure you understand. I can't risk my business like that. Please be reasonable. He's not gonna react to that. But we can try it. <clears throat> Please be reasonable. This is a serious matter. Okay, Mr. Conrad. I have a proposition to make. I'm putting my business at risk by helping you. But you can help me by... Make up for the damage? There's another issue that puts me in a very uncomfortable spot right now. One of my employees has quit on me despite her contract running uh, for a few months. What if I'm just... I mean, I could have just made up the whole story, right? And now you're giving me access to your books? I told her I needed her. She already accepted several offers over the next few weeks. We have a reputation to uphold. Our clients would be really upset if I cancelled their appointments. Those are all high-class people relying on our services. I told the local police already, and they wouldn't li listen to me. But I have uh, the contract right here, see? It's signed and everything. If you can uh, get her to fulfill her duties, at least the appointments she already confirmed, then I guess I could help you too. <clears throat> Did you say... Uh, did she say why she wouldn't do it anymore? You ask her. She said that she's quitting and she's been ignoring me ever since. How about it, Mr. Conrad? I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. What's her name? Sheila Novak. I'll see what I can do. But even if she doesn't come back, you're helping me for trying. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, tell her we are good if she goes uh, to the clients she already agreed to. Maybe she'll listen to you. And uh, don't mind her family. They are weird folks. Savians. Okay. <coughs> Their unit is uh, just below us. The fastest way down is uh, through that big apartment building. If you're back down at the train station, you've gone too far and the wrong direction. I'll be back soon. Ah. <coughs> Uh, please stay put. Went too far.
Okay. Can I just go down? I need to go all the way down. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the fifth floor. Came into this place. I suppose I can go keep going right. Good evening. Sorry for the intrusion. My name is uh, Neil Conrad. I'm with the CDI. I'm looking for Sheila Novak. Is she here? <coughs> what do you want from her? If this guy could be Russian. I would like... I would like to tell her uh, that myself. I won't just tell some foreigner. Talk to my sister. Tell me what you want. I showed you my badge. Jinx's voice. <laughs> I'm not some foreigner. I'm an agent of uh, the state. If that Thompson guy sent you, you're wasting your time. Sheila won't go back to him. I'll make sure of that. It's alright then, Tony. Let me talk to him. I can handle that myself. You won't go back to that scumbag while I'm in to need you. Would you mind leaving us alone for a minute, Antony? Sorry for my brother. He's just trying to help. Don't worry about it. So, what do you want from me? As your brother already assumed, uh, Mr. Thompson from the Lotus Agency asked me to pay you a visit. Is that so? He told me that you refused uh, to meet your contractual obligations. And you're trying to force me to go back? Uh, why won't you... War for him? I just not get the law brought up right away. I would like to know why you won't work for him anymore. What if I go back inside and refuse to talk to you? I'm having a lovely chat here. And Mr. Thompson will be, he'll probably try to sue you. Listen, I'm happy to help you. If your brother doesn't allow you to work, Thompson is forcing you into something. I just make this about Thompson, not about her brother necessarily. No, he would never do that. Uh, sure, he can be a little annoying. But he's certainly not forcing any of the girls into anything. Listen, I want to study space engineering on Femus, but I can't afford the fees. As a Drovian immigrant without a degree, it's hard to find a job on Gara. That's why I have been working for Thompson, but now I have all the money I need. Now, Thompson told me you confirmed several appointments for the following weeks. Now, why did you do that? Wasn't it obvious that you had uh, saved enough by now? That, um, that's none of your business, isn't it? You can trust me. <laughs> Listen, Sheila, you can trust me, but you have to be honest with me. You can trust me and have to be honest? I didn't do anything that is against the law. Alright, don't tell me. I got a call from a woman a few weeks ago. She didn't tell me her name. She promised me a large amount of money if I cancelled all my appointments for the next two weeks. It was so much that I don't have to go back to Thompson at all, actually. And you didn't find that suspicious? Suspicious? No, I assume that some jealous partner was behind that. Wouldn't be the first time. You said she wanted you to cancel your appointments in the next two weeks. Which ones were that? Only one yesterday. I got my friend Lila to fill in for me. Lila, huh? Who is the client you were to see? 
He's a regular. I've been going to his place every month for at least a year now. Is he somewhat important? <clears throat> I... How do you ask? I'm sure it was some jealousy thing. That's just an assumption. You don't know. Please tell me who that client is. I, I don't think I can do that. Thompson will kill me if I give out the names of our customers. Our customers? Didn't you leave? It would be really important to me. Not for me to know. Maybe he is in danger. Okay. I'll tell you if you promise you won't force me to go back to Thompson. You did sign a contract. Ah! Oh, come on! Fucking Neil, you're stupid. Just wait for the information first and then try to force her back. You have to understand. It's always been my dream to study space engineering. My parents. I suppose you know that Savians have their own version of science. I mean, that just... <laughs> can you have your own version of science? I mean, I can understand, like, having different opinions or like but like you know but there's like it's kind of like one version of science like what seems to be true in our reality you can't really have your own version of science right i mean there could be like different uh perspectives and opinions about like uh like psychology might might have some different approaches like it's not like 100 percent they're just trying to do what works but when it comes to science i mean it's meant to be somewhat solid you can have theories but still can't have your, can't really have your own version of science. I suppose. If my parents catch wind of my plans to go to a non savient uh, university, they'll try to, everything to stop me. That's why I need to do it secretly. And Tony helped me prepare everything without them noticing. Um, okay, I mean, my ship, the Themis, leaves tomorrow morning. Can bend the law. I'm... She could be a suspect. My damn soft heart. I'm tempted to say alright. And also... Super... I'm also super chaotic. <laughs> I'm not the good, uh, the best person to put as a cop. Because I, I want to break the law. <laughs> Every chance I get. I think I have decent information here. What should I do? Okay, try to let's try to logic this. So she was working as a escort, and uh, she got paid to to just leave a lot of clients. Uh, just a uh, book. Two, two weeks ahead and just leave it like that and leave and she did that and now she's gonna uh, go to university right but she might be able to the thing is she she might get punished a little bit later by by taking these contracts and uh, she, she might have uh, if she wants to come back here having a uh, Rap wouldn't be uh, very useful, but she also got paid to uh, drop her clients. But it seems like the guy can uh, just my ship to Femus leaves tomorrow morning, but the guys can just guy can just replace Sheila. It's not like she's mission critical. So, I don't know. I think it sounds alright to me. And for the investigation, if I was just like super lawful, like I can't bend the law, right? I mean, that seems like the, the way to go. But I'm not sure I have a, a good reason to keep her right now. Maybe she doesn't want to come back here, but her brother is here, so I'm not sure if this is a good call. I can't bend the law. Can I? Can I bend the law? 
I mean, it's super unlikely that she's gonna be pun. She she already got paid, of course. Fuck. I think I'm just gonna say all right. Damn my soap for it. All right then. I'll try to convince Thompson to leave you alone. I mean, yeah. The thing is, like, many times the games offer you false dilemmas because if you if you could just take it one step at a time, it wouldn't be a dilemma. You're just like locked into two. Like, two uh, opposing choices. I'm like, okay, but like, can you just like, feel out? Because like, I can just keep talking to Thompson, I can just keep talking to her and try to uh, try to come to a, a good solution. But like, no, we kind of put in the choice here. Thank you so much. You wanted to know the name of my regular customer, right? Oh, yes. This is good. His name is Liam Campbell. He lives in the center. Liam. <clears throat> Liam, alright. Do you know his exact address? Uh, 144 Rombold Avenue. I hope he's alright. He, he became become a kind of a friend. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Thank you and good luck at the university. Okay. Uh, so there's no... Uh, can we go up quickly? Liam Campbell. Liam fucking Campbell. It had taken a moment until it clicked because I never called him that. To me and the rest of my division, he was just the chief. That's who the woman had tried to get close to. The director of national security at the CDI. My boss. Now what? Should I follow the chain of command and tell Gary? The chief probably wasn't too keen on everybody finding out about his habit. Maybe I should talk to him first. Then again, it might be too important for the case to be kept secret. Hmm. So how did it go? I'm sorry, but Sheila won't come back. She's dead! Haha, <laughs> Mr. Conrad, I'm sure you're joking. I'm not. She's not coming back. But she signed the contract. I thought you were supposed to enforce the law. Listen, Mr. Thompson. That's kind of like... This is intimidation. Kind of a threat. This is a great opportunity for her. Yeah, I guess... Can we just make him be happy for her? This is a great opportunity for her. She shouldn't stand in her way. What opportunity? She got accepted to a university. She never told me that. And I'm certainly very happy for her. But I can't let her ruin my business. Judging by the interior, you make good money without your agency. I'm sure you can uh, tough it out. Mr. Conrad, you're asking a lot. And I'm sure I can rely on you. You're a good boss, aren't you? Ooh. All right, you win. Cops won't answer my calls anyway. <clears throat> Since I promised, I'll tell you the client's name. That's all right. I actually don't need any more. Well, all right then. Oh, excuse me. I need to go through some paperwork. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Talk to Gary. Gary is completely useless. I'm gonna run down. I, I hate that we can't save, or at least I can't save when I want to. Hey, Gary. Sorry about uh, being short with you earlier. I had to follow an important lead. Was it worth it? It was. Uh, let me fill you in. Apparently, the woman uh, that tied up Lila had some procedure uh, done to look very similar to her. I suspect she impersonated her to get close to a customer. Lila told me as much. We had a little chat earlier. I'm almost positive that the client is the old man the impersonator stole the data from. The customer originally booked a different girl, but then someone paid her to cancel the appointment. Wait, wait! Why go through all, all the trouble? Why not impersonate the original girl? That's a good question. I suppose that was not possible because, like... I guess because she's his go-to, he knows her too well, and he would have noticed it's not her. That's also true. But, like, how close you need to be, though? Aren't you just, like, 
enough to get close and like kill him right away. But also like how, how many people you can really transform for this job. Because they... Does it even matter that much? Like, you don't even need to transform anybody, right? As long as like... Like... You can just... You can just, uh... Compromise Mr. Thompson. And just, uh... And that's it. And that's probably gonna work. And you can just show up as uh, the new girl. How did they know that you'd pick an alternative and not cancel altogether? Yeah, this seems a little weird. I mean, if I I was doing it, I mean, I suppose, like, let's just say that, let's just accept the fact that only with the girl, you can only get close to the, the person with the girl, right? Let, let's just accept that, because I think we can nitpick that, too. But even if that is the case, and uh, he's paying Thompson, then the easiest one to compromise is Thompson. You can just, uh, I don't know, kidnap his family, try to kill him, whatever. And then you just uh, send uh, a replacement. Maybe that's what he did in the past. Like I said, he's a regular. And how did they know about... How, no, how did they know it would be Lila? I don't know. I don't think they did. The sniper said something about the woman's new appearance. Maybe they changed her looks after the appointment had already been accepted. And it healed within a few days? That kind of tech is rare. But how is any of this connected to our case other than the herp talking to that woman? I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. It seems like an entirely different operation. Any idea who the escort agency's customer is? I can't tell you yet. Let's say it's our chief. Here's the kicker. I think it's our chief. What? The customer's name is Liam Campbell, and his address is in the right area. I need to call HQ immediately. When did she meet him? A few days ago, I think. All right. Listen up. Meet me back at HQ in half an hour. Let's go over all the facts again and get ready to intervene in that handover. I'll have Saito look into the owner of the hideout apartment. Let's sort the rest out later. Catching the sniper remains our top priority. Copy that. See you at HQ. Enter the train. As I was making my way back down through the maze of Matuna's living quarters, I tried to untangle the threads of the conspiracy before me. Every detail I uncovered seemed to open up a number of new questions. What exactly was the connection between the stolen data and Banny's murder? It felt like there was a bigger plan underneath, like we were just scratching the surface. Damn. Yeah. Can I go down? It's kind of hard to see where, where the stairs are. And, uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I mean, it would be... Clear if it was like a ladder. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a call. Hello, is this pizza place again? Hey, <clears throat> hey Neil, uh, you got a, any other updates? Quite a few. We may be able to intercept the perp in the morning. That's fantastic news. Tell me more. I'll fill you in later. I'm on my way back to HQ right now. Are you on the train already? No. No. I'm on the. Uh, I'm. I'm waiting for. It station why because I've been racking my brain about how our guy got there the site he entered the train station from is a dead end it looks like there is a canal there and no space to park a car I think he might have uh, traveled by boat really by boat yes I know it's strange but there is a harbor on the other side of the train station. I'll look around. Thank you, Saito. I mean... Sir? 
Uh, may I ask what you're doing at uh, Matuna Harbor? I don't think I've seen you before. I mean, this is how you treat uh, newcomers? Good evening, sir. I'm Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI? Holy moly! It's unexpected. My name is Harry Cruff. I'm with uh, TSV. Uh, can I help you? Uh, could I take a look around the harbor? I'm looking for a boat that could be important for my case. I'm sorry, but TSV only allows uh, club members and registered uh, guests down at the pier. And what about law enforcement? Right, uh, I can tell... If you can tell me uh, the idea of a specific boat you're investigating, I'm allowed to let you in. Okay. I see. Maybe I'll get back to you. I'd like to ask you a couple more questions, if that's alright. How long uh, have you been working tonight? I was supposed to be uh, my week off, actually. 3 o'clock this morning, I got a call. Boss telling me Greg feels six. Ooh. Okay, Greg is out. <clears throat> I had to fill in for him. So much for my vacation. Boss didn't even apologize. Did you see any incoming boats since you arrived? No, no. No boats since I got here. Seems like, seems to be a quiet night. Do you know uh, where your sick colleague is? I'd like to talk to him as well. I was already uh, gone when I arrived, but I think that's that he is at the restroom at the Red Herring. Thank you. Okay. Where to next? Enter the train. Investigating the harbor was optional. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Are you new here? I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I'm just passing through. Case leads me here. Come, huh? <laughs> if you're looking for traffickers, you're in the right, wrong place. Just honest to good sailors here. So, you have a boat in this harbor? Of course. Down at the pier, Samara. Hey, you mind helping me with the uh, help with the cigarette? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Wait, what? Are we done? Hello again. How about that cigarette now? Uh, I'll get you one. Here we go. Much obliged. So, uh, thanks for the click, Siggy. Beautiful weather tonight. You can almost see some stars through the layers. Been sitting outside all night. The view used to be better, though. You see those new apartment blocks they're building? Same company that bought the harbor. Yes, something. They forced me to buy an expensive tracking ID device for my boat. Now they want me to get a new engine. Mine's not regulation, they say. I'll tell you. They don't want us lowers here. <clears throat> Listen, I'm sympathetic to your... Yeah, I get it. Not your fault. You're busy, I know. Thanks again for the cigarette. Uh, let me know if I can do something for you. Actually, there's something. I'm looking for the idea of a boat that arrived here earlier. Any chance you could help me with that? What do you need that for? It's uh, for a case. The guard won't let me down to the pier if I don't have to tell him the exact idea. The DSV guy? <laughs> he likes to harp on about all these uh, new rules. If it's for a case, I'm telling you right now, I won't throw any of my friends here under the bus. <laughs> I'm sure the guy I'm after isn't one of your friends. Do you know the name of the boat you're looking for? I'm not sure I'll get back to you. I don't think I do. I'm not sure I'll get back to you. Who's going on here? Nothing to investigate here.
Hmm. Do I know the name of the boat? No. Um, I, yes, I do. It's called Berta. If I don't, I don't think I know it. Is it called Berta? Yeah, I do. It's called Berta. Ever heard of it? Tell you what, go down and have a look at his idea. It's idea. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Do I have it? All right, I got your idea. Thanks a lot. Have a nice night. I need to remember that. Then we'll uh, read it. I told you I needed the boat I did tell you. I got it. I know. The boat that I'm looking for has the idea of uh, 220190. Let's see. Yep. That's the one right there. All right. Come on through. Don't touch any other boats. Doing that. We got Berta here. Uh, I guess we can also talk to this guy. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Have you been here all night? <laughs> I was asking. Neil Conrad, CDI. I'm here following you. Up a case. CDI, every time you're looking for a culprit, it's always down here, huh? The boat called Berta. Down at the pier. Did you, did you see the guy who landed it? You see the yeah, you said. That's correct. That means you're concerned with crimes, right? Like fraud and theft? Sometimes, yes. You also help out folks from around here. We help everyone. Why do you ask that? <laughs> see, I used to have a boat here. What happened to it? Huh? Nothing. I still have it, but I had to move it away. Someplace safe. Harbor got... Bought up by some corporate bureaucrats. Now the whole area is being turned upside down. Construction everywhere. Richer folks moving in. First they tell us not to... It's no big deal uh, for us locals. Two weeks ago, I'm landing uh, my boat. They ask uh, for money. New management, they say. Of course, I didn't want to pay up. To be told, I couldn't have anyway. I called the company. All I hear is lawyer gibberish. So I decide to go elsewhere. Frankly, my... Three options aren't great these days. You should see the pitiful tier pier I've uh, been staying at. If you help me get my spot back, I'll tell you what I saw. That's quite a big ask. What do you think I can? Let's see what I can do. Fine, I'll try. I'll be damned. Seems like things are actually uh, looking up. Here's what you need to know. My friend Fred is... The one to talk to? He is uh, the harbor master here. He hangs around the uh, red herring uh, right over over there most of the time. Got it. Okay. Talk to Fred. Excuse me, sir. Um. What does a place in this harbor cost? <clears throat> it's fifty dollars a month. Uh five hundred for a year. I don't pay yet. Alright, I'll rent a spot for a year then. You? Uh well, I, I guess you'd be the type of customer management is looking uh for these days. I'm not renting the spot for myself. I'll send you the details about the new tenant. That works too, I guess. Okay, that's fair enough. I bought you your spot back. Look, if you're making fun of me... No, I'm not. I, I paid for a year in advance starting next month. I'll send you a contract. Ha! Today really seems to be my lucky day. Thank you, sir. How about in return you tell me all you know about uh, that guy you saw earlier tonight? Right, right, right. And uh, did you see what he looked like? Let me think. Uh, he was bald. Are you, are you sure? No red hair? 
No, no hair at all. He head was polished like a bowling ball. Anything else? No. He ran off pretty quickly, and my eyes aren't what they used to be. All right. Thank you. A quick bold guy. Sure. What do, oh, we're top. What do we know about this? Oh, what? Is it like half sunk? An open first aid kit. Some untangled bandages lie on top of uh, the other contents. Pocket laser cutting device. It cuts. Leave a blue residue. Sink full of bristly red hair. Looks like our guy shaved his entire beard off. Yeah, but. Why would you do it over the sink, you animal? <laughs> Does he not give a fuck? Okay, I guess all we can do is enter the train. Where are we going now? Do I have any investigation? Oops. So we know that he is... Shaved? And bald. And does it... So he shaved his beard off. And he was also bald. And he's also bald. We know that. And we also know the Viola case. Whatever. Uh, let's go. Oh! I'm back at the Popo place. Let's go. Oh, oh. Ugh. I hate these stairs. The game has two types of stairs. One of them is a ladder. Oh, I need to turn on the highlight, I think? No, it's turned on. I guess we just cannot interact with these people at all. Oh, so most of these are just completely useless. Morning, Congrat. So, they know me. Oh, um, sure. A lot of people. Hey, Neo. Hi, Saito. <clears throat> it's good to see you. The case is really has me on edge. Yeah, me too. The chief wanted me to tell you that we invited two special guests. They're waiting for you in the conference room upstairs. Who? Why? The CEOs of. Milex and Dyson Enterprises, they had dinner with Benny right before he was shot. Milex and Dyson, as in probably the biggest mining companies in the world. Honestly, you probably don't even need to say mining for that to be accurate. <clears throat> Holy shit. If someone had told me earlier, I'm not exactly prepared for this. Sorry, I just got word from the chief, and that reminds me, he also wants talk to you after you've questioned them. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this police station? Combination of stairs and ladders. Okay, I'm supposed to go left, I guess. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Agent Neil Conrad. Good morning, uh, Mr. Conrad. How about uh, Dyson? Dyson Enterprises. <coughs> morning. Uh, I guess this is a guy. 
Morning. Ben Kim. Relax. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's get right to the point, then. <laughs> I have a busy day ahead of me. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, the two of you had a dinner with uh, Mr. Banny last night, correct? Yes. And you are aware of what happened after that. After he left. <laughs> we were just told. It's terrible. It's a tragedy. Our upcoming uh, negotiations with Banny were of most importance to our relationship with uh, Grovia. Not that uh, you had any real interest in negotiating. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm saying very clearly that you only stand to gain from this strategy. With Banny dead, any real hope uh, for Drovian independence goes out the window. Which means we maintain the status quo where you already have all you want. That's preposterous. Was I or was I not at the negotiating table? If everything had been hunky-dory, I would have stayed on Elon. That doesn't change the fact that the only ones who will suffer from this will once again be the Drovian people. Oh, come on. As if you give a damn about the, the Drovian people. The only aspect of the Drovian independence you care about is your prospect of selling a Delanium to whoever you want. Okay, okay. They're competitors. This is a difficult situation. I, I get it. I, I'm mostly interested in last night. <laughs> Let me think. Did Benny seem paranoid? N no. But I never met him before, so I wouldn't know what he's normally like. What about you, Mr. Dyson? I knew him quite well. We traveled here from uh, Dravonia on the same ship. He behaved normally last night, I, I would say. Ah, I see. Let me think. Did he have enemies? Anyone who stands to gain from maintaining the status quo, I suppose. Oh yeah? <laughs> or maybe anyone who is happy that all of Drovia will be really right up, o up over this. Yeah, I mean... There was no real chance uh, they would have gotten their independence from the negotiations anyway. But maybe. Now they are revolt and just take it. Ever thought about that? That's pretty smart. That's, that's very smart. <clears throat> because something that had no chance of happening, now it's like, now he's just a martyr of, of something. It's like, and, and this independence is going to be pushed through because of him. I don't think uh, much about conspiracy theories, no. But it's kind of smart. Nobody can create. Uh, maybe someone disgruntled or someone who overly threatened by him. No, but to be fair, veil threats are much more common in politics anyway. Any veil threats then? None that I'm aware of. Me neither. I'll see. Let me think. What's the number out? Uh, the mining business is an important pillar of the system-wide economy. Well, we talk to politicians sometimes. So it was a lobbying thing? Um, was it just uh, the three of you? Uh, just the three of us and our staff. I wouldn't say lobbying necessarily. Really more of a social event. Of course, uh, you sometimes talk business at those. I imagine you do. So were there important business uh, things to talk about? He mostly saved uh, those for the trade summit, which I suppose will will be cut short now without the uh, protagonist. I see. All right, thank you for your time. Could you give me your cell contacts? I might need uh, to get back to you in case I have more questions. Why not? Of course. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna talk to the chief. Apparently. Uh, Lila, or whoever supposed... Oh, I need to find the chief now. Whoever's taking Lila's... Uh, 
place was not there. Where is the chief? I can't go up. Yes? I guess we might go down. I'm pretty sure I didn't see the chief, unless we're not supposed to talk to him earlier. Oh, the chief is here. <clears throat> Agent Conrad, good morning. Good morning, chief. Saito told me you wanted to talk to me. I do. Let's not beat around the bush. Agent Long informed me about your suspicion that a hostile power recently tried to get close to me. Do you have any reliable proof uh, for that? I have some testimonies. That is, if you were to call a client, after all. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I found a girl uh, named Lila tied up in her apartment. She works for the Lotus Escort Agency. She was going to meet a man named Leon Campbell two days ago. And that is why I thought, you know... I'll save you the headache. Yes, I'm the client. What makes you think a hostile agent was involved? <clears throat> it seems like the woman who paid you a visit wasn't the real escort. She had a procedure done to look very similar to her. She also seems to be in a contract with uh, Benny's murderer. Contact with Benny's murderer. We have a recording of their conversation. It seems probable that she tried to take advantage of your connection to the escort agency. I see. Any idea what her objective might be? Did you notice anything suspicious when you met her? Nothing comes to mind. She didn't seem particularly interested in my professional life. Did anything uh, go missing since you visited? Since she visited you? It sounds like you or already have a suspicion. I'll put it. <coughs> the fake escort uh, talked about uh, some data she stole. I think from you. Is that what the sniper is going to hand over at the uh, Joris Plaza? Exactly. I don't have any relevant data at home, except on my cell, of course. Maybe she got a chance to access your cell without you noticing? I will talk about that with my superiors. Understand. Look, sir, I can't help but notice that you are dissatisfied with my decision to talk to Agent Long about your involvement. Is he dissatisfied? I can't tell. No, I, I was right. <clears throat> I was following chain of command. I was simply following chain of command. What should have I done instead? Kept it a secret? You could have called me before talking to Agent Long. Yeah, but... What if you just take me out? No, I don't understand. I'm. It's part of the case now. It's part of the case now anyway. Come on! The thing is, you're, if, are you above the law, right? Are you above the law as a cop? But this is, this is not the bullshit people want to see from cops. That like, oh, if the cop is involved, then got to make sure that it's like under the rug. No, if, if a cop is any way involved, it's the same happens like the end to them, like, like it would happen to any other person, right? They just get involved in it. Or like, oh yeah, let's make sure that uh, the chief uh, chief's prostitute uh, is out of the investigation, who's stealing data. Of course, I will be looked into. I'll make sure to assign someone. One more thing, Conrad. You're assigning people to investigate you? You didn't talk to a girl named uh, Shilak Novak, did you? I did. She wanted to know if you were all right. <clears throat> Might want to give her a call. Is she... <clears throat> is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Looks like uh, she finally has uh, all the money she needs to go to university. That's good to hear. Now we have to focus on the sniper now. The handover is taking place in less than three hours. Let's get down to the mission briefing. They're waiting for us. How was it talking to those uh, two CEOs? They don't seem to like each other very much. What did you expect? Top mining guy from uh, Dro Dro Drovia and top mining guy from Gara. They're probably mortal enemies. 
and expected them to be less open about it. You think that rich and influential folks would be more reserved. But the truth is, many of them are the most brazen, least classy individuals in the system. Oh. <clears throat> now that we are complete, uh, let's recap what we found out so far. Our suspect goes by Diaz, but his real name seems to be a Boyd. He is still at large. He shot Benny at uh, one thirty nine this morning from the top of floor of the Sakura Hotel. We do not know how Boyd escaped from the hotel, but his idea turned up a while later near Matuna Harbor. It turned out that he got uh, there by boat. We were able to locate and search the vessel. He then paid a woman called Zora visit. She seems to be involved in another scheme that might be linked to our case. Earlier this week, she attacked and tied up an escort girl named Lila Clark to temporarily assume her identity. She went to see an important client in her stead and stole some data from him. The sniper convinced her to give him the stick containing that data. He will pass it on to an unknown third party at the Joris Plaza at 8.30. Our plan is to intervene and catch the sniper and his associates red-handed. We are going to place uh, plain clothes agents in the safes and in the cafes and the snipers on the rooftops. Actually, it would be more... Uh, it would be a preference if uh, the, the text would appear at the at the same time, instead of like just word at a time, or like almost like letters at a time. I'm just going to pay attention. Yeah, letters at a time. That's so annoying. The operation will be overseen by Agent Kumar, uh, head of the response team. Comrade and I will be watching from the sidelines, ready to go if in if needed. Ajoris Plaza is a popular place with lots of uh, breakfast joints. It will be swarming with people. We have to be very careful not to endanger any civilians. Questions? <clears throat> How will we uh, identify the sniper? Conrad has been collecting data on what he looks like. We have uh, to rely on that. Do we have any details on the woman the sniper visited? Not really. Uh, she was surprised to see our prep, perp. Uh, it seems like uh, the meeting wasn't uh, part of the original plan. We are not sure if he lied to her to get uh, the stick. If so, it's possible that he's not planning on taking it to the handover at all. Alright then, Conrad, go ahead and submit that sheet on what the sniper looks like. Uh, take your time to go over all the logs and evidence again. We only have one chance to get this right. Yeah, but he changed his appearance, so it's kind of stands to reason that he would change his appearance again. Although, uh, I, I know how he looks like. I mean, this is what we have. Bald, shaved, violent case, whatever. That's what we know. I got the sheet from the from Conrad, forwarding, forwarding it to Agent Kumar now. Let's get ready. Okay, we're getting ready. This game is slower than than the games I'm used to, but I mean, kind of into it. E minus uh, ninety seconds. Wow, really? Wait, what? 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 Do I need to hurry up? I can't move. Damn, it's more crowded out there than I expected. I don't think our sniper would get a clean shot. Let's hope we won't need them. Did I ever tell you the story of how I joined CDI? Yeah. <clears throat> you you saved Mayor Glover's life when you were still a policeman. I wasn't on duty that day, but when I saw that guy pull out a gun, I didn't hesitate. That's what landed me a job at CDI. Shit, I was so nervous when the chief invited me for an interview. Nothing had gotten me that nervous again in 15 years since, not on, until today. If we don't book this guy today, someone will have to take the fall for Benny's murder. 
then we are the first in line. Okay, we, we caught the shooter, I think. We had a chance of talking to him. Keep your eyes open. Doing that. Can I... Can I, can I just leave? I suppose the target is going to show up. Maybe he shows up late. <laughs> oh. Hopefully he shows up late. Very close match. Let's, let's get him. I mean, do we just got to get the first bolt guy? <laughs> I think I just described the suspect as myself. Fuck, I'm the suspect. I'm wearing the hood because the window is open and I feel a little chilly. <clears throat> okay. We're about to catch the suspect. Why can I be there? They're making a run for it? Maybe we had the wrong target? I'll stop them. Go, go, go. I think we had the right target. Which I got. I mean, let's go. What? I don't know. Fuck. You're just gonna stand there. You have guns. You're just gonna run toward the gunfire, of course. We got him. What the happened? Did we have the wrong guy? No, no, no. We had the right guy. We started arresting the man you described at the fountain. But then someone in the cafe got spooked and started to make a run for it. That's just dumb. If you can just leave normally, why would you make a run for it? I happened to be standing nearby went and went after him. Then I got closer. His accomplice pulled the gun on me. Things got messy. We got them both, but Agent Reed also got a bullet. Maddox, move your asses over here. Stat, we got three wounded, one agent and two suspects. Units surrounding the area. Keep an eye on the crowds. Okay. Big zoom out. Lock down the area, but make sure not to cause a more panic. Conrad, I don't have to tell you that this didn't go over well at all. I got the right guy! I mean, my only information was that he's bald and he's shaved. He could just have a wig, right? He could just wear a hood, like me. I'm like, oh yeah, we got the wrong guy. Once the adrenaline had worn off, the uncomfortable train seat and glaring sunlight were the only things stopping me from falling asleep. My implants had been injecting me with a substance keeping me alert and focused all night, and now I came crashing down hard. I seemed to remember glances from the people around me. I wondered if there was blood on my clothes, but I couldn't be bothered to check. Agent Reed had been transported off in an ambulance. He had lost a lot of blood and was going in and out of consciousness. The projectile had pierced his vest somehow. I couldn't help but feel like this wouldn't have happened if I had submitted an accurate description of the sniper. At least we caught him and his associate. Whether dead or alive remained to be seen. I wondered if this was the beginning of the end of the case, or just its beginning. I finally got up at my stop and left the train, only to suddenly wake up in my seat again and realize it had been a dream. I decided to stand next to the door for the rest of the ride. I'm 
Okay. Oh, we got a saving icon. Finally. This game saves three hours into the game. No, like the saves are happening just just cool breeze cut into the screen cart and through the haze of fatigue when the doors opened. I considered visiting Cat, suddenly feeling an urge to inhale the woody, slightly dusty air in our old apartment. Cat had built it with what she affectionately called real things. She loved leather, cloth, paper, and plants, and hated the clean metallic surfaces at my apartment. Sometimes I did too. What a weirdo. Next plants. Fuck. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> Talking to cat is optional. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home. I mean, to be fair. Maybe I should just leave her alone. Oh, that's my wife or my daughter. Oh, okay. I mean, ex-wife. <laughs> I mean, better not mistake the two. Oh, hi, Neil. What are you doing here? I just wanted to say hello. Do you? Do you? I always say that you want to say hello to the person you're talking to. <laughs> because I will they're just going to feel ignored. But I, the fact that he's considering Lara, uh, let's just go to you. <clears throat> to you. Really? Who are you? That's it. That, that's what Neil needs. My social skills, which are not, not that great. <laughs> the first place! It's nice to see you too. No, that's not his voice. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just surprised. You want coffee? M maybe we can rekindle some kind of relationship. I mean, because he sure as hell in putting himself out there. And she seems to not have uh, a partner. Maybe, 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 maybe they can uh, hook up. No, thanks. I'm actually headed to bed. I'm just coming back from work. It's been a long night. Oh, that's rough. You need to retire, mate. I don't care. Just you can work in a supermarket, but this this job sucks. <laughs> Wait, you didn't have anything to do with that sh sh shootout? That's all over the news, right? Now, did you? Actually, I did, but it was practically over by the time I got there. Oh my God, are you okay? They wouldn't have uh, let me go if I. I caught a bullet. You don't say. I mean, are you emotionally okay? Emotionally okay? Holy crap. I don't think anyone ever asked me that in my life. <laughs> Was I ever? <laughs> God damn it, Neil. <clears throat> oh, okay, I get it. You don't want to talk about it. I think he wants to talk about it. That, that's why he came here, right? Right? I mean, maybe he doesn't want to talk about it, but like, he's looking for some kind of connection. Oh, it's fine. Sorry, I I'm okay. Th thanks for asking. No, it's it's. Neil, come on, kick me in the face right now. <clears throat> what was that whole thing about? Nobody seems to know yet. Did I say Benny was killed? I mean... That's kind of tough. I, I was never in the situation where... But I would... Fuck. What, what would I do? Like, I, I would probably not be in this situation in the first place, but... Like, I, I would like, want to be honest, right? You know? Ultimately, there's just no way around this. I understand that you would put your love loved ones in danger by by just uh having loose lips and just telling them everything. But it doesn't seem like this telling telling her about the Benny thing uh is gonna be a big deal. Although I 
of course, she would need to understand. I kind of depends. Like, if I can just trust her, it kind of depends. If if she is like super loose lipped and she's just gonna tell everyone about like be dead Benny, uh, just to feel important, then obviously I wouldn't tell her. But if she can, uh, I can just trust her with the information. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I guess I I would tell that Benny was dead. Like that would be my preference because ultimately, like that that that's how you end up with a guy like Neil here who is just so. So sad and repressed and just cannot talk about anything and uh, doesn't want to connect with anyone. So it's not, that's not great, right? So I would say that Benny was killed. <clears throat> Ultimately, like, yeah, I guess she's not really signed up to be my wife right now. So, I mean, it, it's a bit selfish of me to, to tell about Benny. It's kind of hard to say what is the right call here because she doesn't need to know it. But I can tell her? Like, do am I really upset by Benny's death? Like, I don't give a fuck. I just, I just say Benny was killed. I mean, this is totally fine. Unless somehow, someone thinks of... Unless she cannot be trusted. Or somehow, someone thinks of uh, getting to her. To... Getting her to... to for some... Getting some uh, information out of her. At which point, she would just claim that, uh, that's kind of tough, because either I'm not telling her anything, at which point, uh, she's just gonna be killed, uh, or I'm telling her everything, but in both cases, she can claim that she doesn't know anything. Hmm, that's kind of tough. Okay. But also, they can just listen in on us, so, it's kind of interesting. Like, what would be the right call? I mean, maybe you don't want to tell everything. But this seems to be... This seems to come out anyway. So let's just say Benny was killed. Benny's Dan. He was killed last night. The shootout this morning was us confronting the, a suspect. No! Tell me you're joking. No, I'm not. I don't know much more right now. It's an ongoing investigation. You cannot talk to anyone else about it, okay? Of course. Shit, Neil. What if... Drovia retaliates. I mean, I understand that they want their imp independence and all, but if our investigation goes well, we'll have uh, some results soon that will help de-escalate the situation. You're not blaming yourself and your unit for this, are you? I I'm sure you did everything to protect Banny. There's always a remaining risk. And just that's just how it is. She seems to be more sensible than me. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, Benny was killed on the balcony. Damn. <clears throat> Neil, I'm so sorry. I really gotta go. What? What? Wait. She's a spy, isn't it? Isn't she? I have to catch the next train if I don't want to be late for work. She's a spy, 100%. Okay, like 90%. But if you still want to talk tonight, we can grab a drink. Uh, I'll have... Uh, I'll have to head right back to HQ as soon as I'm no longer a sleep-deprived zombie. But I like that. Once things have calmed down a little. I gotta run now. Hold on, one more thing. Laura wants to go to a party at one of her classmates' place tonight. I'm not sure if I should let her. She's only 14. But I, I feel like she has a hard time connecting with her peers, so this could be a gr good thing. What do you think? Let her go? I would risk it. Oh, we gotta let her go. That's it. Because... I don't know. This is like 100% let her go. Because she's just gonna be in that situation that... Like, we, we are trusting her, right? She wants to go. Like This seems to be as safe as possible. Although, maybe the timing is not the best. But is the timing ever the best? Yes, this is this definitely 
one of the, the worst timings. But I, I think Light Her Go is, is, the, is the call here. Mm. Let her have some fun. Laura is very mature of her age. Uh, I'm sure she'll take care of herself. Yeah. You gotta you gotta uh place trust in your 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 uh offspring <laughs> your spawn they gotta make a ton of mistakes right but if you don't let them go then um yeah they need the XP Yeah you're probably right I shouldn't be so anxious I I was not saying that well yes but also like your advice right back to you. Sometimes you just gotta be your best you just be your best parent and but they also need to get themselves ready, I suppose. Or just allow them to do what the fuck they want. So I mean she might die. It's in the cards, but I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> That's probably not a good way to convince her. See you, Neil. And please don't get yourself shot. No promises. Oh, can I leave? Oh, look at that. Even if I'm not fixing uh, Neil's marriage, at least he seems to be reconnecting somewhat. And that's kind of what, what makes me suspect that Neil's gonna get shot, because is not, not getting myself shot a foreshadowing? Okay. Rare... Oh. This red guy. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? I know you. You're, you're the guy who came uh, to our flat yesterday. I told you that old scumbag to leave... That old scumbag to leave my sister alone. I did. That was really nice of you, man. I don't... Didn't think you uppers would help out a saviant. She left this morning, chasing her dream. <clears throat> I'm glad I could help. I have to... Get home now. Have a nice day. Really? Sure, sure. Uh, Bavatna's blessing, man. Thank. Oh, you too. Oh, look at that. I'm a good person, aren't I? Oh. Going the wrong way. But still a good person. I got into the elevator and leaned against a wall. I was so tired in that moment that my reflex of emotional repression whenever I saw Cat didn't seem to work anymore. It hit me with an unusual clarity that, even a decade after it had ended, I hadn't ever fully let go of her. I wasn't sure what to make of it, whether to be happy or to finally push myself to it. I concluded that I would probably just go back to repressing it altogether. I mean, you can still care about her, right? But you may want to move forward. Okay. Oh, I need to sleep, right? Go to sleep. Hey, Horus. How's it going? Beat Horus! You gotta be the fattest! Uh, lizard... In this house. That was a true statement. Okay, time to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna be woken up again? Waking up in the early evening was disorienting. I sat up on my bed and allowed the memories from the previous night to pour back in. Banny's body. The hotel. Lila. The shootout. I tried to put it all in an order that made sense and got on my way back to work. A hint of the good mood that had overcome me outside of the villa returned. Once again, it stemmed from what had made me join the CDI many years ago. The feeling of doing something instead of taking a back seat and waiting for death. There was a time when a lack of purpose threatened to consume me, lurking underneath meaningless daily routines and self-doubt sabotaging everything I did. Walking among the people outside, I felt even more alienated than usual. It was like they lived in another reality. Many were just getting out of work, looking to do some shopping, meet a friend, have a drink. 
Maybe I would find my way back to that reality one day. I wanted to, yet at the same time hated the thought of it. Am I going the right way? I do sometimes feel like that I live among aliens. Hello, fellow citizens. Wait, what? What's going on here? They're going to the train. Wait, is the, is the train coming? I'm waiting for the train. The Savian faith is based on superstition and rejects science. <clears throat> to the point, I can't read that. <laughs> we all saw four decades ago today what happens. When a Savian state is left to its own devices. We can't let history repeat itself. We demand President Robertson end this madness now. Put a stop to all independence talks and reinstate full Garion. We removed the radical Savian Joseph Banny to get it started. If you do not start implementing measures to meet our demands, more Savian lives will be spent to protect our collective future. The Savian population on Gara will be taken hostage. Until the Garion population on Grovia is guaranteed its freedom. We must stand up for them, if our government won't. Await our next move within 48 hours. We won't be as silent as the first one. I got a call. Conrad, did you see that? Yeah. It was all... It was, it was on all screens across the city. Come to HQ immediately. That's what I was trying. Come on. Was the train not running? Why oh, they have that good uh, show running? Okay, let's get in there. That was just day one? How long is this game? I don't like that we can't save. Like, technically the saves happen, like, uh, on their own, but I really don't like that. I mean, I understand the concept behind it, but, like, I just, just fucking hate everything about it. When was the last time I saved round? 28 seconds ago, so this would be a good time to take a break. But let's just keep going. <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's Gary! Gary! Gary, what are you doing out here? Thinking? Strange how the city looks the same as always, as if nothing happened. But that's a good thing, right? Fucking liberators. Ridiculous name. From whom are they liberating us? From a handful of superstitious lo lowers? Pathetic bullshit. Every single institution on this planet upholds the freedom of our people and their values. It's not like we are letting some religious fanatics take over the solar system. And somehow we didn't uh, know anything about those fuckers before any everybody else. One more thing we missed. The fact that we messed up at Joris Plaza doesn't help either. They had to put a sniper in a coma. The other guy is dead. It's going to be hard to make progress with no one left to interrogate. Do we at least know who they are? He scanned them. The sniper, complete ghost. He got a fake idea right before he checked into the hotel. The other guy is a businessman from Drovia. His name is Abraham Gonzalez. He's the CEO of a company called uh, Power Up. They manufacture thelium based uh, batteries. Uh, both the guy and his company seems harmless. No criminal record. Strange. Uh, why? Would uh, someone from Drovia help an anti-Drovian terror organization? I have no clue. 
What about the woman? Any updates on her? Nothing so far. But we have another lead. <clears throat> Saito is trying to find out where the announcement was uh, broadcast from earlier. Maybe he's uh, found out something already. Why don't you go inside and ask? He's in our office. I'll catch up with you in a minute. I guess he's too busy staring at nothing. Will do. Uh, did he secure the drive the sniper tried to hand over? Yeah. And what's on it? About that. The chief said the attorney general seized it. She said she has the to evaluate if we have the required clearance level. The AG? Are you kidding me? That's a crucial piece of evidence. We need it. I suppose they let us in on it soon. Uh, bureaucracy. It's fucking hierarchy. So stupid. <clears throat> There's no time to waste. We have to assume the next attack is less than 48 hours away. The higher-ups know what they are doing. No, they don't know. You're clueless. I'm clueless. You think the guys... Are our, our, our chief is just uh, spending his time with hookers. I'm not. I'm not judging, but like, you know, he was compromised. This is a complete fuck up. Even the the time when we tried to get the suspects, we completely fucked up. I, I gave the best information I had, but obviously, like, they just can't, can't just wear a fucking hood, a fucking sunglass, and like maybe a. Uh, they can just they can just change their looks completely. Come on, what do you expect, Gary? You think? Let it, <clears throat> let it go, Conrad. Go talk to the chief yourself if you have a problem. Oh, I will. Oh, and one more thing. There's an article about Gonzalez's company in the news today. You might want to download it and have a look. I might not want to do that. Talk to the chief is optional, but talking to Saito is... is required. Do I want to... I mean, I don't mind... Checking out the news necessarily. No news. Oh, we can. I guess we can download it. And well, we're gonna check it out. Over here. Where can we download it? Not here. Wait, what? We can climb down? Chief, let's talk. Chief, are you in here? <laughs> and you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. I didn't question that, but the data is one of the most important pieces of evidence we have right now. The Liberators said that their next attack will take place in 48 hours. That's pretty damn soon. We really need to take into account everything we got if we want to catch those guys in time. I already told you that the contents of that stick won't help you find them. How can you say that? Having a better idea of your enemies' uh, motivation is always important. And you know that. You yourself were the director of the CDI for over a decade. Liam, please. I got a lot on my plate right now. I don't have time to discuss this over and over again. The data is about... The data is about something that happened during your time at CDI, isn't it? What are you talking about? I looked at my cell's history and saw which folder uh, that woman navigated to. I don't have the access rights, but I'd really like to know what's, what is in there. There was a lot going on in the 1800. What? Is that a date? Let me be... Be very clear, Liam. I can't work with a chief who doesn't trust my judgment and questions my orders. We've been doing this for a long time, Emilia. I deeply respect everything you have done for the Garium State. But as a CDI chief, 
I see it as my duty to protect all Garian citizens. And I'm sure that that's in your best interest as well. I don't have time for this now. I'll let you know what the next steps are going to be. People covering their ass. Yep. Good evening, Chief. Agent Conrad, how can I help you? What is AG doing here? Attorney General. I was wondering what the AG is doing here. We had a little discussion about our plan of action. Nothing you have to worry about. Was it about the data? Honestly, I don't understand why parts of the puzzle are being kept from us. It makes no sense. I agree. Listen, comrade. I'm currently trying to find out what the data is about and why we don't have we don't get access. Don't you have a suspicion at least? You know what was on your cell when it was accessed. The data was on the CDI network, and apparently it was uh, something I don't normally have access to. Until I know what exactly we are looking at, I'd like to ask you to respect the chain of command. I, I'm going to... I'm, <clears throat> I'm getting an important call in a second. We talk later. Okay. We're gonna find Saito. Very Saito. Apparently, talking to Chief was optional. No way. Saito, where are you? Oh, that's where he is. Evening, Neil. Hey, Saito, how's it going? I'm not going to lie. That video was a little upsetting. I mean, I, I know that my religion is strange to some people on Gara, but an anti savient terror group, that's something else. Should I be worried about wearing my scarf in public now? I think those people are idiots. And I'm sure the vast majority of Garians agree with me. I know. Hey, I also have some good news. I found out where the Liberator's video was broadcast from. It's a company called uh, Adspot. They own most of the billboards in the city. You want an ad uh, played, you go to them. I took a shot in the dark and checked uh, ongoing police operations in the center. And what do you know? Someone at AdSpot made an emergency call tonight. Apparently an intruder forced their way into their server room and gained access to their uh, computer. I made a contact with the local police department. They sent two officers who secured the scene and are waiting for you to come. Oh man, have a look. Fast as lightning, Saito. Great work. <laughs> well done, comrade. I'll go to Adspot and have a look around. We really need to get ahead of this one and prevent another attack. Why don't you follow up on some leads while we're gone? Trace the perp's uh, payment to the hotel as uh, well as the mysterious transaction to the escort. And maybe we can find out uh, where the sniper accomplice uh, got her face changed. Comrade? I'm taking off from the roof. I want to hitch a ride? You know I don't. <laughs> it was worth a try. Meet you at that spot then. <laughs> I, I need some fresh air. I'll come with you, Gary. Okay. So we are using the train again. Why not using the, the fucking helicopter? It's just wasting... This is, this is why you don't have time. This is why you don't have time. I mean, don't get me wrong, like... Sure, just do whatever you want, to, like... Come on. You're just turn down a helicopter ride. Wait, where are we going? This is where the train station is. Oh, of course. This is the stairs. Come on, train! Oh, you won't get me.
Gara, LV Business Center. During the train ride, every screen in the city had been playing news reports about the Liberator's announcement. They were the first violent domestic terror group with a political motive in recent Garian history. But there was something else that struck me about them. This wasn't the usual M.O. of a conservative group trying to maintain the status quo. It felt much more like revolutionaries hoping to effect change by resorting to drastic measures. I may be missing parts of the story or clues. I think we have enough. Keep going. For the most part, the game is somewhat linear. Offering you a few choices. So we're not here. <clears throat> and he seems pretty nervous about his boss. Hey, comrade. This is Officer Wong, my colleague, Neil Comrade. Thank you for filling me in, officer. We'll take it from here. All right, the security guard who called the police is still inside. Let's go talk to him. He works for a security firm called Cox that was uh, contracted by Adspot to monitor their, their offices at night. How did they inform their CEO, Albert Cox, about uh, the intrusion? Or rather, his secretary. Uh, she told me that uh, he's been at a business, been at a business meal since... Uh, uh, 1730. But she said she asked him uh, to return to the office for questioning soon. First, uh, let's hear what uh, the guard has to say. <clears throat> I'm not panicking. Uh, you're being careless. I, I want you to promise uh, me that you stay home today, okay? Oh, okay. Talking to a, a child, I suppose. Or maybe family members. Uh, oh, the officers are here. I'll call you back later. Good evening, Mr. Brown. I need to ask you a few questions. Officers, I really don't understand how it happened. I was just getting a coffee in here and then... I mean, I can't have an eye on all the rooms at the same time, right? It wasn't my fault. Calm down, sir. We're not accusing you of anything. My boss won't be happy at all when he hears about this. Didn't yet? Could you tell us what happened from the start? The broadcast uh, began at around uh, 18 o'clock. Uh, where were you at that time? As I said, I had left my post at the front desk for a short break and was having a coffee in here. Really? They just did the whole thing during your coffee break? I heard the sound of shattering glass and I ran looking for the noise. When I arrived in the server room, I saw a broken window. And video playing on screen. I stopped the broadcast as quickly as I can. It all just took a few seconds. It was running for like minutes. Hold on. They managed to climb in, log into the computer, and start that within a few seconds while you were having your coffee? It seems that way. Did you see anyone who, when you entered the server room? No, it was empty. I went to look outside, but they were already gone. So to be clear, the video could have only played for a few seconds. No more than 10. And if you stop it there, stop it here, it immediately stops everywhere? Hmm. Yeah, the screens across the city just mirror the ones here. Look, my boss will say, it's all my fault, but I swear to you, I... <clears throat> okay, that's all, off and out. Come on, right? I'm sending uh, a sheet to your cell. Ah! Have a look around and see if you can find out who uh, started that broadcast. Thanks, Gary. You're a big help. Okay, we can still talk to this guy. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Anything else you want to know? About your relationship with your boss? Oh yeah, I just... What's your relationship with your boss? 
Honestly, I can't see he likes me. I think he's been looking for a reason to fire me for a while. See you what? I think I only got the job because of one of his top men vouched for me. I see. Anything else you want to know? About tonight. Did you leave the building at any time? Only one time, when I went looking for the intruder and I came right back. Did anyone enter the building except for you? It's just me and whoever started the broadcast. Can I go home soon? My wife's a uh, savient and after that video today. <clears throat> I'm afraid you have to stay here a little longer and help us find the people behind the, all this. I'd feel better if I was with her. Called her earlier and told her to stay home. But she wouldn't listen. She's coming here? I see. That's all for now. Maybe she's already here. Is it? Is it? Let's see what we have. I can sit down. Now, what are we trying to get? I don't know. But we got a new ongoing case. We need to find out who started the broadcast. Screens. Investigate? I'm I'm never using the investigate mode. Oh, can I go? Hey Saito, could you do me a favor? Of course, shoot! Uh, there's a presence sensor at the entrance of the AdSpot ad server room. Any chance you can pull its data from around the time the broadcast was started? Give me a sec, I'll check. I got access, but the sensor doesn't store any names. However, I could provide you with a list of every time someone uh, passed through that door around uh, 18 o'clock. Great, that would be real helpful. Alright, uh, sending it to you now. Remember, the sensor reacts every time someone uses the door, no matter if they go in or out. Gotcha. Talk to you later. Yes. Can we interact with them? Looks like someone smashed the server room, with a room window. Okay. But can they get in there? Yeah, okay, let's see what kind of information we got. Okay, that's free. So, someone broke in through the, the window, did the thing, and they left together? Because... There was no one in there, right? There was no one in there. It, someone would have needed to be in there. Unless some people left together. If someone goes in, goes out, then they would need to go in. And there was no one in. So, just entered in. Then... But I suppose if you can leave through the window, it doesn't really matter. And these entries are meaningless. Except for the fact that the guy... I mean, we, we should assume that uh, they came in through the window. Do I have more information? Security information, this is a uh, FSA420. Fox Security Services. Jim Chan, CEO of AdSpot. Okay, let's see what we have here.
18 o'clock. Hmm. I'm not sure who we can blame. I don't have, like, clear evidence here. It's like around 1800, right? Okay, so 1800 is relevant, but it's all Cox Security Services. Oh, we can talk to the guy. <clears throat> That's useful. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Anything else you want to know? About those uh, door cards. I saw that you use uh, a door card uh, to enter and exit the building. Yeah, Cox Security has two door cards for Antspot. This one and uh, another one in a locker of our office. Only our boss, me, and the other guard assigned to Antspot can open it. They are not personalized or anything. Just We just grab one at HQ before we come here. Who is the other guard? His name is James Moore. He's been working for the boss for a long time. We alternate shifts here at Spot. Today it's my turn. I see. That's all for now. I don't have enough information, I think. Can we get more information? How do we get more information? I don't think I can. I mean, know about the other guy now, but do we do we have enough information? I don't think we do. How do we get more information? Seems to be like a logic problem, maybe. Can I go that way? So, our boss, me, and the other guard assigned to Aspot can open it. So the broadcast was at 1800. Oh, in the wrong thing, I think. Oh, man. This is the first conversation with him. The second conversation. Okay, let's see the information we have. So, this seems to be the guy. He came in, stopped the broadcast as soon as possible, but someone else entered. Before. I don't think we have enough information here. Can I sit down here? Hmm. 
Am I ready though? Fox, Brown, and Chan. And more. Oh no. I don't think it's brown. It doesn't perfectly align. Jim Chan, CEO of AdSpot. I mean... This is the only one relevant. I can't get more information. Yeah... So we talk to Brown almost exclusively, and there's nothing, there's no one else. Did Brown give us inf enough information? Doesn't seem like he did. We know that it happened at 18. He claims to have uh, stopped it. But it seems like he's lying. apparently left the building. Only time he left the building when he went looking for the intruder and he came right back. Does that... Does that check out? Because someone left the building at 1802 and come back at 1804. So, he came in, stopped the broadcast, 1802, he left the building, and 1804, he came right back. So... At that point, the story kind of check out. However, someone else entered the building at 55 and entered the server room at 56 and uh, left the building through the window. Okay, let's see. It was probably not Jim Chan, because he seems to be using his own uh, card. Jim Chan is using his own card. Let's see. Uh, at this point, I'm just checking the options. So it's not Chan. It's not Brown, most likely. So it's either Cox or Moore. Let's see if... Either one of them has their own unique card. They don't. <laughs> it's Cox Security Services. What, what does Cox mean here? I mean, I, I know that Cox did it. Someone... Was it a Cox? Fuck. Let's, let's blame, on, blame it on Cox. I, I don't have enough information. I think. Talk to Gary. Did I fuck up? I took a look at the broken window. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot more glass lying outside than inside. I'm pretty sure that it was uh, smashed from the inside. Not the outside. I know that. You're saying they broke at the window to get out, not in? Exactly. I think whoever started the broadcast walked in through the front door, uh, played the video. Yeah, I mean, we know that. But we don't know who. It was one of the security people. I but, but probably it wasn't Brown. That's all I know. Smashed the window, climbed through it, and ran away. Why break the window at all, then? Question. Probably to conceal the real way they got him. Yeah, but you can usually tell. I mean, kind of depends on the window, I suppose. But like, 
experts might be able to tell, like, which direction the window was smashed. Like, even if you're, like, not an expert, you, if you smash a window, then the, the shards will, the pieces will fall. Uh, away from you. Let's just say that. In line along with the force used to smash it. Okay. If our prep entered through the front door, they must possess an ad spot uh, door card. Yeah. That leaves us with a limited choice of suspects apart from uh, employees of ad spot. Three people from Cox Security have access to door cards as well. Cox himself, Brown, and his colleague Moore. Yeah, yeah. We know that, but like. Moore works here as well. He and uh, Brown take turns in surveilling the facility. I mean, Brown seems unlikely. Any idea which of them started the video? We don't know. I mean, it seems like it wasn't Brown. Yeah, someone with a Cox Security door card entered the building at. Uh, uh, 1755, shortly before the broadcast began. It can't have been Brown. He passed uh, by the door three times since he arrived, which places him inside. That is true. I mean, I mean, to be fair, Neil, you don't know. He just claimed, but the, the data seems to be collaborating uh, his uh, statement. Couldn't he have uh, climbed back in through the broken window to avoid uh, the scanner at the door? No, that's evident from the data at the server room door. Uh, Saito pulled it for me. That's uh, not a scanner there. <clears throat> Only two people have access to Cox's door cards. James Moore and their boss. That's why I think it was Cox himself who sneaked in and started the broadcast. Ooh, really? Why him and not uh, the Moore guy? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I figured out the, the previous part, but like... Just an educated guess. Come on! <laughs> okay. You gotta, you gotta back that up. Wait. As I said, Cox has been uh, at, the, at the business meal since uh, 1730. Oh, you said that? I suppose that's an alibi, but I mean, that's a very easily checkable alibi. All right. If his alibi holds up, it couldn't have been him, Conrad. All right. Moose probably our best guess then. I'll, I'll send the unit to arrest him immediately. You and I should pay his boss a visit and see what he has uh, to say. Should be back at his office by now. I'll send you to Cox's address. Uh, get to the train. I'll meet you there. Roger that. Time to ride the train again! Woohoo! Um. Oh. Hello? Hey, Saito. Neil, good news. I managed to crack the cell of that business uh, man, Abraham Gonzalez. I found a deleted message that is extremely interesting. Seems like someone hired him to fetch the data on module on Gara. And here is the kicker. The message was sent from the Mercurius network. The what now? The Mercurius network is only accessible to, real bi to really big companies. They have to be publicly traded and count more than 10,000 employees. What's more, the message was sent by a highly encrypted channel of the network. Those are exclusively accessible to high-ranking executives. That means that whoever sent this message to Gonzalez is someone high up in the big company. Not just high up, it practically has to be CEO. Good job, Saito. Sounds like a solid lead. I'll forward you the message and the list of all companies in the solar system that match the criteria. The solar system. Oh yeah, you do that, Saito. I'm also opening a sheet about who is behind the liberators. Oh, 
And one more thing, I also managed to extract a message from the sniper cell. Looks like he sent it to the woman who stole the data from Archie. You might want to have a look at uh, that as well. I'll forward it, forward it to yourself. I'll be that. Talk to you later. What we want to clarify about the liberators. Okay. We are investigating here. Come on. Come on, train. 25 minutes ago, last save. Oh my god. Let's go in it there. Yara, Palu Market. Okay, go to Cox Security. Oh, it does save when I use the train, but that's basically it. Oh! Hello? Hello? Wh who's that? Hey, Gary. Conrad, I'm having car troubles, but I'll be there soon. That's why you use the train! Car troubles, huh? Save it, Conrad. This is literally the first time you got somewhere faster than me. <laughs> While you're waiting, you could swing by the restaurant where Cox presumably had dinner and check his alibi. We also asked for them to send over tonight's surveillance footage. They said that their camera is unfortunately broken right now. It seems to be one of those locations where privacy is part of the service. The restaurant is on the layer above Cox's office and the train station. Go upstairs and take a left. You could have a chat with his wife if uh, she's still there. Her name is uh, Yuan Cox. Roger that. See you in a bit. I'll give you a call when I have an ETA. Damn. This job is life. Box security. I go this way. I guess we can get in. Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> we have to check out the restaurant first. Mega shop! Oh, what's going on here? Street vendors! Booze! Oh, I can't go down. I can go up, though. It's it's not entirely obvious what you can interact with. Okay. Oh, look at that. Good evening, sir. Do you have a reservation? Evening. I'd like to talk to you, Wong Cox. Is she here? I must ask, is she expecting you? Not really, no. Come on, Neil! I'm sorry, but I can only let you in as a part of a reservation. Neil Conrad, CDI. Would you please lead me to Miss Cox? Uh, would you please follow me? Sir? And that's why it's vital we keep negotiating with them, no matter what Albert says. Miss Cox? Yeah, who are you? Neil Conrad, CDI. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'd like to ask you a few questions. CDI? What did I do to deserve this, your attention? It's about your husband, actually. Oh, well. Excuse me, Mr. Conrad, uh, Jacqueline Hendricks, attorney at law. Uh, Miss Cox is my client. You realize that uh, she's not obliged to give you any information about. It's okay, Jacqueline. Well, I'm not how you're supposed to pronounce that. Let's talk, Mr. Conrad. Would you mind if we stepped outside? I need some fresh air. Not a problem.
Jacqueline is a little overprotective sometimes. That's how you know a lawyer is worth their salt. You said that this was about Albert. Uh, what is it you want to ask me? I was, <clears throat> I was wondering if you could uh, tell me where your husband was around 6 o'clock tonight. We met uh, here at uh, Will Jacqueline at uh, 7.30 and discuss, discuss some business uh, decisions over dinner. About half an hour ago, Albert got a phone call and excused himself. <laughs> that was us. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, did Mr. Cox act strange in any way over the last few days? I have uh, no idea. Last time I saw him before tonight must have been uh, two weeks ago. Albert and I don't live together anymore. We have uh, all but separated. <clears throat> You're gonna get divorced? Maybe. It would be very complicated for our businesses. I see. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking the time. That's... I don't think we learned much. Gary, what's up? I'll be there in 10 minutes. What about you? Did you talk to the wife? Yeah, she col collaborated his alibi. And do you believe her? Not really a question of belief, right? I mean... I didn't have a, a, the impression she would like to protect him. That is a good point. But I, that's not exactly what I got, because she is in business with him as much as she they are also married so apparently they are not close so i think it's possible that she would uh like to protect him but in some sense she's also protecting herself Ugh. their marriage is apparently more of a pragmatic arrangement at this point Neil, you're so naive. You just take everyone at their word. <laughs> you're fucking lucky that people are not lying you to you more. I see. Listen, I, I got bad news. Moore's not home. He's on a holiday, according to his wife. She said he went to Manami Tree Resort. Uh, we're currently trying to confirm this and get a hold of him. Damn, this cop job. I would not be a co good cop. Why don't you go talk to Moore's wife, see if you buy that story. I will. I buy every story. Saito says that you are very close by. Move up a layer or two and make a right to leave the market. You should uh, find her apartment there. Uh, come back down to Cox's office when you're done. It's uh, right near the train station. I'll be there in 10. Okay. On my way up to Moore's apartment. I walked through aromatic clouds of fried rice, fish, and mystery meat. I'd been down to Paloon Market once before, with Catherine. It almost surprised me to see that none of the platforms had collapsed in the years since. People were still selling the same junk, some of it probably stolen halfway across the planet. <clears throat> Anyone home? Who's there? Agent Neil Conrad, CDI. I already talked to your colleagues. I know. I I'm sorry to bother you once more. You said that your husband went on a vacation. Is that correct? Why didn't you come in? Can I see your badge? Oh, of course. James went to Manami Tree Resort. His uh, flight left uh, last night after work. Is there a way to contact him? He left his uh, cell here because he wanted some peace and quiet. What exactly do you want from him? I hope he's not in trouble. Uh, why would you say that? <laughs> Does he get in trouble a lot? I... no. Not lately. Uh, wouldn't everyone be worried about uh, the CDI knocking on their door? Um, do you have a reason to worry? <laughs> Not lately. Does your husband have a criminal record? He made some mistakes years ago, and he did his time for it. Years ago? I mean, how many years was that? What did he do? His boss asked him to make a delivery of illegal substances. <sighs> J. 
James got caught and his boss said he knew nothing about it. Who was... <clears throat> who was his boss at the time? Not Mr. Cox, I suppose. Oh, it was Cox, all right. James was in prison for almost a year and he went right back to working for him. He didn't get hold a grudge at all? Let's say he didn't have much of a choice. It's hard enough finding a job nowadays, even more so with a criminal record. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I miss Moore. Uh, that's all for now. If your husband gets in touch, uh, tell him to contact me. Here's my cell info. Do you mind if I have a quick look around? Look around? Uh, why not? But please don't make a mess. Single plate in the sink. Looks like she had dinner alone. Did we learn? Oxidanol, highly addictive substance used in lung disease uh, treatment. Okay, so we got a an article we can check out. So much to read. What the fuck? Saito? What, what is this? Um, that's, that's a long list, man. Okay. Uh, what's next in line? Go to Cox Security. I, I know where that is. Seems like reading didn't help me much. Of course, I had to read it quickly. <clears throat> Conrad, how did it go with, uh, Moore's wife? Well, she doesn't seem to know, uh, what her husband is up to. I took a look around place though. Good. We need all the information we can get. I'm almost at Cox building. Meet you there. Oftentimes in our investigations, the obvious solution would turn out to be the right one. People usually acted in accordance with their interests and their emotions. Whoever we first thought did it, they often turned out to have done it. With Moore and everyone else we had met so far, it always felt that we were at least one step removed from the truth. Nothing about this case was obvious. Yeah, but I would make the argument that if you have uh, assumptions from the get-go, you might want to try to pin the guy who has nothing to do with it. And uh, at that point, you're just uh, flying in blind. Okay, this is... I can climb down, but it's so difficult to navigate here. This is... Is this the place? <clears throat> I think it is. It's on the left. Conrad. We need to go up here. Cox has probably been waiting for us for a, a while. <clears throat> What's with the shabby building? I thought this was a big company. This is just one of their bases of operation, apparently. Um, Listen, Conrad. I just got a call from the AG. She ordered us... To arrest Cox. What? From the AG herself? Why? I, I thought we were just uh, going to question him. Did you tell the AG that uh, we don't suspend, suspect Cox of uh, starting the broadcast? I, I did, but I guess there's been a change of plans. Why does she want us to arrest him? She said that uh, we have a strong reason to believe that he is a uh, part of the Liberators. Did she bother telling you what she's uh, basing that on? We are the fucking cops! 
we should be acting on on law and evidence and now we're just like we're just bossed around this is all garbage i don't even like law <laughs> No. No. We don't have time to waste here, Conrad. Let's go get him. Oh, man. After this, I'm definitely quitting my job. And do you want me to do the talking? I'll see if I can have a look around in the meantime. You doing the talking? Mm -mm. I'll do the everything. Sure. I don't think he's uh, going to give us trouble, but keep on your toes. He's uh, big in the security business, after all. Is, it, is he really here, though? Okay. Yes. Gonna follow Gary. I mean, technically, we haven't gone. But I kind of wonder if he ever gonna use it. Good evening, Mr. Cox. I'm Agent Long, and this is my partner, Agent Conrad. <laughs> Good evening. I'm sorry, I don't have more chairs in here. We'll stand. I heard uh, there was a break-in on uh, Mr. Brown's watch. I didn't expect this sort of a slip-up from him. I apologize. We're not here for him. Actually, Mr. Cox, you're under arrest. You are suspected of providing support for an interplanetary conspiracy. <laughs> I see. Oh, no! Damn, what a psycho! Holy fuck! Gary's dead! Yes! Fuck oh, yeah, Gary is dead! And finally, like, finally, it's, well, to be, to be fair, I, I did, not, did like the investigating, but like, things is really ramping up. Shit, Gary! Fire at Cox? No, 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 we gotta fire at Cox. Put the gun down? No, he's ordered to kill someone, we gotta kill him. It's over, Mr. Cox. Let's just demoralize him. You just shot a CDI agent. It's over, Mr. Cox. Oh, please, don't overestimate your power. Shooting an agent starts an alarm. <laughs> oh, what about your wife? These are both good. What about your wife? You just leave her behind? I don't care about my wife. She'd be thrilled if I disappeared. Now get out of my way, or I'll make you. We're just gonna pull on his heartstring. The building is surrounded. He's just not gonna bite that. He's not stupid. But he's probably a thinker guy. So, I mean, if you just keep hitting him with emotions, eventually he's gonna have an emotional breakdown. You still care about your you still care about your wife. Come on, I know you still care about your wife. I don't give a shit about that bitch. You may have backed the wrong course. You had your chance. Am I dead? I'm dead. I guess I was wrong. I may have projected here. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm Did I survive? Gary, you're the worst backup. Gary literally did nothing. And first chance he got, he got killed. Fucking Gary. I'm kind of tempted to use the, the name Gary now. As as a, some way. <laughs> to make fun of characters now. Gary totally fucked it up. Wait, what's going on here? I, I'm not dead, right? Am I dead? I mean, I, I couldn't save. Conrad, he's moving. Conrad, are you okay? Oh, you're not dead? No! I want to be dead. At least you're not there. What? We're both fine? I... Yeah. I think you? Yeah, same. Just some bruises. But he did bruise us with bullets. But we wore our vests. Yeah, but like, he could have just killed us on our way out. On his way out. <clears throat> what about Cox? Fuck, he got away. He set his office on fire. Looks like he had uh, something to hide. Shit. I can't believe he got in, got the jump on us like that. We should have uh, been more careful.
some random guy gunned the two agents wearing bulletproof vests. Fucking... Okay, like, it's not 100% on you, Gary, but still, you were my backup. The manhunt is already underway. We have to get him. So, what do we do now? Go back home and take a break. I'll tell the chief what happened. Okay. Let the adrenaline settle and hook yourself up to the med bay for a quick checkup. <clears throat> We'll have to wait and see if Moore and Cox turns up. If they do, I'll give you a call. If not, I'll see you at the HQ tomorrow. I'll be that. Well, it's, it's just what happens. It's like, oh, okay, I got shot, I guess. Can I talk to you? I guess that's a no. We go home. Oh, look at these guys. The trendy hair. Uh, one green, one blue. Very fashionable. What? What? I'm on the train now? Gara in transit. Oh, got a phone call. <clears throat> hey, Neil. Thank you. Everything all right? <clears throat> no, Lars disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? I, I let her go that, to that stupid party, but she promised she would be home over an hour ago. Have you tried calling her? Of course, but she's not answering. She's probably having fun and forgot the time. But why won't she pick up? It's not like her. Maybe... <clears throat> maybe the music is too loud. I'm sure she'll come home once she realizes you tried to reach her. She won't want you to worry for too long. Alright. Hey, Neil. You want to swing by for a glass of wine? I'm on the train right now, on my way back from work, and I'm pretty tired. Oh my god! Is it okay if I swing by spontaneously? What? What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm sitting here waiting anyway. I mean, it, she just... It asked you. She, she just asked you to swing by. So, I mean, guess, guess what he's going to do. <clears throat> if I'm too tired to come and she's still not there in an hour, give me a call, okay? Okay. Okay. So I guess we get there when we get there. Garaluville. This is not selling me on the idea of being a cop. That's for sure. Totally enough, this game has little to do with uh, sci-fi. Wanna go up on the roof? Oh yeah. Why not? I haven't been up there in a while. <clears throat> it was one of the reasons why I granted that. The apartment, remember? Of course I do. Getting getting excited about things is so easy when you're 24. I'm not, I'm not gonna offer a cigarette. I think it would just ruin this moment. So, how's life going? Okay, I guess. Yours? Same. You sound a little sad. I know it's silly, but I sometimes still wonder why I 
why it didn't work out with us. <clears throat> Probably worth too much. There was a time when I was so sure we were a perfect match. I've asked myself the same million times. And? I came up with lots of different answers. We were too young for our kid. I was too focused on my new job. Our place was too small. I wanted to find that one good reason to explain to myself, to make sense of it. But honestly, I think we were just bad at it. We couldn't stop fighting about the same small bullshit. And we kept hurting each other. For no reason until we reached a point of no return. That's it. Maybe you're right. But that's sad, don't you think? Yeah. Don't worry too much about Laura. I'm sure she's fine. We should be happy for her that she's having a good time at the party. You said yourself that she had uh, some trouble fitting in with the uh, other kids. Yeah, I know. It just... I think the shit I did when I was her age. That's probably why I worry so much about her. Yeah, but she should have the opportunity to do the same things. But you turned out okay. I'm sure Laura will, too. Be smart. <clears throat> I can barely keep my eyes open. I have to go home now before I fall off this roof. If Laura isn't home in an hour, give me a call, okay? I will. Uh, thanks for saying goodbye. It was nice to, to be up here uh, with you again. I stay up. I stay uh, a little longer. What a throwback, huh? It was nice. See you soon. If Laura is indeed abducted, I mean, I think the a, a superior story to tell would be that Laura is not abducted. I'm going the right way. in the glass. There were so many things on my mind. Laura's disappearance worried me more than I had shown. I thought maybe it had been the wrong call to let her go to that party. In hindsight, it probably wouldn't have mattered. And then there was Cox. He was somewhere out there. At the time, I was hopeful we'd catch him and get some much-needed answers. But he hasn't turned up to this day. Welcome, Mr. Conrad. Your visitor is waiting inside. Visitor? I'm not expecting anyone. Who is this? Your visitor is ID unknown. What the? I didn't tell you what I was expect that I was expecting someone. Why did you let them in? I'm sorry. I did not understand the question. Stupid fucking thing. I'll see for myself. I get your gun out, man. Oh, okay, he's getting he's gun. Oh, this is a, like a legit good reason. I mean, technically, like if someone broke into your house, you shouldn't be like getting in, uh, just trying to uh, one oh one him or them. For sure, you should just call the cops and get the fuck out of there. <clears throat> you can put the gun away. Who are you? You got a nice place up here. They pay you well. Show me your face. Turn around. Okay. Lila? Who? Oh, right, my face. I don't like it, to be honest. Wait, it's you. You're the one who assaulted Lila. <laughs> I'm Zora. Nice to meet you. Slowly put your hands up. I'm here to talk. Put your hands up, or I'll be forced to shoot. 
Nobody's forcing you to do anything. You can make your own decisions. I like that line. Put your hands up now. Can we skip this part, please? And I get and get to the bit where we talk. I count to three. One. Stop. Two. We have your daughter. I should have left with that. You what? We took your daughter, Laura. No, you're full of shit. <clears throat> you can ask your ass. X. She's not at home. Where is she? She's safe with us. You work for the Liberators, right? I have a record of your conversation with the man who shot Benny. Is stealing little girls really... Is really how... They are trying to stand up for the ideals. You would have to ask them. I don't know or care what they believe in. We're just getting paid. Or rather, we were supposed to, but then you you showed up and botched the final step of the plan. Who is we? Who is we? The kind of people you call when you want a foreign minister dead. So you're mercenaries. What do you call yourselves? I wouldn't call. I wouldn't help you even if I. It wouldn't help if even if I told you. And stealing the chief's data was part of your contract with the liberators. So you pieced that together already. Yes. What was on that stick that made it so important? No idea. Wait, you don't know either? I thought you had the drive. I don't. And. I don't think I'll get my hands on it anytime soon. Who has it then if you don't? Don't tell her that! My superiors, if it still exists at all. Neil, you're the worst secret agent of all time. Maybe, maybe... No, okay, that that's not fair, you know? Right. You're not the worst secret agent of all time. Gary's so much worse. But you're still not that great. <laughs> <clears throat> that complicates things. I guess we have to move on to plan B right away. Since the handover went south, the Liberators refused to pay us. We need that data to get our money after all. This is where you come in. If you figure out what the data is about, we might be able to locate it in the CDI database and extract it. I'll send uh, a private sheet to your cell. Submit it to us once you found out. You're giving me homework too? I will do no such thing. Don't be difficult. And hand me your cell for a minute, will you? Why? You don't need it to open a sheet. That's for something else. I need to access the CDI network for a moment. What for? To set up a backdoor for our hack. <clears throat> Why are you telling me all this? I could arrest you right here and... But you won't, and I doubt you could. I'm telling you this because we work together now. <laughs> I like Zora. The better you do your part, the sooner our client pays, and the sooner you see your daughter again. But they're gonna figure it out. Like, the agency is gonna figure out that my daughter is abducted. I mean, maybe not like right away, but... If you do anything to my cell, they'll trace it back to me. Don't worry, I use someone else's credentials. Whose credentials? It doesn't matter. Give me your cell. At least tell me who I'd be throwing under the bus. Carry long. Fuck oh, yeah! No, it's probably gonna... It's probably gonna get busted. I wanna throw Gary under the bus. Oh my god. You know, if you just showed up here with the offer of uh, fucking over Gary, I would have said yes. But now that you abducted my daughter too, I'm... I have doubts. You should have just showed up here and said that, let's fuck over Gary. I'm like, fuck yeah, you're my best friend. What? No. His job means everything to him. 
Is that really more important to you than Laura's safety? Come on. She's your only bargaining chip. I'll try to find out what the data was about. That's gotta count for something. You're definitely not increasing your chances of if you don't cooperate now. Can't do it. I Use my login. Use Gary's login. <laughs> I mean, the smart play is to cooperate and try to get involved. I try to get the uh, cops involved in this, but like low key. Best way to do it is just to get him, get Gary implicated. Let's let's get Gary into this. I want to fuck over Gary. I mean, I mean, I'm not not ready to sacrifice Lara over some dumb principles. So let's let's use Gary's login. Please cover your tracks. Gary can't be fired over this. <laughs> Looks so sad. No, I don't want Gary to get fired over this. <clears throat> but if he does get fired over this, like, that would be so sad. Thank you. Done. So that's it then. I gave you access and I'll tell you all I find out about the data. You let Daryl go now. Right? What? Neil, you're so stupid. I, I cannot believe you. Can you just ask for some proof that they have Laura? Because, I mean, they might know that Laura is at a party and they are made by maybe ready to grab her, right? But I, they may not have Laura. Or may, maybe they don't even uh, have Laura at all. They don't even have a way to get Laura. Uh, but they just knew about the party. So they may not have Laura. This was just the first step. If you keep cooperating, you'll see her again soon. Please, just let her go. She doesn't have to suffer like this. I'll help you. Anyway, so you'll leave us alone. No can do, sorry. It's not my call. Is this really what you want to do with your life? Murder and child abduction? It sounds awesome. Come on, Neil. On with your moral superior superior values. Come on, this is some bullshit right there. I don't have time for this. You're done here. Answer my question. How do you live with yourself? Oh, come on, Neil. You shouldn't assume that people are like you. You work for the CDI. Don't you kill and abduct people all the time? <laughs> the CDI is total douchebags. Spare me your moral relativism crap. I'm not a mercenary. Shit. Oddly enough, I'm closer to the Zora than to Neil. But moral relativism doesn't mean that uh, uh, you fuck people over. Sure you are. The CDI is trying to do the right thing. You do whatever the highest bidder, highest bidder tells you to. That is not what moral relativism is, Neil. <laughs> you fucking idiot! I guess he's not hitting uh, the philosophy books in his spare time. <clears throat> but I guess she's a mercenary, so to, to some extent it's fair, but like... The right thing. What kind of childish nonsense do you believe in? <laughs> yeah, there's no right or wrong. What are you talking about, fucking uh, Neil? You don't have to believe in anything. Do not be evil. Actually, that's not true. Checking your logic. Well, evil is a judgment. <clears throat> Already. You have to believe in good to be evil, because if you don't believe in good, there is no evil. So, your logic falls apart, Neil. Y 
Yeah. I suppose it's just supposed to uh, sound profound or whatever. <gasps> Neil, you're so stupid. <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna get you fired and get you hooked up with your ex-wife and maybe, maybe throw definitely throw, throw Gary under the bus <laughs> and uh, try to make sure that uh, Laura is, uh, uh, well, she doesn't die. I don't, I don't believe in anything in particular. Wow, you're really a poster boy of this uh, moral superiority, uh, Neil. And yet you, here you are talking about good and evil. <laughs> the right thing. How could you do the right thing? <clears throat> because we know what that is. We have an intuition for it. No, that's wrong. Do you? Isn't that all like a moral relativist uh, stance on it? You use your intuition, what you think is right. Mister, I, I go against moral relativism while not understanding it. Then uh, promoting moral relativism, I suppose. I mean, sure. I mean, I don't want to fuck people over. Sure. But. <laughs> okay. Bullshit. There's no such thing. We invented it. It is actually... That is wrong, too. Intuition. Because, uh... It's partly inborn, right? And partly comes from understanding. I think, by nature, humans are, are good. Because we need to be good for the continuation continuation of our species. But then that that may that implies that moral relativism is not about being evil, probably not. You just you just follow your own uh I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the word, but like let's just say your own judgment, your own values <clears throat> instead of uh, uh necessarily like just like oh yeah just tell me what to do because are you really good if you're just trying to just stay bit just follow a law? And even if he like took some kind of moral realism uh, stance, like what is really moral that applies to every being? Right? There's no such thing. Okay, I mean, Zora is obviously just uh, excusing her uh, crappy behavior, but uh, they're both wrong. <laughs> and maybe I'm wrong too. That's possible. <clears throat> but that that's not right. We didn't really invent it. Definitely uh, <clears throat> part of our programming as a species. <clears throat> but you definitely can get better at it. No, no. Look. This lizard over there, he's my friend. He has never done anything evil. He can't. Yeah, but... That, that's... <clears throat> that, that would be the same argument as saying that the poor are, are kind or, or good, right? Because if you just... Like, a lot of people are just... Like, if, you, if someone is poor, are they, like, morally superior? Because they are poor? Because if you just give them money... If you, like, if you have the choice of, like... Uh, you getting like a hundred million dollars or you giving away a hundred million dollars, which one would you choose? I suppose you would. Okay. Okay. Let's say like you, you getting a million dollars or you giving away a hundred million dollars, which one would you choose? And anonymously, right? Anonymously. There's like no way you can leverage it to gain some kind of uh, some advantage. No, you just give it away anonymously. Which one would you choose? <clears throat> now, of course, this is like super unfair. Like, 100, 100 million dollars? Like, that's 100 times better for other people. And if everyone chose that, like, it would be awesome, right? But which one would you choose?
But the, the argument I wanted to make about the lizard is that the lizard cannot be evil. Like, is a, is a lion evil? Right? The lion is just a lion. In fact, that kind of like uh, goes against my, my personal uh, philosophy of... Um, well, it's not exactly my personal philosophy, but like the one I, 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 I follow is uh, kind of determinism. So like, it's kind of like you have good and evil. I suppose you can argue it. Like, maybe I don't want to go too philosophical here. But the point I wanted to make here is that like, I you wouldn't call a lion evil. You can't call a, a lizard evil. But would you call a person evil? You would say like, oh, fuck yeah, a person has a, a person can be evil, right? Really? Would you call a storm evil? I think yes. Person are people are the same thing as lions, as like lizards, storms, same same fucking thing. They cannot be evil. It's just your judgment. Else you might as well call a lion evil. Okay. All animals just do shit for a while and then they die. Look, are you trying to keep me talking? I mean, the lizard doesn't really have the the potential to be evil. Like, what what, what would they even call by evil here? Like, this is just people just usually call people other evil who they feel morally superior to, right? I, I mean, I wanna you might you might call a, a serial killer evil, but they they are probably driven by some controlled desire. They just they just really enjoy uh, uh, hurting people. Right? That's what they do. I'm not saying that's okay. That's definitely not uh, cool. <laughs> no, by any means. But you can just have the say, uh, a different person who is like somehow wired in the brain to just keep eating. Like I just uh, actually read a nutrition book uh, not some not not so long ago. I mean, actually it was today. That you can be just wired just to keep eating, 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 and uh, and. Those who are like uh, serial killers are just wired to, you know, keep hurting people because that's that's kind of how they are wired, <clears throat> and that's just kind of fucked up. And if, if if that's that that's that is the situation you were in, then you would do the same fucking thing. It's kind of fucked up, for sure. <clears throat> you can't pretend to not care about anything. I'm I'm kind of tempted to take up Zora's point because <laughs> the kind of a game I think is encourages you to go with Neil and of course like Zora, it's kind of harder to take up Zora's point because I, I I also disagree with Zora because can you really excuse such behavior like for example can you excuse like can you excuse like running a lottery and people just fucking themselves over like you know you're providing no value at all. And people just fucking themselves over, and they're just like, "Okay, I can take advantage of people." Like, they'll they'll exercise their own uh, that like the responsibility is hundred percent on them. I can just fuck people over, hundred percent of the time, and if they if they choose to uh, fall for it, then oh, it's all cool. It's all cool. Well, that's not great. In fact, I know you do. You were separated from someone you care about. Neil, what the fuck is this shit? How are you... Are you just making shit up? What are you talking about? The sniper we caught. You care about him, don't you? Um... <laughs> I guess somehow started taking Zora's point here. I mean... I su suppose we read that they have some kind of camaraderie. Hmm. Oh, she said now. You two are lovers. Oh, let's go with that. You want to start a new life with him. Oh, it's working, Neil. That's none of your business. But it's funny you mention him. Thanks to you and your colleagues, I won't see him ever again. Didn't you just tell me that it was bad to put people away against their will? Oh, 
Oh, I guess we got a hypocrite here. My daughter didn't harm anybody. Your friend killed someone and might start a war. I'll be back with more instructions. No! Come back! As soon as the woman disappeared into the night, my facade slipped and I nearly collapsed on the balcony floor. I took out my cell with shaking hands and tapped on Laura's face and my contacts. Maybe. Maybe. She didn't pick up. I resisted the urge to call Catherine next. I couldn't just tell her about what had happened. She knocked on my door in the early morning, but I didn't open. I tried to decide on a course of action, but I couldn't concentrate. My mind alternated between trying to remember my last conversation with Laura and conjuring up horrible images of her tied to a chair in some basement. Sometime later, my alarm rang. I got up to go to work, not sure if I was ready to talk to Kat. I must have stood outside her apartment for a few minutes when I finally made a decision. Okay. <clears throat> now, Neil is obviously naive and uh, a little dumb. But can I check the log? Zora. And Zora is just uh, kind of excusing her kind of bad behavior. I'm not not that. Like she she thinks it's bad. But she's like, oh I don't care. Okay. Okay, we are using wait. Talk to cat optional. Yeah, I should I should talk to cat. <clears throat> Neil, I'm not gonna let you sabotage your life. I'm taking over your over you and uh I suppose. Neil, where the fuck have you been? I tried to call you a million times. I even came to your apartment. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I... Laura still isn't home. I called all her friends and nobody knows anything. Looks like she never went to the party. Shit, Neil. What do I do now? Listen, cat. <clears throat> no, don't call the police. I know what happened to her. What? She... She was abducted. They took her to blackmail me. <gasps> I'm so sorry. What are you saying? Who took her? I'm not sure yet. She seems like they are a group of mercenaries involved in Benny's murder. Oh! They promised they won't harm her if I do what they say. How can you do that to us? I didn't. It's not like I allowed them to take her. You have to tell the CDI. Maybe they can find out where she is and get her out of there. That's a good point. No, not... <clears throat> I mean... I'm actually a little concerned that she's gonna torpedo things here. But I, I think I should tell the CDI. Just very... The CDI is such a clusterfuck. I don't know. They're just gonna fuck it up. It's too risky right now. I'm afraid of what they'll do if uh, they find that I snitched. And you think that people who adopt, abduct children and murder foreign ministers give a shit about their promises? Yeah, Cat is 100% is right. Because they have no reason to ever... Give me Laura. In fact, that is the default uh, way of dealing with hostages. You abduct a hostage, you get what you want, you demand more, you either get it or not, let's just say you get it, you keep demanding, and keep promising to return the hostage. And then, they stop uh, giving in, you kill the hostage. That's what you do. That's what you do every single time. The only only reason why you would let the hostage go is 
uh, maybe you're you fear some kind of uh, retribution by law, and you think there's a chance of you getting caught, and that I suppose, but like at that point you're like you're facing abduction versus abduction and murder, and if if it's gonna be and if you let that the hostage go, the chance of you getting uh, arrested is goes up by a lot. So that's not great. And the only other reason I can think of, of of letting go of a hostage is that you have some kind of hostage business where you just continually abduct people, and but you let them go, so uh, people keep paying up because <laughs> because <laughs> you want to encourage repeat customers. <laughs> but yeah, Cat is right. They have zero reason to let her go. I'm still evaluating the situation. I'll do everything in my power to keep her safe. But I probably I shouldn't say this to Cat. What do they want from you? They want me to leak information about the case I'm investigating, about the Liberators. Please, Quat. Trust me with this, okay? I won't let them do anything to her. I'll have to go. I'll call you as soon as I hear anything. And you do the same, okay? Alright. Be here all day. That is a better agent than me. Okay, boom upgrades. Let's go. Uh, go down. Just wanna use the train. Forty-eight hours. Something's gonna happen. Hey. This is obviously a low-budget game, but it's pretty smart about uh, uh, the work invested in it. You don't have a lot of choices, but it's kind of focusing on on decent conversations. Game looks great, I suppose, for the art style it's going for. It makes me think a little bit. I kind of wish for more options a little bit. I, mean, I think that would be... I fucking hate these ladder stairs. <laughs> that's... That's... That's the one I... And also, a, like, a kind of a slowy start, but I, that's kind of a preference thing. And I definitely warm up to it. <clears throat> Morning, Conrad. Hope you got some rest after yesterday's incident. Let me bring you up to speed. The chief said he's making some announcement this morning. That didn't sound uh, good at all. But we'll see in a few minutes. We're running a planet-wide search for Cox, but he didn't turn up yet. Still can't believe that fucker got away. You should go talk to Saito. He's in our office and has some new intel on Moore and Cox for you. It's kind of interesting. Like the the developer is obviously the obvi talked uh, thought about uh, the safe feature, and I. This is another plus for this game, is that in, in many games, there's like one or like a, a few, usually one most interesting option. And you're like, when, when you're like, for example, making speech checks, how do you get the interesting option that you wanted or you fail and nothing happens? Or sometimes you might even get penalized. <laughs> but in this game, like stuff happens and the game just keeps going. So I kind of like that, but. I suppose it's not even a huge deal that you can't save on demand. But I kind of still wish for that. But I get it. I get it. So this is truly one of those games where like uh, bad things happen and you like it. Okay, I'm on it. Listen, comrade, I might have been a little intense these past few days. These are special circumstances. You understand that, right? Sure. It's been hard on all of us. We gotta run. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Got a letter. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Apparently I'm looking for a uh, apartment, perhaps. Talk to Saito. Saito's over here, right? Saito! 
night. Ah, good morning, Neil. Hi, Saito. Gary told me you had some new intel for me. Indeed, I put everything in on our pin board over there. Let me give you a quick overview. First, I assembled some basic information on James Moore and his wife. Second, I managed to pull their recent bank statements. Maybe you'll find something useful in there. That's all I, I could get my hands on for now, but I got more coming tomorrow. And third, I took a look at the CV of the guy who fired... Who fired at you, Albert Cox. And guess what I found? He's a saviant, and he grew up on Drovinia. Oh, that's a surprise. I suspect that he was working with the deliberators. Well, who knows? He still might. Uh, what's also interesting is that he changed his name 20 years ago. Shoot, we are running late uh, to that meeting with the chief. Let's go. I'll tell you the rest on the way. I don't think you should say shoot in a police station. Uh, just as a, Oh, yeah, damn. Dang it. I mean, I don't think you want to use that word. Cox was born as Albert Bolton. His parents owned a big company at the, at the time, Bolton Security Services. They were responsible for the safety of the Savian colony on Drovinia. Drovina. Drovia. You mean Sector 2? The, <clears throat> the only one below? Uh, damn it. The one that blew up uh, 40 years ago? Exactly. A Bolton security was sued into oblivion over the incident and eventually went bankrupt. When Cox had finished school, he charged he changed his name and moved to Gara. And that's when he founded his own security company using some grand money. Thank you, Saito. Great work as always. Oh, it's nothing. I just did some advanced browsing. Oh, before we go in, I need to ask. Is everything alright? You look not great. Isn't that how I always look? Just didn't get enough sleep lately. Thanks for asking. I think everyone's here. Uh, let's start. Uh, thank you all for coming. As many of you know, I've been uh, working for the CDI for 28 years now. I've done everything in my power to defend the values of our planet uh, stands for. The principles of freedom, tolerance, equal rights for everyone, and justice have been guiding all of my actions. I've always been proud of our work and our commitment to the Garian democracy. Sadly, the path to justice hasn't always clear. Oh. Sadly, the path to justice isn't always clear, and we have to make difficult decisions. The murder of Joseph Bani has severely harmed the relationship between our planet and Drovia, and it puts the fragile peace in our solar system at risk. The Domestic Terrorism Division uh, was charged with protecting Bani under my leadership. In light of our failure to do so, the Attorney General and I have agreed that the only appropriate response is for me to resign from my duties at the CDI effective immediately. Dad. I hope that the separatist uh, groups on Drovia will consider this a sign of sincere remorse and of our intention to make uh, up for the damage that has been done. I enjoyed working with all of you, and I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that each of you will find your way of fighting for justice. I will still be in my office today. If there are any open questions or issues you want to talk to me about, my successor will be announced by Attorney General in the near future. Is it gonna be Gary? It's I think gotta be Gary or me, right? Starting tomorrow, Agent Long will be taking over my responsibilities until a permanent replacement is found. Thank you and goodbye. Can move. What's next? We talk to Chief and talk to Gary. Ah! All right, let's find the Chief. Where is he? Chief. Um. Oh, I think he should be upstairs. Wait a second. Is everyone? 
Oh, I suppose everyone's wearing a uniform. Can I climb up? I can't climb up. Can't climb up, although it doesn't show that it's blocked. I guess, yeah, sure. But we're not going that way. But where is the chief now? I have an optional quest of talking to the chief. <clears throat> I mean, that's kind of nice. Yeah. I, I can see why some might criticize the game for not giving you uh, that many options. But I think the options you're getting is, like, fair. Considering that it's kind of a, a small budget in the game. And uh, it's pretty... And they're pretty rewarding. Because, like, it's always better to have, like... I would rather, like, hear one good story than uh, five bad ones, so... <clears throat> hey, Conrad. Not gonna help you. I want to say goodbye. That was... It was good working for you. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate it. I have to admit, I'm surprised by your decision. It's not like you could have uh, done much more to protect Banny. He was shot on the fucking balcony. Come on, Conrad. We both know that doesn't matter. Heads needed to roll for this. <clears throat> Chief. Deji fired you for something else, didn't she? I ever heard your conversation yesterday. Why are you telling me this? It didn't sound like you were arguing about Benny's death. <clears throat> You're aware you can't be suspended for eavesdropping on your superiors. Well, I suppose your superior, my superior now, but not for long, though. I mean, I was not eavesdropping. I was just... I happened to be uh, walking by. <clears throat> for very slowly. Right? In fact, it seemed like you were suspecting the AG of something. Is that the real reason why she wanted to get rid of you? <clears throat> this one is out of your league. Just respect the chain of command. I see. Chief? <clears throat> why did we arrest Cox? I mean, it looks like it was the right call. But we didn't know at the time. And why didn't you give us the rest order yourself? The AG didn't tell me why she wanted to do it, so I refused to give the order. So, you don't know either? No, seems like it's classified, same as the information on that stick. <clears throat> I see. I'll have to pack up my things now. I wish you all the best for your career at the CDI. Thank you. Conrad, you're a smart man. Keep your eyes open. Okay. So we gotta talk to Gary. Wait a second. Gary! Gary! Where are you, Gary? Gary here? Oh, where are you? You're not a Gary. Oh, that's a Gary. That was unexpected. Fuck, I can't believe I'm standing in for the chief. I never thought they would pick me. I have to call my wife. I cannot believe that you're still in here working. I mean, I am incompetent, but you are on another level, Gary. Holy crap. I cannot wait to see what kind of shit show will this uh, station be under your <clears throat> leadership. And I'm kind of glad that I'm... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kind of glad that we are throwing Gary under the bus. <clears throat> Guess I'll be doing some overtime in the next few days. Don't you think? It's strange that Deiji fired him. Gotta admit, she never really liked him. Maybe she was waiting for an opportunity. But someone had to get fired for Benny's death, just for the optics, uh, don't you think? No. I mean, do I... I mean, I may have joined the cops, but I I still have a brain, okay? If 
anyone should have got fired is where the fuck uh let that guy walk on a on the balcony. That is just stupid. Maybe, but the chief always did an excellent job. It didn't have to be him. You just do what other uh, people do in positions of power. You just keep firing the people below you. That's the, that's the big brain move. Of course, the biggest brain move is just to not even uh, engage in such stupid hierarchies. Just avoid them fr from a mile away, at least. <clears throat> <clears throat> Because you're gonna be working for Gary. And that's a fact. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not thrilled about it either. But we should focus on the liberators a uh, liberator's threat. <clears throat> I don't want to start my new job with a string of uh, terror attacks. <clears throat> well, isn't it like an opportunity to show how good you are? Let's recap what we got so far. Okay, yeah, well, that sounds good to me. Listen up, squad. Time for a little wrap-up. I suppose you're all as surprised as I am about our chief's sudden retirement. However, we need to focus on the Liberators and their plans now. Let's go over everything we got so far once more. It seems like this just really sets up the whole planet, or like at least the, the area, for the maximum shit show. Gary is the leader. The chief is gone. I'm getting uh, blackmailed. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I expect a big climax. Um, Jovia's a foreign minister, Banny, was shot last night by a sniper who goes by the name of Boyd. <clears throat> Boyd then went to see a woman called Zora, which seems to have been a deviation from their original plan. <clears throat> He convinced her to hand him a stick with uh, confidential stolen data. The next morning, Boyd uh, met another man to hand him that data. Abraham Gonzalez, the CEO of uh, Drovian company PowerUp. We were able to extract the deleted message from Gonzalez's cell, which proves that someone paid him. He fetched the stick and sent the data to an unknown address once he was outside the Garian network. This leads us to believe that the data cannot be sent uh, unnoticed via the web which applies only to the best-kept secrets of the Garian government. We don't know who paid either of them, but the message to Gonzalez was sent via, via an encrypted channel on the Mercurius network. That means it must be one of the higher-ups of a large, publicly traded company. We don't know what was on the data stick because we haven't been cleared for access yet. <clears throat> Yesterday morning, an anti-Savian terror group calling themselves the Liberators publicly broadcast a video of, uh, in which they claimed responsibility for Banny's murder. They also announced the second attack within uh, 48 hours. Their broadcast was sent from uh, the Espot building. They operate all the billboards across the city. At the time the video started, the building was being guarded by a cock security employee. We have reason to believe that the perpetrator was another employee of the same company, James Moore. His wife says that he went on a holiday at the Manami Tree Resort, but he never turned up there. We are currently running a planet-wide search for him, but without success so far. The CEO of uh, Cox Security, Albert Cox, opened fire on an agent, Conrad, and, and myself when we went to arrest him. Why were you arresting Cox? It was an order from the Attorney General. Unfortunately, Cox managed to run away and burn down large parts of his office building. He apparently had something to hide. We are searching for him as well. Do we think that Cox is a key figure behind the Liberators? He certainly is involved with them in some way, but he doesn't have access to the Mercurius network. We have to assume that there is some bigger fish behind Cox. Uh, what's also strange is that he is a Saviant himself. He grew up in Drovinia, Drovia. <clears throat> Our current priority is to prevent any further attacks. Oh, Roy, I want you to support the ongoing manhunt for James Moore. Young, I, we brought some stuff back from Cox's office. Work your magic on it. Let us know if you find something. Saito, you keep gathering as much information as you can on uh, our prime suspects. Conrad, 
you should check whether you can establish a motive why more uh, would support the liberators. Take a look at all evidence we got, including the information Saito put on our pinboard. Roger that. That's all for now. One last thing. Do any of you guys know how Agent Reed from the response team is doing? <clears throat> I do. He was uh, hit by the two high-velocity rounds that penetrate with his vest. <laughs> he can't move his right arm, and it's a long way to recovery, but he'll get there. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, we should send some flowers to the hospital. But right now, let's get to work. Come back to me when you got something. Okay, I mean... I mean, Gary might be not the absolutely worst manager, if you like managers. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's a chair. <clears throat> I couldn't tell. Oh. Uh, I need to look at the pinboard? Okay. Oh, what the fuck is this? Am I supposed to figure this out? Whose bank statement is this? So someone got paid off by Cox Security. Is it James Moore? Okay. <laughs> what else we got? <clears throat> Okay. So I'm supposed to. Oh, what am I doing? Fill out some sheets. Not a problem. Oh, uh, wait. I have to make this. More motive is most likely money. Money? No. It's sick wife. Seems like we can we can double check. <clears throat> Bible Pharma Celtics. So it's it's a is it monthly? Not even monthly, it's a it's a weekly. Kinda weekly. Yeah, it's a weekly payment. It wouldn't subscribe to drugs, right? So, it's it's uh, the wife's uh, sickness. Okay. What are we doing? Oh. His sick wife. <clears throat> I figured it out, boss. Talk to Gary. Conrad, I just read your sheet on more. Looks like a motive uh, can be established. You should pay his wife another visit. <clears throat> you didn't seem to know anything yesterday. Maybe she'll tell you more if you confront her with her husband's motive. <clears throat> Roger that. See you there. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's not gonna be exactly a surprise, is it? Um. Use the stairs. Yep. This is the way. <clears throat> Let's go! <clears throat> If anything, the husband's motive is only going to make her less eager to share information. <clears throat> Unless she somehow believes it's going to serve the well-being of her husband.
Once again enveloped by the smell of the market, I thought back to the man I had been when Cat had brought me here. How did it all go so wrong? Deep down, I knew the answer. I was just too scared to commit to my family. It was so much easier to care about something that didn't have to like you back. That wouldn't go away if you didn't want it to. For me, that was my job. But ironically, protecting myself like that only made it hurt so much worse. Now that Laura was out of my reach, the pain of being separated was only amplified by the knowledge that I had missed so many opportunities to be with her. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Moore. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Sorry to disturb you a second time, but I need to ask you a few more questions. So you're still after my husband? I told you, he's on vacation on Femus. He isn't. We checked the ID scanners at all spaceports on Gara and Femus. He never left the planet. You must have overlooked something. Listen, I love James, but he's just a poor devil. Shouldn't the CDI be taking care of the big fish? James isn't one of them. It's not exactly a good alibi, though. <clears throat> like, oh yeah, my, my husband went on a vacation. On their own. For weeks. I mean, I'm not saying that that cannot be a thing, but like, it is a little unlikely. Right? Isn't it? <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying it cannot be a thing. Just I'm just saying that it's an unlikely happening. Unlikely case. <clears throat> I think you're under underestimating your husband. He might be about to make a, a grave mistake. Did you see the Liberators video yesterday? It was hard to miss, yeah. We have a reason to believe that your husband is affiliated with them. Seriously? That's what you come up you came up with? He might have sold drugs or started a fight once or twice, but this is completely out of his league. We did some research and it seems like your husband has a strong motive. Your husband is being paid for the attack and he needs the money for your medication. It's true that I suffer from lung, uh, lung condition, but we always managed. If he carries out this attack and we catch him, he goes to prison for life. <clears throat> If we get him before, the sentence will be significantly less severe. Did you also find out how I got my condition? I was a miner at Millex Mining on Femus. Turned out that I was inhaling harmful gases uh, for months every day. The bosses knew about it, but the money was too good. Hundreds of people' lungs were irreversibly damaged. And you know what? Milex got away with it. They were cleared of all charges. No compensation at all. We have to pay for our medicine ourselves. Why are you going after my husband and not after people like them? That is an excellent question. Uh, probably the real answer is that because um they have money. <clears throat> and money is just, uh, well, kind of like a as agreed upon value. Imaginary. <laughs> but, so, I would completely, well, I suppose money is not, not all, because with money you can uh, gain some power. But just money alone. I don't think I made a good case here, but you sort of made a good case against law and police and uh, what is right. Because if the law doesn't go after uh, people like that, it's completely useless. <clears throat> I'm really sorry that happened to you, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Oh yeah, just keep doing, <laughs> just keep doing what I can. What we can do is stop your husband from doing something really stupid. We have reason to believe that he is involved in an imminent terror attack. 
If there is anything you didn't tell me, I need to know right now. What if? What happens if you're right and you catch him? I'm gonna kill him. He would probably go to prison for a few years, but it would be much worse if we caught him after the fact. I saw a message on his cell before he left. It was a booking confirmation from a hotel, but it wasn't on Femus. It was on the Korean hotel here on Ungara. I thought he might be cheating on me. He booked it until tomorrow. Thank you, Miss Moore. You've been very helpful. Promise me you won't get hurt. You're talking to the police, by the way. The police is just about to fuck. Is a police is not on your side. I mean, it can be. Uh, the, the people might be on your side. The individuals might be on your side. But the police itself is about upholding the law. <clears throat> I. He's an idiot. But he's a good guy. Please, I need him. I promise to do my best. There's no need to alienate her. I promise I'll do my best to protect him. Listen, I'm pregnant. If he's about to do something stupid, remind him of our unborn son. Damn! <laughs> Your pregnant, uh, sick wife. That will make him consider his decisions. I will. Thank you for your help. Bam. <clears throat> what? The Corian Hotel. I didn't even need to look that up. It was directly next to the Grand Church at Corian Square, one of the most important houses of prayer for Saviants here on Gara. It probably would be crowded with believers and tourists tomorrow morning. No doubt it was the Liberator's next target. The rush of making progress in the case only lasted a few moments until I realized that now I had to make a tough decision. If I told Zora about the target, I couldn't tell the CDI, and vice versa. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. When I said that I'm going to try to save his husband, I kind of meant it. Oh, hey. Oh, fuck. You startled me. What do you want? <clears throat> Check in with how your investigation is going, but not here. Too crowded. Follow me. Come on, I know a spot. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I don't know which one you are! Fuck. I wanted to follow Zora, but wait a second. Can I highlight? Did you just climb? What the fuck? Oh, of course you climbed down. <clears throat> this is better. The hell are you doing here? Are you following me? I told you, I'll get back to you. Anything new on our client or what they are planning to do?
What do I do? If I tell Zora... Can I... Can I tell... I already committed to helping Zora. Oh, fuck. I cannot... Can I really trust the gratitude of someone who abducted... Who abducts people? I can't. If you should be smart about this. But it seems like... That's the way we go about this. And I definitely... Uh, place my child above saving that guy. So, yes. I will help you. I might know where they, the next attack is taking place. Good. Where is it? I can't just tell you that. Well, I can protect your daughter if you won't work with us. You need to tell us where and when the attack is taking place. We would like to have a chat with the people carrying it out. But there can be any CDI at the scene. Are you saying your people will prevent the attack? Well, they will take with us the people who are trying to carry it out. People's lives are at stake here. CDI needs to intercept the attack. Lara's life is certainly at stake. <clears throat> what are you planning on doing with the attackers? What will happen to them? We will ask them who they are working for. You just ask them and let them go. <laughs> they are so dead. Don't worry about that. We won't let them go through with the, their plans. Okay, they're gonna be killed. Like, what, what is this not telling her the location? We can just give her a fake location. That would be better. That could be a good choice. If I don't give her the location, then this is this is a terrible spot because, like, logically, I know that if if she just I, I basically have zero leverage uh, to get my daughter back. But I cannot help but play into her hand. And just hope that it works out. As long as, like, my daughter is not dead. There's, like, still a chance that we can get her back. And if the attackers indeed just die, that's fine by me. Okay, we're gonna tell her the location. I suspect there will be an attack on at the Grand Church, at the... Korean Square, tomorrow morning. Is that the truth? It is what I think is, is the truth. Good, thank you. Remember not to tell anyone at CDI. I did what you asked. Are you letting Lara go now? Not yet. Let's wait and see how things play out tomorrow. <laughs> you want a beer? Uh... A beer? Are you out of your mind? What? You think I poisoned it or something? <laughs> I thought you said humans were good. Have a little faith. I just say I'm not thirsty. I'm not drinking yet. Hey, listen. You know, I, I thought about what you said. I don't think I'm good. Or even have been. But I will say this. I talked to your daughter today. She's a good kid. I do not like the protest the pro prospect of her getting hurt. So please, don't mess up. How can you? And get her out of there, please. Villa, but my boss won't let that happen. It's all in your hands. Do we know a William? If all goes well tomorrow, and the guy talks, we might get everything we need. If we can get to the client that way, We'll have to get the data after all. In that case, you'll have to help us with the hack. The back door was set up successfully from your cell. I hope it was worth it. Gary will have 
face the consequences for that. You really threw him under the bus there. I guess you're not so righteous after all. <laughs> Fuck you. This was your doing. Much more than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Unlike you, I never said I was a good person. It was the best option. I feel bad about it. It was the best option, I think. <clears throat> Look, it was the least bad option. I just wanted to protect Lara. If they had traced it back to me, fired me over it, I would have been worthless for you. And for Lara. Also, fucking Gary. <laughs> fucking over Gary is like, it's gotta be worth something. Oh, please. You didn't want to risk your own ass. No matter what you tell yourself, at the end of the day, you do what you do for your own gain. I don't necessarily agree with that. There's definitely a ideology towards that, but you can be altruistic. But ultimately, like, you're acting that way because you want to. You're still acting altruistically. Sometimes it's a few layers removed, but in the end, it's all selfishness with extra steps. I mean, you, you would have to define selfishness at that point. Because it is impossible think to like no 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 you just do what you want I suppose you do what you want but it's not all selfishness like if you just go around like helping people because you really like helping people like it in essence you can say that oh yeah your reason for helping them is internal like you're doing it for yourself. You really you really like it. But you're not doing it for praise, you're just helping people. If you we just look at it from a utilitar utilitarian perspective, then like you're helping people, it's obviously like uh, selfless and altruistic. So I think I disagree here. But I think you can make the argument that everything is selfish. You can make that argument, but that like like, you could just have a child and just take care of them for a long time, but is, is that selfish? But, like, you wanted to have a child, I suppose, and, um... I, th I think the, the the biggest, probably the best example of uh, altruistic behavior is that you, you really don't get anything out of it. You don't even do it, like, because you like it, right? You just help someone out when it's inconvenient for you, and, and you may not even enjoy it that much. But, like, it's it's the right thing to do, I suppose. But, like, I suppose you can make the argument that even that is selfish. Because, because that, that, that's your values, whatever. I kind of disagree that everything is selfishness. However. Motivation internal? Yeah. Everything is selfishness? No, I disagree. I disagree. This is just a convenient way to justify fucked up things you do. Nihilism can be used as a shield, just like fate. Oh man, what did you say? It's convenient to say nothing matters because it makes a being uh, in this world hurt you hurt a little less. Uh, what? Are you arguing against nihilism? Think? Like it's some cop out answer? No, I think you're just applying your own uh, thinking and morality and values and whatever 
on everybody. It's like, oh yeah, they're nihilists because uh, they're they're hurting, and that's how they are trying to not hurt. That's not it, Neil. But even if, uh, but even you don't like the thought of harming Lara, do you? That's probably true. I think you're doing your best to ignore your conscience. You will have to face it at some point. Not if I die first. Well, this has been fun. Break is over. I have some business to take care of. I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. Oh. We're going with the train. Oh, someone's calling me. Is it the pizza place again? <clears throat> Conrad, how did it go? Any news from Moore's wife? No, not really. If Moore is behind all this, then she doesn't know about it. I don't even have a chance to uh, play both sides. Fuck. The attack is going down tomorrow morning, and we still have no clue what's going, what's going to be. How is it possible that we don't Get a grip on those fuckers. Looks like uh, the only thing we can do is uh, ramp up security all over Gara. And hope that they won't go through with their attack. Hey Conrad, one more thing. Uh, don't want you to hear it from anybody else. I um, Looks like I'm not standing in for Chief after all. Wait, why? The higher-ups said that they had reason to believe that I tried to hack the CDI's database. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, fucking worth it. Uh, oh, how come? I have no clue. I never do something like that. I wouldn't even know how. In Gary, saved by his incompetence. I didn't think about that. He's, he's a terrible fall guy because I'm sorry. I didn't do it. I'm too incompetent. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I told them as much, but they said that a uh, commission of inqu uh, inquiry will need to have a closer look. Apparently, someone used my login to try an attack on our network. Shit, Conrad. I just hope that I won't, I won't be. I didn't do that. Okay? Hey, uh, I'm sure this is some sort of misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah. Must be. Well, whatever. I'll talk to you later, Conrad. I would have trusted the police to try to get Laura and try to play both sides. But now I kind of committed to saving Laura by trust. But I mean, a, a good story would be like that just Laura dies anyway, right? Okay. Can we save people? Oh. I felt like shit for letting Zora and her accomplices intercept the attack. There were so many ways this could go wrong. I didn't want them to take more, or worse yet, somehow miss him and let the attack happen. Don't get me wrong, I didn't regret telling Zora what I knew to protect Laura, but endangering the lives of innocent people wasn't an acceptable trade off. I couldn't tell the CDI, or even call in an anonymous tip with the police, because the chance was too high that Zora would suspect me. There was no other way. If I wanted to make sure things didn't go south, I had to go to the church myself. I left in the middle of the night, hoping it wasn't already too late. Aren't you supposed to just stay out of it? Can you justify? Risking Laura's life? I mean, at this point, my... My plan is to be... Be 100% corrupt, right? And be useful. At that point, we're just gonna... They're just gonna give back Laura. And they can use me as a, as a corrupt pawn. But hopefully, they will have no idea how to do that. So they just give me back Laura. But then I resign. So, unless they specified that I, I need to be corrupt, then I just resign. And I'm gonna be useless, but like, yeah. I'm like, 
I mean, they can still kill me, I suppose. So, not an ideal uh, circumstance. For sure. Good evening, sir. Is this place open? Evening. I I'm sorry, but the temple is closed until 6 in the morning. Could you let me in for just a second? It would be very important to me. I won't touch anything. Sorry, but what is this about? We had increased security ever since the video came out. These are scary times for us, uh, Savians. Someone sprayed fuck Savians on one of the temple walls last night. I lost something during the ritual? Listen, I lost something during the evening ritual, and I need it back for my morning practice. That's a terrible story, Leo. <laughs> you might be able to find it uh, when you show up in the morning. Can I go in and get it real quick? Um, what exactly? The powers? My sacred brain. But it's kind of hard to find. Rings aren't even allowed in the temple. Look, I don't know who you are, but you're clearly not Savient. I'm sorry, but I need to ask you to leave. Or I have to call the cops. I am the cops. I should have said Babas. Wait a second. Can I break into the church? All right, see you later. What is it sparkling? Oh, back door, here we go. You don't want to have your gun up. Uh, maybe don't say hi to the guy. Okay. Upstairs. What? Mr. Moore, this is the CDI. Hands in the air right now. Step away from the device. Fuck. Oh no. No, no, no. They're here. Listen carefully. They'll shoot you if you don't cooperate, okay? What the fuck are you on about? What's going on here? Mr. Moore, I'm, the, I'm CDI. You have to trust me. Tell them whatever they... I didn't do anything, okay? I'm just following orders from my boss. Tell them that. Tell who? The people walking up the stairs right now. Tell them the truth if you want to live. And if we, if we are lucky, they won't take you away. Oh no, Neil, what are you doing? For them, the best move is to kill us both. Neil, what the hell are you doing here? Don't shoot and stand down, all of you. Shit, did you just shoot that guard? Who the fuck is that, Zora? That's our mole. Ignore him. Go get the other guy and make sure we don't blow up. Mr. Moore, you're coming with us. Neil, what is this about? I hope this isn't some kind of trap, because if it is, Lara's dead. What the? Who are you? Leave me alone. It's not a trap, I'm here alone. I'm very taking him. Oh my god, Neil. That's none of your business. We had a deal. Okay, let's try to uh reason for his life. Moore's just a pawn in all this. Listen, I think Moore is just a pawn in all this. There are bigger fish in the background. Uh they are the ones we should have a closer look at. Okay, we have a closer look at them then. So you're leaving more alone? No. 
No, please. I didn't do anything. Let me take him in. He deserves a fair trial. What are you talking about? Zora, we need to run. Sorry, Neo. We have to make sure you won't follow us. came to, my head and my shoulder hurt, and I was cold. I remember feeling relief when I realized I was still in the church and not tied up in the back of a van. Everybody else was gone without a trace, except for the bomb. I approached it carefully, but quickly realized it was disabled, or had never been fully assembled in the first place. I knelt down to examine the explosives, looking for clues pointing me to their origin. If Jung had been there, she could have run a full analysis. Lucky for me, the explosives were clearly identifiable from their shape and labeling alone. These were Sinion sticks, used in chamber blasting. Nobody had access to those outside of the mining industry. I stepped back, satisfied for a moment. Then the rest of reality came crashing down on me. What would Zora's boss do? when he heard that I was here. What were they planning on doing with more? And fuck, what about the guard? Well, you need to get the fuck out of here. Investigate the bomb? There's something to investigate here? Okay. And the explosives are disarmed. The this kind of bomb is used in the mining industry. looked like one of Zora's guys had fired at him. My heart started racing while I quietly went back down the stairs. Okay. Hmm, do we bail? Where are we going? And to the drain. Alright, let's do that. Fuck! Saviors! Oh, look at that. He's sleeping. Order. Okay. Don't go left. Brain gain. Okay. We're back home. Talking to cat is optional. We can just go to sleep. Let's talk to cat. I kind of expect her to continuously, well, increasingly lose, lose her mind. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Neil, anything new? No. Shit, I'm so scared. What if those people are lying to you? What if they never planned on letting her go? That's the likely scenario. But uh, Neil is too dumb for that. I've talked to them. They assured me they are only after the data. They keep their word, okay? Ew, you're so stupid! <laughs> Tell you what. <clears throat> if you don't have her back by tomorrow, I'll come clean and ask the CDI for help. You gotta... No, it's gotta be like low profile. Okay. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Hey, Neil. I'm glad I'm not alone in this. Same. I kinda miss talking to you these last few years. I'm so sorry I didn't spend more time with you, Lara. I just couldn't. It hurt. 
I know how selfish that sounds, and it is. It sucks. No, I understand. I can relate. I always ask you to take care of Laura more, but sometimes I felt like doing it by myself was easier than seeing you again and again. We're gonna hug her! I kinda expect a dramatic ending, so... I'll get home and catch some sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Well, I guess these people are taking it pretty well. I mean, compared to how they interacted uh, before, uh, the child was abducted, and how they interact now, it's not even that different. <gasps> Neil almost... This is almost, uh, just totally fine with it. You may be asking yourself how I remained functional throughout all of this. Yes. How I didn't just collapse under the pressure and the looming prospect of losing my daughter forever. I think the truth is that over the years, I had gotten really, really good at tuning out the voice that always tormented me, that had always told me horrible shit. This was just adding to it, more to repress, more bubbling beneath the surface. Maybe if it had gone on for long enough, I would have imploded sooner or later. Ah! Ah! ah press the button. Ah! My bad. What have I done? You idiot! You're playing with the button! Oh my god! Forever. We're going back. And we're going away from that button. Sure. Do we have any stuff here? Guy. Okay. About the harbor. Yeah. Okay, then. At least uh, the time is progressing while we're checking. Uh, wait. It is progressing. It is progressing. Easily. Okay. I'm back home, robot. I don't want any attitude. I just wanna... Oh. I don't even have... Why have a... I don't even know why I have a door. <laughs> there you are. Zora. What is it this time? I'm here to tell you that my boss is happy with how things went. I'm just trying to establish myself as a, as a mole, so continued value. I didn't tell him that you showed up. Probably for the best. Don't pull something like that again, okay? Why the fuck did you kill the guard? You didn't have to do that. I didn't shoot him, Moon did. <laughs> yeah, but... There were so many ways. Yeah, that was pretty aggro. I mean, the guard just got gunned down instantly. What did you do to Moore? That's none of your business. Tell me, I gave him to you. We just talked to him, but it looks like he doesn't know much. He says his boss ordered him to do it and he doesn't know who's behind it all. We'll have uh, to rely on that back door to the CDI network after all. Taking the data back seems to be the best way to get our money right now. But we need your help to go through with it. Here's how it will go. At 7 o'clock tonight, our hackers will commence the attack. But it will only work if we have someone who is physically at the CDI computer at the time. A new user named uh, 4x. 450, uh, 458 will pop up and request admin privileges and that you will have to grant. Zora, 
I have no idea what that means or how it works. I don't even know if, if my account can do that. I was afraid you'd say that. I guess you have to ask a system administrator to help you out. That seems like a terrible idea. How do you think that will go? Hey, IT, could you help me invite some hackers into our network? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the best case scenario. Isn't there someone on your team you can ask? Ooh, yes, maybe. Someone who will believe you if you tell them you're doing the right thing. You know, you're talking about Saito. I can't. What if he says no? That's for you to figure out. You're a good talker. Force him if you have to. Once we're in, we won't have much time until we're kicked from the system automatically. We have mere seconds to navigate the right folder. In order to make it in time, we need to have an idea of where, where to find the data. And for which, in turn, we'll have to know what the data is about. And that's your job to find out. How's that cheat going that I sent you? I'm making progress, but I'm not sure I have all the information I need. Then hurry up. You have to submit it by 1900 so we can start the hack. Okay. Okay. I'll call you once you've sent me the sheet. Make sure you're on a CDI computer with your friend, plus then. Put the data on a stick and have it uh, handed to us at 11 tonight. I'm sending you the coordinates to our meeting spot. It's a bit further out, so make sure to be on your way in time. If you get the data tonight, I promise you'll have Laura back tomorrow. It will be the last thing we ask of you. Okay. So, you say this now. Your guy shot the guard for no reason. How am I supposed to believe you're letting Laura go? You can't know. You'll have to take my word for it. If I drag Saito into it, and he tells anyone, I lose my job. I'll probably go to prison. Throw me a bone. I need to know. She'll be fine if I do this. Are you really concerned about losing your job and going to prison? over losing your daughter? But I suppose... Man. Tell me it makes a difference to you. It can mean nothing to you to take a young life. It isn't up to me. You keep saying that, but isn't it really? Do you have zero control over what happens? If you, you can do something, please tell me. It isn't all the same to you. She lives or dies. Do what I say and she'll live, okay? But what if things go south? If Saito won't help me? If he don't have the right folder? You keep dodging the question. Tell me a human life has some value to you. It would end at some point anyway. That is not reassuring. Oh, give me a break. Everything is so easy. If nothing means anything. Like you care about human life. What did you think would happen if you left more to us? Was I supposed to put my daughter in harm's way instead? Whatever. Your badge and gun betray you. You're a murderer like me. <sighs> oh. You're wrong about that. There's only one person whose death I'm directly responsible for. And you know what? Fucks me up. It's been years and it still fucks me up. Is that so? I was chasing down a uh, perp in a car, lost control and crashed into a building. The woman inside was dead on the spot, so quickly that uh, she couldn't feel any pain or fear. That's what they said to me. And they didn't put you away for it. No. No, they didn't. Look, most people are garbage. And there's a good chance the world is a better off without her. What the fuck? What about you? 
<laughs> That's a good uh, comeback. How would you classify yourself then? Oh, definitely garbage. Wouldn't you agree that the world would be better off without most people in it? I haven't met all people, so it is just impossible to know. But I would say that most people are are, are fine. I, I don't disagree with that. Human life has an in inherent value. Does it though? I mean, I don't 100% agree with this. I think there's nothing wrong with like having less humans, but I would... Not by way of murdering humans. I don't know if that, that's a value judgment right there. I don't I don't agree with the first one. This is both judgments. So I, I have to go with the second one. I don't agree. Human life has inherent value, and the bad person can always change. What is this good and bad? I've said what I came here to say. You know what needs to be done. Zora. Okay. Damn, man. Let's go to sleep. After I woke up, I stared at the ceiling for a while. I resisted the urge to look for news about a dead guard. Somebody had certainly found him by now. It was my fault for letting Zora's people go to the church. His death was on me. Fuck. I needed to do something about that. But later. Today would be a deciding day. Zora's words rang in my head. Seven o'clock tonight. I had to do what they asked of me. But I wasn't sure where the data they wanted was stored. I was running out of time. I sat up and made a decision. The sheet and the liberators. I needed to complete it now. I had a feeling that all the puzzle pieces were there. If I found out who was in charge of the liberators, I might finally understand what the data was all about and where to look for it. Or maybe I could force them to pay Zora's boss so he'd let Laura go. Oh, really? Can I move? Hmm. Wait, can I open the door? I just want to leave. Oh, I gotta submit the sheet. Okay. Oh no. Isn't Dyson famous mining company at Tilanium?
Oh, this is good information. Technology cells. Rovia. Mining Tilanium. Rovia, Mining Tilanium. Dyson. That's something we already solved. Bam. I'm not sure what to do. Use? I think if you don't get it right, then you're gonna be uh, pretty screwed. Hmm. I cannot just RNG solution to this. This is ready. This is ongoing. Oh man. Wait, what is that? Four, four, six, four. Is that relevant? I oh, know. Saito. So these are the companies that could be behind the Liberators. What kind of information do we have? I need to do it right now. So, some Gara. Should I just send it? Oh man. Why do I think Dyson Drovia Mining Tilanium is the answer? <clears throat> I think that's the right answer, though. <gasps> no, I don't think so. Brain Tech, New Joran, Technology Body Enhancements. Fuck. I don't know. At this point, I'm just completely lost. We're looking for some information here. Dangerous people. I don't know. Young body. We know about enhancements. No, this is not good. I have no idea. Damn it! How am I supposed to know? Liberators. Hmm. Okay. Right, if we mess it up, we mess it up. Dyson. Rovia. Mining. Elanium. Is it Dyson though? And what is this number? Oh no.
I mean, this is nice. Where is it? List of companies. I, I heard of Dyson. Milex. I don't know. Should I just submit it and... Fuck. It's really hard to RNG too. It's not gonna work. So we need to get it perfect. Else it doesn't work. Hmm. I guess I'm not the best investigator. Undisclosed amount of mind-altering substances stowed away under the loading area and arrested the driver on the dark parking spot. That might not be super relevant. Is it... What is this? Hmm... Companies. Gonzalez. Okay. Hmm. If we don't... Where is the... Uh, it's emails, list of companies, body enhancements, young body, brain tech, I still don't know. Okay, let's, let's go with this. I'm not the best cop. It's teamwork. Abbott Dyson. All the signs pointed towards him and his company. I didn't feel like I had the full picture just yet, but some aspects finally made sense to me. None of the people we had encountered seemed to support what the Liberators claimed to stand for. This wasn't a Garian terror group at all. It was Drovians, Savians, hired guns, and business people, all working for one man's false flag operation. What was he trying to accomplish? Stir up enough trouble to force the solar system into a war? I had talked to Dyson the morning after Banny's death. He was still in Gara, hiding in plain sight, and I still had his number. I considered my options. We needed to arrest him. But maybe we could have a chat first. Just the two of us. Once the CDI had him, he wouldn't be able to talk freely. I took out my cell and tapped his face in my contacts. Okay. Can I just contact everyone? Hey Dyson, what's up? Hello? <clears throat> Morning, Mr. Dyson. This is uh, Neil Conrad from with the CDI. Oh, Agent Conrad, how can I help you? There's something I'd like to talk to you about in person. Could we meet on the train that stops at Louisville in half an hour? I have an important call in ten minutes. Uh, could we make uh, an appointment uh, for tonight? Uh, this can wait. If you insist, I'll tell my secretary to delay my call. Thanks. Uh, see you in a bit. Okay, this seems to be going somewhere, although I'm not convinced that we have the right guy. I'm not the best investigator, I suppose. <laughs> I don't even want to be. Fuck. 
I just want to be better than Gary. But now that Gary's gonna get fired, I may need to up my game. I don't want to be the new Gary. Maybe they're gonna promote me as a joke again. Oh, uh, yeah, just take the train. Yeah. Quite far away. Wait a second. Okay. We cannot talk to Cat. My heart was pounding. Would Dyson really come, or did I spook him? Did he suspect I was onto him? It would be a while until I found out, so I sat down and took a deep breath. At least I had a little time to think about what to say to him if he showed up. Not the best cop. What the hell? Dyson didn't show up. You bastard. Brain gain. Mr. Dyson. Good evening, Agent Conrad. This is an interesting settling, uh, setting for a chat. Let's get straight to the point. I have sufficient proof that you are part of, or even all of, the Liberators. That's a big accusation to throw around. What proof would you would that be? I know you hired mercenaries to kill Benny, uh, to steal some data from uh, the chief's cell. He also instructed Cox to broadcast the Liberator's message and to bomb uh, Torian Church. If there's anything else on that endangers people's lives, you need to tell me right now. If you're so sure of all that, why didn't you? Why didn't the CDI just arrest me? I want to know why you did it. You're a Savian from Drovia. What's more, your company suffers financially from operating inside Humphrey Colony. You have all the reason to support Drovian independence. I do support Drovian independence, but not for economic reasons. Don't you think that the status quo is unacceptable in modern society? Gara forces us to hand over all the fruit of our labor like we live in feudal times only to resell it at increased incredible profit. Your planet exploits and enslaves my people for its own financial gain. Yet if that's how you see it, why did you create an anti savient anti-emancipation -emancip terrorist group? All Drovia needs to finally explode is a spark. I provided just that. Did you read the news today? Drovian resistance against its oppressors has never been stronger. So you admit it. You did it to lend momentum, legitimacy to a savient revolution. To push public opinion on Drovia to a point where a uh, secession war seems inevitable. But they were already negotiating. Why didn't you just support Bani on the summit? Joseph was in no position to change things. The whole summit was a big dog and a pony show. History teaches us that you can't obtain independence peaceful way. If you want it, you take it. And the war is worth it for you, especially considering Drovia is unlikely to win it. If a war is what it takes, we have to try. Besides, New Joran will take our side, if any. You know, I'm really not buying your man of the people spiel. This is uh, all about your company's bottom line. Think of me any way you want. It doesn't matter. The way I see it, I'm using my influence and money to fight for the right cause. Don't you think thousands of innocent lives are prohibitively a uh, high price to pay? It's interesting to bring that up. Being a CDI agent yourself. What are you talking about? Data I've been wanting to get my hands on. Did you have a look at it? 
No. It contains classified information about a Sector 2 incident, which also cost thousands of innocent lives. But just as importantly, Savians lost the right to a self-governed colony, Androvia. Garrus cited a chapter that it had uh, made up itself and launched an independent investigation, which identified major construction and security flaws as a cause of a disaster. I'm familiar with the incident. What are you getting at? Those backwards uh, savians uh, don't believe in real science, so they don't know how to build a safe colony. Sounds convincing, doesn't it? What if I told you that the colony was sabotaged by Gara? Don't be ridiculous. Come on, the awesome open mind here. The operation was launched out of fear and greed. A Savian colony on the biggest Tilanium source in the system, free to trade with New Joran. Losing the Tilanium race could have meant losing supremacy over the solar system at the time. They couldn't allow that to happen. Who? Who are you talking about? A number of politicians and other elites, and of course, the CDI as their executive force. Your Attorney General, Emilia Thorne, uh, she was a director of the CDI at the time. So before you judge me, look at the people you work for and what they did. I know so many people who died for or lost someone in the incident. So many more who lost their li livelihoods. No, this is too big. So many people would have to stay quiet for it. To stay a secret for so long. Well, it will come out. And not that many people know. Who knows at the CDI? Does Gary know? The chief? The director? Everybody involved is retired by now, except Miss Thorne. But some people must know. There are records of it. They will see the light of a uh, day soon enough. I know that uh, the mercenaries you hired are working on getting them back. They abducted my daughter and blackmailed me into helping them. I'm sorry to hear that. They did not act on my behalf when I took your daughter. Listen, Mr. Dyson. Ah! <laughs> oh. Just let my daughter go. This was hilarious. I won't arrest you if you pay them now. <laughs> Fuck. Let's do that. The mercenaries will free my daughter as soon as uh, they get the money. You promise them. I won't arrest you if you pay them now. It doesn't make much difference to me if you arrest me. I might have to do some time, but I have the best lawyers in the system. What I care about is that the data becomes public. Get it, and the mercenaries will be paid. I get it? Once they send it over, it will get leaked even if I'm in prison. I have people making sure of that. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you care about. I want my daughter back. Pay them now. I would consider it, but I missed the window. Transaction expired. What? I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter that I lock him up. Should I lock him up? Me. Do I actually disagree with him? I mean, he did this. Do some. Okay, he's responsible for shitty stuff. Seems like lock, uh, arresting him is fine. Can't go. Let's arrest him. You're getting off the train with me at the next stop. I can't let you get away with this. 
But until we arrive, I have some final questions. Tell me. What do you know about Laura's abductors? Not much, to be honest. You probably figured out uh, most of it already. They're a secret group of mercenaries and they run big operations in the whole solar system. If you want to hire bigger, higher profile... If you want a higher profile job done, you go to them. Where is the HQ? And where are they keeping my daughter? I don't know. They are very secretive. They only, they only meet you in uh, public places where they come to you. I see. Tell me. Why does Cox help you? I imagine bombing a church isn't something uh, you can just pay any security company to do. Albert's parents were old friends of mine. The company was in charge of security at Sector 2. They went bankrupt after the explosions. Some people put uh, the blame for the incident on them. They're getting death threats to this day. I supported them and their family and their, and their son financially. As you can imagine, Cox had, has every reason to want revenge for what Gara did to his family. Why work with the mercenaries when you already had Cox's guys to do your dirty work? Parts of the plan were out of his wheelhouse. I see. That's all for now. We get at the next stop. I'll for my colleagues that we are coming. Will I be instructed to free this guy now? I just want my daughter back, then retire. Hey, Conrad, are you sure about this? I am. All right, then. Good job. Got this. Uh, Gary wanted to talk to you. He's inside. Uh, you're waiting here with us, Mr. Dyson. It doesn't seem like a, a game that would have a happy ending. What? I'm not suggesting that this is necessarily heading toward an ending. Gary? Who's calling me? Hello? This is Evelyn Moore. Did you find my husband? I am... Um... What is it? Something happened to him? He didn't turn up. That was right, wasn't I? He's not working with the Liberators after all. We are looking into it. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Did you find him at the Korean Hotel or not? That's not a good time, okay? You promised to protect James. If something happens to him, please, our son needs a father. Let's talk about it later. Neil, you suck at this. What? Oh, is that my job? Or... Hey, Gary. Shit, Conrad. You really found the mastermind behind the Liberators. Did I do? Yes, I did. Damn. I don't know how I pieced that together. Also, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. Finally, some good news. I just hope that uh, this whole shit show is uh, over now. Uh, why did Dyson do it? That's kind of a long story. He was trying to escalate the situation between our planets. I see. Let's talk about it in detail later. Did Dyson tell you what, uh, what that second attack was about? Um, he did. They were going to bomb Korean Church, but he called it off. Holy fuck. Well, the most important thing is that we got him. That's a good start to my time as, a, as chief, isn't it? Well, acting chief, but yeah. I have a meeting with uh, the press in a few minutes. We'll go over everything later. Roger that. I 
I was supposed to write a report on my findings in the Liberator's case, but I wasn't able to concentrate for even a second. First, I needed to wait for my colleagues to go home to be alone with Saito. He always worked late. But then what? What if he refused to help me? The idea of having to force him was devastating. He was my friend, after all. When I finally managed not to think about it anymore, a much more dire thought crept up on me. Laura might die tonight. And if she did, it would be my fault. Would it be? I mean, you were a cop, but... I'm not sure you're responsible for her abduction. Submit the sheet? What sheet is this? Is this? This is not a good call. People don't like getting quizzed. What is the data about? Oh, we don't know. Right, 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 right. I need to get get the information. Can I just... Do I know? Fuck, I think I do know. Lassen did tell me things. At this point, it's kind of partly slipping my mind. Hmm. Help me, mate. I need some help. No. I need some help. Still around? I guess I am. Not named. Okay. Hmm. Isn't this about talking to Saito? Like that, that's what I said earlier. Hmm. Saito, where are you? I need to submit the report, but wouldn't I wanna talk to Saito first? the whole point okay apparently I was supposed to go there all right oh maybe he's downstairs That was not here, right? I can go away. Hmm. We need to submit the sheet, but are we supposed to talk to Saito here? Where are you, Saito? This is just okay. Should be able to go down, right? Apparently not.
Wasn't this about Saito? Yeah, we can't go in there. Hmm. I'm just checking whether anyone is here. Okay, that would be empty. Ah, uh, but this one. They all seem to be locked. And, uh, Saito is not here. Damn. Can't climb up. It's just weird. You can run in the door. That's all the places where Saito is not. I mean, it's gotta be one hell of an RNG. Pretty sure Saito is supposed to be here. Isn't this Saito? But he doesn't talk to me. How do I help? How do I make him help me? I can't. Can I just make it up? Something happened to Androvia. Happened before I time. Wait a second. Do we know the date? Is I think it's like one thousand eight hundred something. This is it, right? Valoris abduction. District 4 explosion. news network so not exactly breaking news here okay a lower accident saving the attack isn't that a Sector 2 incident? District 4 explosion? Yeah, whatever. Let's go with this. Don't fail me now, RNG. Now I talk to Saito. Hey, Saito. Neil, hey, you're working late. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Of course, uh, what's the matter? I I'm sorry. 
Sorry for what? Is everything alright? No, it's not. My daughter... Laura was abducted, and the people who took her want something from me. I need your help to get it for them. What? Laura was abducted? When? By whom? By a group of mercenaries. Shit. I'm so sorry, Neil. Uh, what's the CDI's plan of action? CDI? What do you think those people would do if I told the CDI about it? Wait, you didn't tell anyone else at the CDI? No, look. We don't have much time. The mercenaries want me to help them get the data back that they stole from the chief. They managed to create a backdoor to the CDI network. They can briefly alter the, the access rights to the folder they want uh, from the CI, CDI database, but they won't be able to retrieve it. That can only be done from a local computer. That's where you come in. You're a sysadmin, right? You have to grant their request for access to a specific folder you're not usually able to see. They'll pull all the data from that folder to your local drive. Put it on a stick and give it to me. They made it clear it was not to be sent over the web. Okay, listen. I Holy fuck. I'll bring them the data and then I'll get Laura back. Neil, you realize that you can't trust those people, right? Well. Didn't stop me yet. Why are you so convinced that they'll hold up their end of the bargain? They probably won't, but what can I do? If you want to save Laura, you have to ask the higher-ups at the CDI for help. I don't know enough about those people. No chance the CDI would be able to track down them in time. The hack will go down in five minutes. If I don't hand them the data tonight, they might kill her. I have an idea. Once they open up the folder they are after, I might be able to locate the source of the back door. They'll explain to the others what's going on and we'll raid the location before the handover is scheduled. You have Laura back before they find out that we never went through with the hack. If we do it that way, do we still get to retrieve the data in the folder? We won't need it. But if you can't trace uh, them and don't get data, we have nothing. Fine, I'll accept the data transfer either way. I'll delete it if I am able to trace the hack. I think I should throw Saifu aside. This is the, the smart play. Sick. Making this choice. If I just go for the data plan, I will have no leverage. I think we should tell the CDI. Okay, you're right. Let's tell the CDI. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad you agree. I'll find out what their location is, and then we call Gary. What is this da data anyway? Why do they want it? I'm not sure. I don't have time to explain. She's calling. Hey, Neil. I got your sheet. All ready on your end? Yeah, we're ready. Good. Now we're searching that folder now. I'll tell you when you have access. Listen, I can't find the folder that corresponds to the data you send me. What? Impossible. You have to be overlooking something. No, I think you fucked up. The system detected our break-in. We'll be kicked out any second. Um... I'm sure... Hold on. What do we do? What's going on? I think she's alright. I'm not seeing any cha changes to access rights. Fuck, fuck. Okay, I need you to play along. Zora, Saito has the data. We're not sure why you're not seeing it, but it must have worked. A terrible liar, Neil. We got everything. I'll see you tonight for the handover. You're not trying to mess with us, right? No, I'm not. I'll see you later. Ah, oh, fucking Neil. It's a good thing I went with the plan B. God damn, Neil. 
<laughs> I'm a shitty detective, Saito. You should know this by now. Shit, I couldn't get their location because they didn't come to the folder. That's okay, we're just gonna improvise. No biggie. No, no, no. What do we do now? We have to call Gary and the others now. Yeah, we need a plan B right now. Let's see. Alright, I got the building where they want to meet you for the handover. It's an abandoned construction site. I still can't believe you didn't tell us earlier. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, Conrad? And how much information did you feed them about the CDI and about our ongoing investigations? Those people are criminals of the worst kind. Have you forgotten your oath? You face serious charges for this, Conrad. Could you please leave him alone, Gary? He got enough on his plate right now. Well, maybe he would be in a better position if he had told the CDI earlier. <laughs> or they would have uh, shot Laura right away if they caught, if they had uh, caught wind of it. We all had training in hostage negotiations, and I'm sure Neo followed it as best he could. I really don't care about that right now. Can we please focus on getting Lara out of there? I agree. Uh, we don't have time to waste. As discussed, Neil will go to the handover and pretend that he has the data they want. Neil, the stick will contain fake intel, which will hopefully trick them uh, for long enough that they'll let you go with Lara. Assuming they are planning on holding up uh, their end of the bargain. We will listen in via radio and see how the situation develops. Once you're at a safe distance, we'll send in a unit to arrest them all. If things go south, we'll have to intervene right away. Luckily, the building they picked has large windows. And a look at the surrounding buildings, we can place snipers in several key positions. The enemy might have uh, thought of the same. Watch out for hostiles uh, when assuming your positions. Roger that. I'll brief the executive unit. You'll leave in 30. Damn. Save Laura. Wait, what? Why am I so tiny? Oh, tiny man. I have to save my daughter. Can't climb. Can't run, kind of. Agent Conrad. Welcome to our meeting. <laughs> oh no! We're gonna have some drama here. <clears throat> Glad you made it. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding the place. <laughs> no. Where is my daughter? You'll see her in a second. Let's make sure we are on the same page first. You came here alone, unarmed, and without anyone else knowing. Yeah? And you have the stick with the data we demanded on your person. I got what you want. And lastly, once you and your daughter are out of here, you will not tell anyone about what happened ever. <laughs> I mean, that he's making an excellent point that they have zero reason to ever keep me alive. The only reason that I can, I can imagine that they have a reason to keep me alive is if I continue to be a, a mole for them. But they are mercenaries. They don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, that's right. We won't. Very well. Then we're good to go. <laughs> if you would follow us uh, down into the basement. Basement? Shit, Conrad, we didn't plan on them going down there. Got a terrible plan, Gary. Our snipers will lose visuals, and comms might break up. We might have to go in. Be ready, this could get messy. Keep them talking and distracted for as long as you can. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, she's not dead. 
Holy crap. I didn't expect that. Laura, I, I, I'm here now. It's going to be alright. Zora, you're up. Give me the stick. I need to check its contents. It's all here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's not that I'm trying to trick you, I'm just I just I'm just bad at my job. And I don't think that that's the data we are looking for. What? I told you the hack didn't go through. <laughs> Fuck. Listen, I can explain. Do you have the data we asked for or not? I just need a little more time, okay? The chief will help me figure it out. It just... Mr. Conrad, you had your chance. It's alright. I'm sorry, I tried to tell you. You're no longer of use to us, Mr. Conrad. Dad! Oh. You're going down! Oh, they're not gonna leave Laura alive. And to be fair, like, why would they not kill me anyway? Laura. No! No! Time to go. Why, why are you taking her? You gotta do with her. No! I think someone's coming. Shit, move, move. Go, I'll buy you as much time as I can. Wait, what? A pistol? I hope these people are at least surrounded. Why would you, if you're a mercenary, why would you s purposefully stay behind to, to die? That makes no sense. Did I make it again? And that's it. The most tumultuous days of my life, and possibly in Garian history. Abbott Dyson has been charged with interplanetary terrorism, first-degree murder, and more that would put a normal person away for multiple lifetimes. Unfortunately, he is one of the world's most influential billionaires, and as it stands now, he isn't going to prison for more than a few years. It is rumored that he's putting someone else in charge of his company for the time being, and will be allowed back at his post after serving his sentence. With their mastermind unmasked, at least it's safe to say that the Liberators won't ever make another appearance. <laughs> Concerning the mysterious data, Dyson repeated his claims before the court the other day. People don't seem too inclined to believe him without proof, especially given what he's being convicted for. But who knows? Maybe he is telling the truth, even though it sounds like a wild conspiracy theory. If Garian forces really were behind the Sector 2 incident... Sector 2, right. I didn't know what to make of it. But so far, public opinion on both planets seems to be that Dyson made up a desperate lie. As for my career at the CDI, the director had a serious talk with me. But it looks like I can keep my job if I want to. I had to come clean about the church. In part because I felt bad, and in part because I wanted to get ahead of it. You survived again? What the fuck? Laura is gone once again. She is somewhere out there. I know it. I will not rest until I find her, or until the people who captured her put a bullet through my head. I will not let them turn her the way they turned Zora. As for me, I somehow got out of all of it alive. 
The CDI picked me up and found a bullet in my spine that has left me paralyzed from the waist down, possibly for the rest of my life. I worry that I'll never see the city from our old roof ever again. Catherine and I are dating again, however crazy that sounds. Things are so different now. The world is so different that maybe something good can come of it again. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for them. And finally, Zora. There was a moment when I thought she might have changed. I saw hesitation in her eyes. Or maybe it was all in my head. She and her people are still roaming free. Probably right here in the city of Gara. I have a feeling that if we ever cross paths again, only one of us might walk away. I feel a little dumb <laughs> for fucking at the end of it. But hey, I've had fun. <laughs> and I never had this uh, experience before that the game ends by, well, me almost dying, fucking up the mission, and my daughter is getting abducted. For good. Like, imagine if Last of Us, the f first Last of Us, ended with Ellie just getting abducted. And Joe dying. <laughs> that, that's it. You don't know anything else. Um, game didn't have too much voice acting, I suppose. I had fun. That's it. Good game. What's up? Yeah. Hey guys.